Peace, peace. Shout out to everybody in the building. Uh, if y'all could jump on the like button, share the video out. Facebook groups. Uh, Oriana Nicole, your beauty is blinding me right now. Woman, I am trying to get opening statements. And your beauty is just jumping out the screen. You need to relax. Okay, you need to relax. Your beauty is jumping out of the screen right now, Ariana Nicole. Streaming right now on Spotify, Google Play. Okay, uh, 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 uh yeah, y'all go get it. Um, um, SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, go, go download and support. JJ7000, what's up with it, man? I ain't seen you in a while. JJ, man, the Hebrews tried to jump me the other day, man. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, Apostle tried to get a kick in. Apostle sitting there with his belly in his lap. Uh, Santa Claus belly body built that. And, uh, yeah, Apostle tried to jump in there. He said, oh, man, yeah, uh, mighty Hebrew. Apostle and mighty Hebrew tried to jump me, man. I was on the, on the, on the, Hebrew platform the other day. Oh, uh, and they got to tripping. <laughs> hey, JJ, you know, <laughs> JJ, this is how I got him off me. I called him a Gentile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, JJ, I told, I called both of them a Gentile. Boy, they, they, ooh, they lost it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, there's some heavy hitters. Oh, both of them got, they, I took care of them that same night. <laughs> JJ, you know me. Uh, yeah, I took care of both of them that same night. That was that was nothing. He said, "If them heavy hills, I wonder what I am." <laughs> if them heavy hills, JJ, I wonder what I am. I, I mean, I am. Whew, I'm colossal. I'm uh, yeah, I'm out of this world. I'm an alien. He said, "I gotta check it out." Nah, you know it's how I love. You know I rock with you, Jay. Uh, shout out to Angie in the building. Angie, see, we didn't cause you, Angie. Prince 213 in the building. Ebeneezy. Do I 999? Core Ray. Dang. Aboriginal Tactical. Hey, Aboriginal Tactical, you asked a question the other day. And uh, I, I ain't catch it to after the live, but I was going to touch on it. I'm like, man, I forgot what you asked. It was a, uh, it was a question. And I forgot what it was uh, pertaining to that quick. But you asked the question during the live, man. It had to be like two, three days ago, though. And that night when I seen it, I said, all right, if I see him tomorrow, then I'm going um, to drop the, you know, some bars on it. But I can't remember now. But uh, if you remember, uh, let me know. Uh, Willard in the building. Uh, uh Amrin. Where you from, Amrin? Uh uh, yeah, where you from? Looking like a terrorist. Uh Coco in the building, inspired song, Sonny Wright, Lucini, Nini 35. Nini, where you from, Nini? Herbal Goddess. The herbal goddess. She oh, so you got the herbs and everything. She gonna run your bath water. You got Paleo Santo. You got all this burning up in the in the bathroom. You got a bathe in the dark fucking with her. Yeah. Dry out. Yeah, no dry off towel. You got to sit Indian style on the floor on a yoga mat until the body dry off. Yeah, uh, spiritual, the herbal goddess. Big Dez in the building. Ari under the cold. Daniel Berry sports and highlights in the building. Oh, uh, Daniel, did you see Roly get knocked <laughs> Did you see Roly or uh, <laughs> Poe Roly, man? I hope he saved his money because I don't think he fight no more unless he's in the amateurs. Uh, he'll go get beat up by the uh, amateur Olympic team. Yeah, uh, he need to stop it. Big scoot in the building. Cam, Dave Jones. Say, I can't wait for y'all to address white boy Chris. White boy Chris don't deserve to be addressed. You know, sometimes we got to leave people at the bottom. You know, uh, Chris, 
um last Christina last debate, she couldn't even sell tickets. It was so bad, no one wanted to purchase a ticket that had to do with free TV. That is not anyone that needs to be no. You need clout. He talked all that noise about Sidnetta. Would he back over there in their face after Sidnetta called him a disgruntled white bitch? His words, not mine. And what he do? He go right back in his face because he can't do nothing for himself. He can't do nothing for himself. So he'd rather go over there and be mistreated and treated like a white uh, 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 hustling flow. He the white bitch out hustling flow. Yeah, DJ, Sidnell the DJ, and Christina the white bitch out hustling flow. <laughs> Indigenous love, what's up with it? You excited? I'm excited too. Run in the building. Mika in the building. My nigga Dunn in the building. Nate Bailey. Dev in the building. He say, send notification to all subscribers. I found this because my brother asked me to resend him a video and he couldn't find it. Peace and blessing. Hey, what video was it, Dev? Uh, what video was it? Lucini, Crow, D's, Cobbs. Nene say she out of Mississippi. Oh, she can scratch a roof. She can scratch a root, catfish frying, cornmeal, catfish frying. Dr. Herbal God is laughing. She know. Yeah, so no lies detected. Is that what we saying? No lies detected, right? Golden 1020, Kiri. Big head, pretty ass of Kiri. Happy Easter. Talik in the building. Shout out to Talik. Hey, y'all, I was late last night to the ride. Hey, interview. Blame Talik. It was Talik's fault. Hey, the lie was going on, right? And uh, I was like, man, I got Ryan hating them. Unscrew my mind, I got to get back to the high. He said, nah, I need you to check somebody. <laughs> I say, I'm blaming on your ass. I'm going to let them know, nigga, you the one had me at. So when I got back, Ryan was like, I was looking for you. Y'all going to see it. I'm like, man, I was in Soul Food Vegan. Uh, yeah, I had to run this whole food vegan. So Talik had me jammed up last night, man. Yeah, Nene out of uh, 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 Mississippi. Yeah, she scratched roof from uh, yeah. He said, I'm from Palestine, top cat. What's good? Uh, I think that's the troll page. I mean, I could be wrong. If you're from Palestine, how you find us? And where the hoes at, nigga? Yeah, I want to fuck a Pakistani. I mean, a Palestinian. I'm trying to see what that Palestinian do. Yeah, if you really from Palestinian, nigga, hook me up with one of your cousins, nigga. Or two of them. Yeah, nigga, give me two. Oh, if you really from Palestine, nigga, put me down with two of your cousins, nigga. I want to join the family. Yeah, hey, I want to join the family, nigga. Put me down with two of the two of your cousins. Yeah, I'm gonna take real, real good care of. Tag to say he took a joke back. What was the joke? He said, "What's the term Indian here before white people?" Genuine question. Well, you got to come on the panel. If that was a genuine question, I don't think you would mind coming on the panel, right, brother? prop you say you say oh that's a genuine question um if that's really a genuine question i i have no problem with answering it akira you know i'm i'm throwed off um yeah brother if that was a genuine question we would love for you to join the panel y'all say the hebrews watching you the hebrew and they <laughs> i can't tell they ain't said nothing <laughs> they ain't brought that scary ass over here and and yeah, you know you didn't got Hebrews kicked in their ass last year. <laughs> they ought to be mad at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they ought to be mad at you. Somebody say, yeah, the Palestine, Texas, man, or uh, home of Adrian Peterson, man. Shout out to Adrian Peterson, man. Shout out to AP. Hey, I was locked up with this uh white boy from uh Palestine. Um Oh man, what's his name? I got his face in my head. 
but he knew Adrian Peterson and his brother them and he's yeah oh uh, man what's his name man white boy he try to act all hip and all that I grew up around the brothers yeah he's always say that but he said we all we all play together and if y'all ain't know Palestine got that good meat back there yeah they still hunt they got that good deal meat back there uh fresh hogs uh oh uh, yeah they slicing the cattle out there uh uh barbecue and trail riding that nigga yeah barbecue trail riding that nigga he said i joined the panel when you started I, we can start it right now say less <laughs> yeah say less we can join we can do that now we gonna get that out of the way We can y'all get that out of the way, famo. Before we even get into the show. Man, y'all say tell Dane he waiting on that fade. Man, y'all know y'all gotta pay Dane. You're gonna need a briefcase of, of money, bro. So maybe you can go back to your camp and all y'all Hebrews in the camp can can come up with some money. A suitcase full of money and then come back and say that y'all won't do that. He said, Rod Hayes said the indigenous people of America was grown from the soil. Can you straighten that out for us? Um, I think that'll be a question for Rod, you know. What I would say is, and some American Indian, um, stories the genesis they speak about coming from under the ground so and i say that because my nation is one of those nations who say you know and they um genesis story that they actually came um from from under the ground so um i mean you got the hopis you got a lot of these ancient nations here say they come from under the ground so i don't know if that's what he was meaning so that's why i say i think you'll probably get a better answer if you ask uh, if you ask him empress me in the building i like that empress me that's a good name y'all creative that's a good name empress me please yeah i hate to be your man you want to get packed and everything yeah, you want to lay down and say, hey, come get me. They got to pack you in there. Yeah, you. <laughs> Empress me, please. You got a nigga running bath waters. Council 25 in the building. Bink 1483. Hey, hey, where the homie at? I dropped the link down there. Then, no, oh, I'm not tripping. Let me pin it. Hey, where you at, Brody, with the question? The link in the chat. Sarah si Sue said he need to cut it out. He just need to stop it. That boy know he need to retire. I mean, how many years can you talk about the same old thing, brother? I mean, enough is enough. <laughs> say, say, fam, oh, enough is enough, brother. Steady over there talking about this same old washed up information, bro. Ain't nobody growing. Ain't no, boy, you need to cut it out, city. Another one that ran from me. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Hold on, let me pin this link. I'm looking for homie. Where you at, fam? I knew you was lying. I knew you. I knew you weren't really gonna come up here, man. Hold on, let me see if I can do it from here. Try to do it on my phone. That's my bad. Y'all give me two seconds. We got a good show. We're gonna go through there. Let me uh first off share myself. Hey y'all, get the likes up. Likes, we getting behind on the likes, y'all. We getting behind on the likes. We getting behind on the lights. We getting behind on the lights, family. They get them lights up. 
Somebody say East Texas in there. What part of East Texas you in? What part of East Texas you from? Uh, DC say he talking about knuckles, not debate. Well, I'm from Texas, so we talking about bullets, not knuckles. DC, I'm from Texas. Oh, uh, I'm from Texas. Oh, uh, uh, nigga, we got license kids down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what they talking, talking about knuckles and uh, all them Hebrews overweight. I beat the shit out of them, nigga. I come from boxing. I come from the game. I would beat the shit out of one of these. Uh, big old overweight, uh, unhealthy, uh, uh, disobeying the laws of the Leviticus, uh, yeah, the dietary laws of Leviticus. All these pot belly niggas and they old men, they better go get their son or something because I will dust these niggas up and I'm gonna shoot you. I'm a killer, nigga. My hands, tattoos on my hands say bang bang. I didn't get this name for nothing, I didn't get this reputation for nothing. I'm gonna down you. I'm gonna beat you up and then I'm gonna I'm smoke you. So I doubt it. Anyway, what's up with it, family? How you doing? Where you calling from? Yo, yo, what's going on, man? Oh man, slow motion. Uh, where you calling from? What's your name? Shit, I'm proper, but uh, I'm from New York and shit. Um, I was texting you. That was me and uh in the chat and all. I had a couple questions and shit. Right on. Uh, um, right, uh, I wanted to ask you, like, uh, as far as the term, like, American, Indian, Native, like, all the names, what, what did the people here originally call they say? Like, before before Columbus, before white people, like, what, what were they calling they say? Because like, yeah. I see a lot of people run with the Indian name, but, like, the Hindus call it, well, they were called Indian at one point in time, too. So, like, is there point, any correlation? You say at one point of time, you mean in the 19th, in the 20th century? Uh yeah, because that name, um, I don't know if you're familiar, but they're trying to change the name back to the original name, right? Which is Baraka. And um they didn't get the name until uh you know British colony that was in the 20th century, 1900s. Uh, but we find the word Indian in the constitution here, so that's why you hear a lot of people will say Indian because it holds legal status in law here. So, yeah, a lot of them are tied to the treaties, which is the law of the land. And um, through Indian is where they, they get their um, political um, stands here. But the question was, what did they call them? Well, for myself, my nation is the Corsati. So we call ourselves Corsati. Yes, sir. All right. So that would be considered like the tribal name, right? But as a. Well, we didn't have tribes. As a Tribes is more of, of, of the Native Americans when you go southwest. We had what's called chiefdoms here. So that'll be, yes, sir, that'll be a chiefdom. All right. So, like, as a collective, there wasn't, like, one one name, right? Like, everybody had their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody had their own names. Correct. They were all different people. Yes, sir. Some were, um, you know, connected through family and family break up. So, but, yeah, uh, they had their own names. Yes, sir. Right, but, but because everyone comes all, from a nation, so your nationality will derive from the nation, the people you come from, which will come through your bloodline. So, yes, right, right. what about but, uh, you? Uh, so what, the, I'm okay, I apologize. What's your question? I'm up on another cut you off, but um, so like the title, the, the whole term Indian, right? Yes, like sir. you were talking about the bot, the Baharat, right? That's like the Hindu stand, that's the original names for India, right? Correct. So, like the term the term indian was it in america before it was in india because like as far as i know yes, like there's the whole you know like the west indian the, the east indian those dutch companies that was like moving cargo and shit like that yes sir that didn't come like, until the 1600s yeah right dutch, and that's, west that's Indies what like. didn't come to the to the 1600 people would call indians before then you have to remember the word um, the Spanish came over. They called them Los Gentes Indios, meaning people of God. So Indian just mean people of God, brother. So yeah. the Indian term, as far as America, comes from the, the indigo. Like it comes from that word, that term. What color is indigo? 
No, no, no. From what you were just saying, you said like the people of God, right? Yes, sir. The people of God. We are the people, the chosen people of God. Yes, sir. We are uh, the greatest so people the, on earth. Yes, sir. Copy, copy. So that's what the term would come. All right, but, but right. and um, as far as like the, cause like, I seen from um when Raw Hayes, shout out to him too. When uh when y'all when he was on side and you was over there, you know you had Jabari shaking and shit like that. But um, I wanted to I wanted to ask you like, cause Jabari wasn't really letting you talk over there. Um, what's like what's your stance or or like I don't want to say issue, but like what what's your viewpoint on like the 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 human origin story? Like you don't feel you have no relation to to Africa. Like I'm not paying Africa, so none of that. I don't like nah, take nah, that's okay. Nah, it's okay. I'm uh, just trying to get an idea. Yeah, sure, as I far understand. as I know, like humanity starts in East Africa, at least from what I read and shit like that. So, like, what what does the the, the Aboriginal American like? What what do they believe? Like, they don't have no sort of correlation to that. Like, I know you American because you born here. You know, fifth generations of your family was born here, but ancestry wise, like well, I go back you know, way further no... than fifth generation. <laughs> um, no, no, no. I'm just saying fifth, like you know, just to, yeah, it shout out to Shell the Lump for the love in the super chat. Shout out to Copper Goddess. But um, my bad. Uh, I apologize. Ask that question one more time. I right, um, like what? What is your what is your viewpoint on? like the human origin like do you feel that you have any relation ancestry wise to africa because like they say humanity starts in east africa so like how does the aboriginal american feel about that because like, i see like y'all y'all got different viewpoints depending on the person uh right uh humanity did not start in africa um let me show you something uh Hold on, let me show my screen. Yeah, I, I, I'm not like a uh, armchair scholar, so I want to show you something. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, my screen up. Can you see? Uh, you yeah, see? yeah, I can see. Okay, it. so this is about two weeks ago, right? I was in the Anthropology Museum in Mexico City. This is one of the most prominent uh, um, museums, anthropology museums. And uh, while I was here, they tell the story of humanity. And this is where it starts at, right here. So the story of Africa and it started in Africa is going to derive from, <laughs> going to derive from this. Now, um, you sound like a player, brother. Uh, ladies, man, um, be honest, would you fuck? <laughs> yo, it real yo, you a wild dude. <laughs> real I mean, you drunk, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's one of them nights in the club, and you a fuck. Nah, uh, you a wild dude. Nah, I'm asking, uh, that's, that's a good question. Yes right no. <laughs> that's nasty work right there. You went, so you went fuck with it. Okay, so that's who they saying that we come from. If we're going to go with the African story, and this is one of the reasons why we have a problem with this, because we still waiting on the person to come fess up and say he took one for the team. So, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, now this is why we don't believe in the uh, story uh, of, of uh, what they say, because don't nobody. I mean, everybody I ask that they went fuck. This got a chin strap, uh, a goatee. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, shit. Um, but now nah, that's my answer right there, though. Um, if you, if people believe that humanity started in Africa, then this is who they're telling us humanity's gonna come from. And I ain't seen, I ain't met a human yet that said they're fuck. Now some of these niggas ain't gonna tell the truth. I ain't seeing you. You sound like a player individual. Uh, you said it's crazy work right there. You ain't fucking with yourself. But yeah, that's my answer to that. Nah, I'm <laughs> or you know, say chin strap is crazy. <laughs> yeah. But like as far as like modern day humans, like Homo sapiens, I mean, that's that's us. That's modern day. Like that right there. That's probably like one of them other names. You know what I mean, like yeah, but that's the, the that's the, the, the of humanity, of humanity though. That's who they are. You saying that's the ancestor of the African right, humanity? Lucy. Yeah, that's Lucy. 
That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's what they came up with it. But that's what happened when we let white folks tell us our history. That what happened when we yeah when white folks tell let me ask you this here uh you from New York uh did your family yeah. migrate there or did y'all come from somewhere you got West Indies you got Ireland ancestry or down south nah, my, south family, my family like North Carolina South Carolina yeah. uh believe it y'all say like mighty old. Hebrew want to debate you uh believe it yeah keep it real long as you knew mighty Hebrew he ain't never beat up nobody. That nigga lost every debate he been in. Him and Iman Bashur got the same record. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mighty Hebrew ain't beat nobody ever. So he better go sit down somewhere. Uh, because, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. And in D.C., you got to stop feeding your Hebrew homeboys to me. You got to be honest with them. Because you told me Gorilla Hebrew can fight. And we saw how that went. We see how Tazoria captains out of ISUPK. You see how that went. Two in one night. Yeah, I backed over them. I went two in one night. Flush two captains, high-ranking officials in one night. Yes, sir. So you need to stop sending them weak-ass Hebrew niggas over here because I ain't going to do nothing but stomp them out. <laughs> and I'm going to kick them while they're on the ground. I know that's against the rules. But y'all gonna have to violate me after that because I'm gonna jump on his head with two feet. I'm trying to get him gone. Yeah, my bad. Back to uh my New York brother. Um, so you say you're not pan African. What um what's your school of thought you come from? I mean, I don't really I don't consider myself a part of the conscious community because to be real with you, like most of these motherfuckers, I'm gonna say at least 85, 90 percent just sit on youtube all day making videos and it's just talking and no action behind it so it don't really mean shit i'm Turn just up. from my point of view you know i mean me? hey so, I, like, I see the same thing you ain't the yeah, only one but, um, <laughs> yeah but like if i was to take a stance like i just feel like we we the original people like it ain't no no abo it ain't no pan-african ain't no hebrew i don't follow the religious aspect either so like I just feel like we all want and everything that like all these labels and titles and shit is form of like separatism. You feel me? Well, we like can't be our and, one and we all gonna get nowhere. Watch this here. Oh, we, we can't be our one because we don't all have the same mom and daddy. See what I'm saying? No, nah, so, I mean, but but we all subscribe to the same idea that we all the same species, right? That's the only race, the human I race, right? I don't people. grow hair on my chest. Yeah, I don't, I don't got hair all over my tits and my back and shit like this. So we can't all be the same species. No, not the so people you who do, but I'm just saying, uh, I don't grow a beard like that. My beard don't grow like that. So uh, some people. So you don't believe in like phenotype and genotype? Nah, Meaning white like folks made that up. Come on, man. You know white folks. Phenotypes and genotype. Yeah, white folks. Nah, now see, that. see my 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 name like the proper ganja, like, I deal with like. Like growing shit, feel me? So, like with phenotypes, like that's basically like brothers sisters. You get what I'm saying? Like, and, and the genome is like a gene pool, like a genetic pool. So, like, there's a lot of people that might resemble each other, but may not have no blood relation. You feel me? That's because they might draw from the same genotype. They might be genotypical, but phenotype is like more direct. And as far as like, I don't know anything. I'm just saying from my no, perspective, yeah, yeah. but like from how I see it, like there's a lot of, it's not a coincidence. You get what I'm saying? Like I did, there's motherfuckers from one side of the world and the whole other side of the world that look alike. Like that's not an accident. You get what I'm saying? So I don't well, know. Uh, I Africans just feel like don't look like, but Africans don't look like Americans though. I mean, you can see a person to know if they from the islands. You live in New York, maybe I don't know because there's a lot of mixed up people out there. So yeah, uh, sure, sure. yeah so uh, but you can walk down the street and and your intuition can tell you if that person if you come from the same culture like me. I travel outside the country and all that, and I could tell. I, it was a video I had the other day walking through Mexico City, and I was putting the camera on melanated people, and I was saying. You know, that person is not from America. You can tell that's an Africa. You can tell it's an Islander. 
things like this here, it just naturally come to them. My phenotype, how I look, you can't find nobody look like me around the world nowhere but in America. So we have distinct features that let you know if you're an American, if you're from Africa. I can look at a female and say, okay, she's from Africa. Uh, or a person and say they from, you know, and that's just, you know, that's just intuition. I, I know for sure we're not all the same. Now, we might all share uh, skin complexion in, you know, some type of way, but, uh, you know, it was a time where the whole world was, you know, dark-skinned or uh, uh, um, melanated. So, yeah, I wouldn't go with that. Have you ever heard of a guy named uh, Samuel George Morton? No. Okay, this is what, this is the origins of scientific racism. So when they got to talking about phenotypes and skull sizes and your nose, your cranium, the size of your lips and all of this here, that's going to come from, that's called scientific racism. So, yeah, that's why I don't deal with that. You know what I'm saying? We deal with bloodline, who your family are, you know, and uh, most times they tell us at home. Uh, did, your, did your family ever tell you had an uh, Indian grandma or Indian grandparent? Yeah, yeah, for a fact. Well, see, that's how we we saying, you know, we ain't saying that. Why we only saying what our family told us, and not what we getting out of the books. So usually, when we hear somebody come from an African, Pan African, or uh, any of these other doctrines, they will get it out of a book, something someone told them who they were, and that person don't know you or your family. So we'll never find our story in the book. We can only get it from home because we can't be no, we can't be anyone else but who our family. In our bloodline, or so at home, if our family tell us who who they are, who we are, then I mean that's that's what we gonna have to go with because they would know. No, I feel that. I feel that. But for the most part, like America, at least from like from how I see it, I, I haven't gone too far back in history yet. But from how I see it, America always been a melting pot, right? So like, what would be the the there's really no idea of a typical American other than somebody that may look like you or me. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, there's no way to really... It is a way. It? it is a way. Um, that's what I'm saying. If your family told you, then the family member just look at their picture. You know how American Indian look. Right, right. Like yeah. I went about four, four generations back, and it just... At least from how I see it, without doing the, uh, you know, the twenty three and Me, the Ancestry dot com type shit, like fifth generations from you know older aunties, and grand great grand telling me, it, it stops in North Carolina, South Carolina. Yeah. But um, like I'm still I'm still doing research. You know what I'm saying? So I just keep an open mind. But um, yeah, that's why I always tell people, man, look at your your uh your your your, your grandparents. I mean, you look at your uh, your family, whoever they tell you is the Indian, go get a picture of them. And I mean, if your grandma is the Indian, then your mother or your father, whoever they 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 they, they child is, they're also an Indian. If your grandma is Indian, then you're Indian, or you have Indian heritage. You may be have you know some other mixtures, but you have Indian heritage. So is you know that's what we go by what our family tell us. And for some reason, you know, people have a problem with that. They'd rather us listen to white folks who don't know us. And I just think that's that's backwards. That's that's you know, um, you know, okay with that's people okay with being a slave. So right, right. I, I want to share this right here too, real quick. Let me get this on the screen. So right here, this is my grandma right here. This is my grandma right here uh, on the reservation, oldest reservation in Texas. So that's why I always say, man, go get your people, go get a picture of them. A lot of people there use pictures of other people's ancestors. And I'm saying, bro, if your family told you you was an Indian, then you need to go get a picture of your family. You know, uh, we can't fight with somebody else because what the person who ancestor picture you use and what they going to use if you out here using their shit. You got to go get your own shit. Cause you have it, and you're doing your ancestors a disservice if you would go go pick somebody over them. So yeah, uh, they rolling over their grave. If I was them, I wouldn't help your ass neither. You don't want to represent me. You want to go get somebody else. Yeah. 
No, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, BK, um, somebody said a thousand dollar uh Africa. I never even heard of that guy. And uh tell him come over here. Tell him come over here. I'll beat up, I'll knock his ass out. Tell him bring his weak ass over here and find out. Nobody never even heard of him. Um, and I doubt if he got a thousand dollars. Tell him put up five. Yo, yo, let me ask you, yo. Um, you think Jabari would ever debate you, man? I debated him, but we deba we debated already. Oh, that's, what? yeah, that's why he was running. And I oh, beat him shit. on the pose inside another inside another house. I beat him on the pose. So yeah, I gotta watch that. Oh yeah, type it in, man. Uh Jabari versus Type Cat. It's, it's, you know, it's probably like 10 videos gonna come up. It's a classic. See, it was my rookie year. And I beat him up when I was a little nigga. So he just always been running from me ever since. Yeah, yeah. Just, just type that in on YouTube. It's about 10 videos gonna come up on it. Uh it's a classic. And I beat this shit out of him. Go see. I ain't got a cap. I ain't got a flex. I ain't just got to see it. But even Pan Africans on side another with by 15, 2,000 people in there. Uh, yeah, I, and I, I beat him. Yeah, so that's why every time I see him now, he, he like side another don't let him talk. And Jabari love for people to show their sources so he can use it against him. He don't want me to show no sources because. He knows what I'm saying. People out there going to hear, and it's changing a lot of their minds, you know, and they finding out what he's saying ain't true. Jabari worked for a college. So do you really think he finna go in there with a revolutionary message or anything going outside the curriculum of the college? White folks sign his check. He worked for white folks. He spread colonization, indoctrinating people uh, for a check from white folks. It ain't nowhere around it. They not going to let him go in there and teach teach what he want to teach that nigga teaching out for curriculum that white folks uh made up and it's sad that our people don't even see it but jabari is a modern day missionary modern day colonizer like i always tell him that's why he don't want to talk to me miss d what's up miss d come give me a hug mom happy easter no, i feel that so how would you go how would you go about getting sources then without using what you consider like white people scholarship to be because like a lot of people use like like even going in like a, a ancestral type of setting like motherfuckers use that that 23 and me the um ancestry.com yeah, right. yeah, uh, archives the uh family i forgot the other one it's called family yeah, search or something like that yeah, yeah so like keeping it a buck like a lot of people don't have them type of pictures going back four or five six that's seven ain't generations looking. that's because i ain't looking <laughs> not real talk they ain't looking everybody feel like that until we go look the information is there it ain't went nowhere you can go down to the county where your family was at look it up i mean it's there it, it, it had went nowhere but the the people that's getting all the credit of being master teachers and all of this here bringing us this hidden history uh they don't tell us to go look for these things they have us looking outside ourselves. My message is to go home because don't none of these niggas know your family. So if you're going to find your something, you know, niggas can tell you how fast the earth is spinning right now, how far the earth is from the sun, what happened a million years ago, but they don't even know their grandma grandma name. I think that's a problem. If we don't know nothing about ourselves, but we know everything about the world, what's that saying? What is the man to gain the world but lose his own soul? Mars. Yeah, how can you teach somebody and they always come tell us they helping us? How can you help us when you ain't helped yourself? How can you tell us who we are when you don't know who you are? Yeah, the game been backwards and that's why they don't like my message because my message tell you not to follow these doctrines. These doctrines got you looking outside of yourself instead of in, in uh, it's inside of yourself. And uh, that's where you get true knowledge of self. They got niggas talking about open their third eye and telling people that they giving them knowledge of self and they don't know nothing about themselves. They don't know their family migrations, where they came from, or uh, how much land they had. You, you feel me? They don't know what wars they fought in, the contributions their ancestors made. None of these things. And 
all of these doctrines that came was funded by white folks, whether it be the Nation of Islam for Roy Muhammad, whether it be the uh the Ethiopian movement, whether it be the Hebrew movement, whether it be the Moorish movement, 1899, whether it be the commandment keepers, the uh they brought in the Hebrew movement, the black, all of those were funded by white folks, pan-Africanism, whether it be the boys who was funded by Springham, the guy who created the NAACP white boy. Uh, who he met his brother at uh Harvard, whether it be uh Booker T, who got his money from Julius Rosenwald, a white small hat, or whether it be Marcus Garvey, who worked with Paul John Paul and Ernest Seville Cox. All of these institutions were created by white folks in order and, and put a black face on it. And so, yeah, we've been we got met, and, and after all of that, what happened? Our family lost their land, our family put in all their energy and money came outside ourselves now we fighting with the state over the uh our uh, uh over our line over our land and uh yeah they didn't move us in apartments ghettos we buying houses we ain't got no land to farm on we got to go to the market eat the gym ass food and all that so yeah uh these niggas help dr clark works side by side with the white folks he created uh who created African studies. He created the, the the sister company with a black face on it and made up a whole bunch of fake ass Afrocentric history to go with it. All of these niggas have been uh turncoats and traitors to, to our people. And we're just now figuring it out. And while we figuring it out, Big Mama passed away. So we don't know the secrets and all of this here, the good information that she had that was tied to her great grandma and her family that, yeah. Don't shit matter, but I will. If I was to ask you, uh, what was the most important thing in your life? What would it be? The most important thing in my life is my yeah. family, my immediate family. Bars. I dropped the mic on that. So that's what we need to have our focus at and not these doctrines. You feel me? Oh, uh, tell that nigga he don't get no neutral side. He gonna come over. He's a nobody. He's a nobody. He gonna come over here and get his ass whooped. Uh, he he can go on by the business. We never heard of him. We don't know him. <laughs> he, you feel me? He don't get to run. He ain't running nothing. And he talking about a thousand. I got five thousand. So he sure ain't running nothing. And I put it out of county right here on, on the camera. Tell him bring his punk ass over here so I can knock him out. Yeah, my bad, family. Hey, RDH3, yo, 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 mic not connected, so it's not letting you on, family. Go out and try to come back in again. This time, give it access to your microphone and camera. Yeah, I never, nobody never even heard of that dude. Uh, tell him come over here and find out. And bring his little, little thousand. I got five. Tell him bring that little thousand. Get his money up. And come get his weak ass knocked out. Bars. And so, tell yo, when you were saying, my bad. Well, not good. Not not good. I don't want to cut you. Now, I was just gonna say, mighty Hebrew. If you in the chat, bring your weak ass up here too, nigga. Tell him the link pinned at the top of the uh chat. Link pinned at the top of the chat. My bad, family. Go ahead. Now nah, you good. So um, when you were saying uh clock, you was talking about uh. Dr. John Henry Clark, right? Yes, sir. Without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, so, so you feel like like him, uh, Dr. Ben, uh, Yosef Ben Yocannon, uh, Dr. Francis Crest Wilson, like Ivan Van Satima, Rudolph Windsor, um, Lerone Bennett Jr., them type of people, yeah. like all discredit of all of them. Was, all of them was funded by white philanthropists. Yes, sir. Um, Francis Chris Wilson, I like her. I actually got to see her speak. Um, but it's rumors going around that her family was CIA. They didn't tell us that. Why they keeping it from us? Dr. Ben lied about where he was from. Dr. Ben has uh, made up a story to me from Africa. His family say he a damn lie. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Hold on, this is my little brother calling me. Uh, Chop it, uh, uh, hold it down for me. Talk to the people. But, um, yeah, that's crazy, though, man. 
but for the most part, I don't yeah, I can see the chat, though, but for the most part, like I don't know about discrediting that that's that's his thing, but uh for real, like some of these people always got truths in their message. And I, I feel like everybody gotta do their own due diligence for real. It's like I learned a lot from from uh Dr. John Henry Clark, Dr. Ben uh Yokanan. Even uh Francis Cress Wells and with the ISIS papers. Like I learned a lot from them. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'd be lying to say like if some of what they were saying wasn't true. Like without them type of people, I wouldn't have known about like HS Gabinu or uh or the other your candidate, the, the two people that basically started that whole Aryanism bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um are you saying unlearn it? I mean, if, if somebody got to unlearn something, that there, there should be something to, to replace that. Be real with you. And uh, dealing with dealing with things that we call facts, it, it ain't. You say you learned a lot, but did you learn the truth? Shit ain't the truth is, <laughs> I don't want to say it's subjective, but there's there's <laughs> there's certain people truths, and then there's the truth. So yeah. Hold on Hold one on. second. Hold on one second, New York. Uh, Af yeah, Afri culture. How you doing, brother? Where you calling from? I'm from Houston, dog. Probably the same place where you from. What side? What, what, what hood are you from in Houston? I'm from the Southwest. What part of the Southwest? Farm Park. You a leaf. So you creepy. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah, but I, I, I know what you're talking about, though. Out of foreign park who were creeping. Yeah, my niggas out of foreign park grooving. Yeah, that's what's I up, but I don't park. get down like that. Yeah, it's all love, though. Uh, so what's up? You say you wanted to have a conversation with me? Yeah, yeah, more on a like a more on like a, a kind of a neutrally modded platform because it seems like you know it's a little. It's gonna be good, but we can definitely we can definitely do that. And I'm willing to put up I'm I'm willing to put up a thousand for it. Man, I count out five racks right here on camera. You talking about a thousand, man. Shit, we can do five. It's whatever. Yeah, but 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 but, 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 but we gotta have we gotta so we gotta have a neutrally modded platform. Like I ain't I ain't really finna I'm not really we can do it in person, whatever. It's it whatever. Person, it just live stream it, uh, you know, uh, make it a Zoom or whatever. But we can do it in person, so we can put the money on the wood. Yeah, I want you to put your money down, put mine down, and you sit on one side of the table with a microphone, sit on the other side. We can go to my homie studio, and yeah, I think that's neutral. Yeah, that's a bit. Hey, right now, you ain't got nothing for me. You from Houston? You ain't from A Leaf, so I know you're not African. So, uh, <laughs> you coming here? You said, "Would you playing African?" I'm finna show you how I know you ain't ready for me. What? What? I'm African. Afri I'm African American, like you. I ain't no African American, brother. <laughs> what tribe in Africa you from? I'm an African American. We we are. So you coming? We to we hold, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. You asked me a, hold on. You asked me a question, so I'm gonna give you an answer. Don't it's don't just talk over me. That's that, ahead, that's how I know the debate it, ain't gonna go nowhere. But look, we we all know African American history. A lot of us probably don't, but most most regular people they 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 get it. African Americans are a mixture of different ethnic groups from the West West and Central Africa. So you know that's just, that's a loaded question. What tribe from Africa you from? You know you might have an ancestor. You you might have a parent that might be. They might have a lot of Senegalese ancestry, or you might have another one that might be have a lot of Nigerian ancestry, or you might have some that's mixed because they mixed them people together. You know, they grouped okay, them all together and said they was black. Okay, I appreciate I, that drop. So I can't, I, I can't tell you, I can't tell you what tribe I'm from, but I can well, tell you what tribal. I can okay. tell you, I can tell you what tribal affinities that my genetics go to. I can tell you that. I'm, so I'm mo like most African Americans. My, most African Americans have a high Nigerian uh, genetic percentage. Man, now I can tell lie. you that that's not a lie. Have you taken the DNA test, <laughs> brother? That is a lie, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, have Nigeria, you taken a DNA test? Yeah, I took one. And okay, what did it say? It ain't say that's because that. you. That's because you lying, bro. If you from Houston, I know you lying. If you from Houston, I know you lying, bro. 
I, I know you lying you, if you're from Houston. You know, I'm like, you're not from A Leaf, so you're not African. Bro. Don't all the don't all the Africans live in A Leaf? No. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no it's not. No, it's <laughs> not. Bro, bro, Tobe, Tobe Nigwe, Tobe Nigwe is part African American and part Nigerian. So what's your point? No way. He don't claim he said uh, so, African so that, are lazy. That's, that's okay. So what? So what does that have to do with me? No, so he he banging on African American. He ain't repping no, no African American. Hey, I agree. So I agree. Some Af American. some some African Americans are lazy. So like niggas, Nigeria, like they, on, they got. Hold go on, ahead, on. go ahead, did go Nigeria ahead. Nigeria get its name from the Niger Company, from a European company in the 20th century, in the 1900. Yes or no? Nigeria is the product of British colonialism. Yes. Okay, so they got his they name from white folks in the 20th century and you come in here claiming that you a white man company name no that's 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 a that's a very erroneous way to that's a very that's a very erroneous way to try to come back bro like that's really that doesn't get in that doesn't know what african tribe you from on a on a neutral on a neutral platform i'm i'm gonna get very far i know you i'm gonna get them fire racks but how I'm gonna get the fire right. You think you gonna be with me and you don't know what tribe you from? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, bro. That shit don't matter, bro. You are African American you because what you are African American, bro. We became a new people in Af oh, in, in out here in America. A new people. Yes. Have because you most of us, most of us, bro. I know my genealogy, bro, bro. Most of us are twenty percent European, fifteen to twenty percent European, bro, and about bro. seventy-five to eighty percent, bro. You that's why you getting mad because you bro. pull up your genetics, bro. Show your people what your bro, genetics why, really say. Why is you listening to white folks? Now let me. Ask I'm you not this. listening to no white folks, bro. You got, bro. You got black owned. You got black owned companies, African ancestry, bro. They got the same thing. About by white folks, by the government. It don't matter. It's owned by black people. It's owned by Negroes. It's a black face. It's owned by Negroes, bro. You just running. You you using, bro. You using circular Negro logic. Circular. Okay, so what? So what? What scientific evidence bro, can you use? Science, nigga. Science is racist. Science is science. racist. You didn't know science. That. So, bro. So, bro. Is your grandma still alive? Yes, sir. Who? 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 Who is your? Who in your family that 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 recently passed away? Uh, my great grandma. Okay, where was she? Was she in hospice? Was she in hospice when she died? Nah, she wasn't in hospice. COVID. So she just died at the house. No COVID. You know when they was doing it in the hospital, couldn't have. So somebody, in, so somebody in your family trust science enough to put her in the hospital when she was dealing with COVID, right? No, so obviously no. it must not be that racist. It must not. All people right, use not people use racist. genetics. People say? people in America no, use no, genetics. No, I hear your emotions. People in I'm not it. I'm not even bro. I okay, deal with niggas what like what you all the time, dog. People. I read, I read the title. Read the title. You never dealt with I, somebody like me, bro. Read you ain't special. These niggas like you running all over the place on TikTok, okay. Facebook, all uh, that can shit. You read this, brother. I can't you really see it. of scientific racism in United States. Now you want to talk about science, nigga, and where you getting your DNA test from? You getting it from scientific uh, okay. racism, eugenics? We all, we all know scientific racism. Know? We all know about scientific racism, but do you all also right, so know? You it, so do you also you hold on, hold on? Do you why also know? Do you why also scientific know? Racism, your stance, brother. Scientific racism is not my stance. Yeah, science is my stance. Science, science is what we DNA use to establish facts. Scientific racism. Science, I can use anthropology. I can anthropology use uh, history. From scientific racism. No, it doesn't. All no, right, it doesn't. Let me help you out again, brother. No, it doesn't. Obviously, you don't know. This is what I'm saying. No, nah, I know yeah, very much more. If you think you a Native American, bro, if you think you Native American, right, my warehouse job. Relax, so you, relax. so you work at a warehouse relax, job, and nigga, I gotta work, work at one. Amazon, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here, boy. Well, you, you, you a self-hating right, so nigga, dog. Out. Check this out. Just like a Houston Negro. No, yeah, I am a Houston Negro. Self-hating ass nigga. Yeah, feel for Texas, nigga. The bloody nickel, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's that hood right, nigga shit. Yo, take it out, family. Let's get on some information. So this guy right here, Samuel Morton, he's the guy that's gonna come out 
He is one of the early figures of what? Scientific racism. Okay. He came out with this story, this creation story of the Bible, right? That's why you have the Eve. Thing. Nobody talk about no yeah, damn Bible. Nobody, nobody talk about no Bible. That's what you, you talking about the Bible. See, you, you talking about the Bible. I ain't, no, I'm, I'm listening to you, but that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm trying to come at you. I'm trying to come at you. I'm trying to come at you well, from you a scientific, a uh, anthropology, a scientist, in a history. I'm not a scientist, but I use mean? science as a reference. What's I use science as a reference to confirm what's my my what's, claim. What kind of degrees do you have, bro? I have a degree in electrical engineering, my nigga. Right, so what's nigga, your you point? No damn scientist. Nigga, I'm not a scientist. Table up for free. I never, I you never came up here to claim I was no scientist. I never came up here to claim I was a scientist. Damn, uh, cable up for free. Nigga, come bootleg my cable. Bootleg you your cable? What the hell, bro? What do your yeah, insults got to do with facts? What do, your in, what do your insults got to do with facts? What this do your what insults got to do with facts? This bro, do you know? Do you right know? Here. Do you know that in 2023? Do you know that in 2023? I forget the name of the... uh. The well, group, but it's debater. a you no. I'm a good. You okay, yeah. Already, you ain't no good. Well, debater. anyway, let me let me say something. You know, in 2023, they recently said that they were going to be getting rid of racially biased uh studies when they're dealing yeah, with they genetics. Y'all, they was gonna give y'all reparations too. So why is you still believing all this? Nigga, ain't nobody waiting on no reparations. Yeah, How you tell me, this, you tell me this? Tell me this. Tell me this. How you gonna get reparations when you was never enslaved? How you gonna how you gonna do that? Oh nigga, I got slave records. You want me to pull them what, up? What but Native Americans was never enslaved. So I'm how you gonna tell American. me that? Oh man, so now you're not Native American. Right. What are you? Man, you what are gonna, you? You're you gonna lose your little So you you now. just you just lost in the south. Hey, look, check it out. Hey, have you, you just you them? just you oh, just move the goalpost. You just gotta move the goalpost, don't you? No, you don't. You just got to move the goal. Bro, you you not a Native American. So what are you saying that you are? What are you saying that you are? I'm American Indian. I'm a coarse-sided Indian, brother. So you are not a Native American, but you are Indian. That's the same damn thing, no, it's bro. Not. No, it's not. To brother. you, to you, it ain't. To well, you, you it ain't. To you, you, it ain't. To you, it ain't. To you, it ain't. Okay, so tell me this. To no, no. To you and your circle is not. Hold on. To you and your circle is not. But to to most academia, to most academia, it's a shared, it's a shared consensus, bro. Just look at it on Google. Look at it on Google, nigga. Look at that. What is a Native American, nigga? Type in, type in. What is a Native American? Hey, look, look. Type in what is a Native American. Hold on, twenty nine. Type in what is a Native American, nigga? I don't study like that. Type in what is a Native American, nigga? Stop playing. You don't study. I don't study like that, nigga. You sound. The only niggas, the only niggas that you can get with this stupid shit is these dumbass niggas. That's it. You, that's the hey, only no, niggas. No, 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 that, these the only no, niggas no, that you no, gonna no, get no, with no, this no, stupid no, ass no, shit, no, bro. No, I'm gonna give you the mic. I want to ask you something. Lost no, ass, confused no, niggas, no, confused no, ass no, niggas. No, Southwest, bro. Come on, man. It's money on the wood. You, you got you money. gotta be confused to deny. Come on, Southwest. Fund your be, ball, man. You gotta be. Yeah, you, man, hold on, bro. You come from a real block. You gotta you relax. gotta be you gotta be the, hold on man you come from one of the realest hoods on the southwest bro we not finna do that bro I know you can show more decorum than it now let's relax calm down let's have this come you come now, man listen my family from your hood homie I would name some names my people them from your hood homie on everything I okay love. so what that what they so gotta I'm do with me I know you come from a reputable block in you so okay what they gotta do with the conversation there. So this is my question. They... Hey, do you know where Emancipation <laughs> Park is? Where? Emancipation hey, Park is Yeah. All right. So look, my homie have a restaurant this, there. This you want to do the debate? We don't know if the there. top lost his microphone or, or what may have happened, but I think I think you got to slow down a little bit and pick your shots a little bit better because can you hear me? Hold on, can mic check? Am I Hello. is my mic working? No, nah, I can hear you talk. Okay, okay. So Afri culture, you know what hey, emancipation park great. is. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So so my hey, homie so, got a restaurant so right when here. You say so can we you, meet you up at the, the place, restaurant? And, somebody somebody talking over you, bro.
can we meet at that restaurant and have a debate? And you gonna bring your your five thousand? You say, huh? Yeah, we could do that, but it's gonna have to be in the month because I'm about to go out of town. Okay, I'm ready whenever you're ready. You feel me? We'll make it happen whenever you're ready. But um, I don't think you're ready. I'm gonna be real with you. So you might. All right. Well, only thing that matter is the results. You, That's the you, only thing you, that matters. You, I do you twenty five hundred. We can go twenty five hundred. No, I what, what happened to the five? What happened to the five? The five, you ain't got it. I don't, you show I don't got it or you don't got it? Well, let's both count them up and count it out. You show I don't got it? I said, I don't let's keep both cash. Count them up and count it out. I don't keep cash. Oh, okay. Well, shit, I got both. But I definitely got it. I'm a money nigga. I keep, I got both. You feel me? I'm a money nigga. So, yeah, yeah, I'm a real go getter. Fungin Park niggas hustlers too. Yeah, they slab riding out there, groove into the world, stop moving. Yeah, I fuck with Fungin Park. I fuck with Fungin yeah. Park. So this is what we gonna do then, homie. Um, you say you need a month to prepare. What would the topic be? Is African Americans indigenous or you know whatever you trying to say? Basically, you already said African Americans are not indigenous. You said they're a mixture of people. From different places, so I mean that'll be a bad time. Nah, they're a mixture of they're a mixture of different ethnic groups from diff from different parts of West and Central Africa. That's Man, a fact. That is a, 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 tw that is a, a a recent that is a 2018 source that you're talking about. Before I never even I never even brought up any sources, bro. To. That's how much I know. I you never brought me? up any sources. You don't I never have brought to. up. That's how much I know. You feel well, me? bro, That's if you if you if you really was doing that your that research, income. Until so you you either you either hustling your people or you just you just acting ignorant because you know this you if you took a dna you know you know you west african bro well, let me ask you know you, you west african you don't you're not even west african you don't you i'm not i'm a, i'm african american i'm african american but my ancestors came name from name west you. my I'm ancestors name came name from you. west and central africa my ancestors came from west and central I africa guarantee you i'm not gonna see you in the month guarantee you Bro, I ain't worried about you, bro. We could definitely do this debate. I'm about that money. So I wish I'm a flush you. Period. So but yeah, we, we can make this about you know, I guess like uh you know it, where where are black Americans if you don't want to say African Americans, you hate it so much. I I, I know you from Pan Africanism Strikes Back, and and you know, I, I, I remember he was dealing with you. But uh, yeah, you talking yeah. about when his mama was on there. His mama told us that he that they were shocked tie in uh shock tie Indians. Is that the day you talking about? Oh, okay. I I have no clue, I but I I remember I remember yeah, him. him up in front of his mama. Uh, nah, you ain't and do that, bro. You think you want to fuck with me? And I I, I you I, ain't I, do I, that. I beat a nigga up in front of his mama, and you still you ain't do that. Bro, he don't know half the shit I know, but I know you ain't do that because I was watching. Man, I know Brandon, bro. And his mama was there. And, and, and are you are you the same I'm person the as uh you the same person as Aboriginal Power? No, sir. Oh, okay. No, no, but no, I, I, I think I think you way. did I think you did run across him because you know his name. So I think you yeah, did run across him. But I'm not I'm I'm top cat. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right. You you finna come yeah. over and get bodied. They gonna put nah. you on two eighty eight out there. Uh, so yeah, they gonna bury you out there. So, so the way it need to be done is like you know what I'm saying. Need I don't know. You need to study. I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm you that right now. The way it need to be done is you need to go study. That's you fine. Fucking with the baddest nigga in the game right now, nigga. Oh uh, uh, no, nah. yeah, you bad at hustling. You bad at that little hustle. Bad but hustling, when, when you deal, when you deal, when you deal with the with with the real shit. You you gonna have to back up against the wall, bro, because you ain't gonna have no way to go. Bro, you, you know what I'm saying? From, so you ain't got no way to go, bro. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me, dog. Everything to do with it. Well, where, where I'm from don't define me. What I'm doing right now defines me, bro. That okay. shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Argument? So what would be your argument? You want to prove that I'm a? I'm why a would I tell you? Why would I tell you what my well, art? That, that's what are we that's the basis. What are we debating? That's the basis, like. I, I don't mean, he'll become a. Have you ever had a debate? Is there a debate out there that we can watch on you? Nah, I don't have no debates on on no, YouTube. Man, fuck you coming fucking with the heavyweight undisputed champion of the world, for? bro? You are you undisputed. That's the thing. Nobody try to. Nobody in your little circle 
tries to test you, circle, bro. I don't fight people in my circle. I be beating up everybody else at these other doctors. You ain't you ain't beat nobody else, up, bro. You ain't beat nobody you else. Up. Nah, I okay. know so. so why everybody know I know so. You just why everybody know your bro? You I found I I didn't, some shit. Why, you why you think I didn't know? Why you why you think why you think I ain't know where to find your channel, bro? Like niggas don't know you like that, bro. I mean that ain't my fault. That ain't my fault. I was you looking hear? at somebody else. I was looking at somebody else's video, and she shared me the link because I seen you got on the video. So I want to. I want to debate you. With me. So it don't. Look, it ain't that easy when you're in front of me, right? Uh, I don't understand where you coming yeah, from, it ain't dog. That easy when you're in front of me. You nah, get your that's your little thousand dollar warehouse. That, I'm about oh, to now you now, now you gonna now you gonna bring it back down to a thousand because you scared to lose five racks. You don't even have a topic, bro. You don't even know how to do this. Bro, got, I just said three rounds. I just said, I just said, so are African or black Americans really indigenous to America or are they from West and Central Africa? And you gonna debate me on that? Yes, sir, because it's and an I easy debate. Wait a month, and I gotta wait a month. A, yeah, because I gotta go get that money, dog. I don't work yeah, at no warehouse go like you. So what you work overseas, I'm sure. Something like that. You work for a temp service then. You know, nah, so you're, you're everybody don't work. Everybody don't work for temp you services, dog. Temp service, nigga. You don't even know what you're gonna be doing. Uh, you oh, I know, know what I'm gonna be doing. I know yeah, what I'm gonna be doing. Making more money than you. Making more money than you making on YouTube, dog. I don't make money out of YouTube, nigga. Well, however you make it, I make I got more. Six rooms in my motherfucking house, nigga. You think a YouTube check gonna take care of that? Well, yeah. well, a nigga, a nigga that live in a box on the corner of a uh, 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 farm park and bitch and gonna whoop your ass in the debate. All right. Well, <laughs> how about I come out there to foreign park to my kinfolk them highs and we can set up a debate on, on the block? Nah, let's set that whole up. There, man. I got let's, real reputable kinfolk let's, them from foreign let's, park. Let's, Let's set that hole up right where you see it. Uh, uh, Emancipation Park, right okay. there. So we're gonna go. We're gonna. It's gonna be in the uh uh in the restaurant in my homie restaurant. Uh, All right. We're gonna feed you and everything for free. Everything, bro. I mean, that five thousand you're gonna lose. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead on the tip the restaurant. Yeah, we're gonna feed you for free. So what you need to go do is go get that money. Whatever you gotta go do. Go drop, uh, yeah, go get that money and uh, come back and come take this ass whooping because you don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, if if that makes you feel okay, better to think that, let me ask you if that, let me ask look, you uh, what's, what's, important is, what's important is what's important is we got to set up the platform though, like we can do this, but we no, got to set up the platform in order for in order for somebody to decide. Whose whose uh information is more legitimate yeah, than the others? Review. Do you have a following? Do you have people that's gonna follow that, that, that follow your work? Yeah, but my followers not gonna they not gonna be uh they're it's not gonna debate. be neutral because they already they already agree who we are. They already agree with me who okay. who who we are. Bring them. Bring them. So basically, what I'm saying is either so you know I'm gonna have free, so you can I'm let me in for free. The they gonna be free to get in the white. It's gonna be free because I mean you're gonna pay me five thousand dollars to waste my time. So uh the debate <laughs> free. You feel me? You gonna pay for the debate. <laughs> All right, bit bro. Being in Houston, knowing you know damn well that shit ain't gonna go far, dog. Nigga, nigga, we got a strong, we got a strong history in Houston, bro. And you talk about third ward, boy. You a fool, boy. You crazy. And y'all got a strong history of Africans in third ward. Bro, niggas knew they was African Americans in third ward. How many Africans niggas, with? niggas knew they was African Americans in Third Ward, nigga. Are, are you? How old are you, bro? My age ain't got nothing to do I with this information. Ask, the reason why I ask family is this: because we know that African American term didn't come to the nineteen to the end of the nineteen eighties, bro. That, that's a lot. That's it's a lot, you, bro. You got Remember documented the, paperwork. Right you got know. documented paperwork. What niggas was making music about African Americans, dog, from the seventeen hundreds. Name that's from name the seventeen hundreds. Name the musician. Name the musician. Hold on, real quick. <laughs> These niggas be just. This niggas horrible at this shit. <laughs> What's up with it, Superior? 
Peace, fam. <laughs> African, mus African musicians in the 1700s is crazy. <laughs> Where are you getting this from? That is crazy, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me a sec, oh. dog. All right. He so said, in yeah, the 1700s, he been gonna find a musician, African American musician, <laughs> and it's gonna be some created in the ninth, in the twentieth century, talking about nah. the seventeenth century. Nah, uh, uh. From some people who weren't even live back then. I got some coming behind it. <laughs> yeah, you know crazy, I got man. some, Mister, Mister, Mister Bagdoya. So yeah, go ahead on and you. We from Houston, so you know you you freestyle. I'm a Bagdoya. So go on, drop and I'm a Bagdoya. Watch this, y'all. This is what you call a teaching moment. Uh, the, uh, another thing, what instruments was they using? What were they main instruments? If they were making music, beatbox. what was the instrument? Okay, so it's it's a sermon. It's a sermon on the capture of Lord Cornwallis by an African American in Philadelphia, printed on the month in the month of April in, in 1782. Man, you ain't did nothing for us on that, brother. Now the only reason I can't share it because I'm on my phone. Bro, that shit you bring this shit to the uh emancipation, bro. I'm gonna flush you. Uh let me show you something right quick. Right, I could have saved this for but thing. but oh, but but on, your boy nice, your boy said it was created in, in, in the 20th century, bro. What is you talking about? Okay, this shit so hold on, hold on, is back hold on, hold on. in seven. Well, this is the, the 18th course. century. Can't your screen, but I can. So this right is here, hold All on, right. brother, let's let's chill because you ain't got enough information. So the New York Times, this coming out of the New York Times, and this is in 18, I mean, 1980s. And All this right? is an article written by somebody in what? This 2000 January 31st, 1989. January 31st, but this is this is a, a, a digitized article on the website on, written brother, by who? Relax. This is this but is but this this, this contradicts what your boy just said. Hold on, relax, I, I can show you. I, Come on, uh, foreign park, relax, bro. Now, a movement led by Reverend Jesse Jackson called Black Americans has met with arousing approval of deep-seated skepticism. Yeah, I already know that shit. To symbolize the role of history of Blacks in this country. The term for years in intellectual circles is gaining currency among many other Blacks who said it is a use and a sign that they are accepting their difficult past and resolving long, um, uh, uh, whatever the fuck, towards Africa. Now, watch this here. Let's go down here. For many years, the issue is already settled, not only in the minds, but the hearts. Whenever I go to Africa, said Rogers, senior fellow Institute uh Policy Studies, I feel like a person with a legitimate place to stand on this earth. Now, uh, uh, what's his name? Jesse Jackson said that that uh these black don't fit us anymore in this era, so they changed it to African American because it gives the people. Uh, motivation in the sense of self. Uh, brother, this shit come out in the late 1980s. That's why I asked you how old you is. You older than the term African-American, brother. But still, you sit there college. No, I'm not. How, how am I older than the term African-American when the term was being used since the eight, the late 18th century? No, show, me a sen show me that on the census. Show me African-American on the, on the census. In the bro, niggas, niggas was enslaved show back then, bro. Show me niggas, bro, do you? This how I know I'm a win because you don't even know. Slaves wasn't re recorded on those census. In, in the 1700, bro, most black folks was enslaved, dog. Niggas wasn't, niggas wasn't getting recorded, bro. You wasn't recorded on no census unless you was a born a free man, bro. You need to stop with the cap, bro. Stop with the cap. That's common sense. Ain't no common sense. Look it up. It's time to look it up. Look, this ain't the debate. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just giving you a preview of how I'm gonna whip your ass. No, easily. you are you are Especially, emotionally bro, debating, bro. Being You're in Houston, debating. I'm not emotionally you need debating. To go I'm back cool. To crack because I'm cool. I don't sell real. crack, bro. You I don't sell crack. crack. I never did sell crack, dog. I'm good. So you went outside, man. I stayed away from niggas like that. <laughs> so what you a Muslim? What you got a? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand like what's the what's the point of all these little personal attacks dog the information the information is the information dog that's all it is you well, know you what i'm saying and you you obviously you haven't been outside in houston like what you've been doing in fifth ward bro you should have all you had to do all you had, but you but you should have went to the historical landmarks though you you should have went to the buffalo soldiers museum 
Do, do you even know? Do you even know? You do you even know the history of Fifth Ward, my nigga? Brother, I did a tour. Do you know the history? Oh man, you crazy, bro. And you and you sitting up here talking about you an Indian? Look, you can't know it. You can't know it, brother. My great grandma, the one you just said, who the last person passed. Yeah, she she's a Cherokee, right? She has a plaque that says the, she's the mother of Fifth Ward. Born. And she and, and she Cherokee, right? And, and, uh, and, Fifth Ward. and she Cherokee. Well, that was well, she R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? Much respect to the dead, but she gone because if she was here, she wouldn't have you out here saying this bullshit, disrespect why, to her name. Why, why she wouldn't? Why because she, wouldn't? she know because more than likely she know who she was. And and she's an Indian, and she told me I can play it, I can play it. <laughs> And it's funny, huh? Hilarious, dog. Bro, I can't believe it's grown ass men family, from Houston, bro. Yeah, from you. Houston. Talk about they Indians, bro. That's crazy. You can't believe it, huh? Well, don't yeah, you know? Cause Houston, Houston, Houston got a strong African American presence, dog. In in yeah, our history is heavy out here. African American, bro. Africans that's born in America. American is niggas who don't know what tribe they from. The oh, Africans man. that's born in America that oh, got right, cut off from, from they right, from they right, ethnic. Right. From their ethnic relax. origins. It's okay. Relax. Watch this. Here. This is how my family. Yeah, it's talks definitely to me. okay. This is how my family talked to me. Okay. What was your family in the 17, 1800s? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's just one. I ain't done. This how my family, this what we talking about. What does that what does that prove, bro? What do that prove? What was your family in the 17, 1800? That would it prove. You heard they were you slaves. Said. If they was here already, they, they, they were slaves. They were so here. they wasn't they were I don't know. You you had Damn, you ain't you gonna you gonna have a hard time bro, pulling that up, nothing. bro. You're gonna have a hard time it's pulling that true, up. Bro. You gonna yeah, you're gonna have a hard time pulling no, that, that up because true. because enslaved Africans was not recorded on no census. When that did the census true, when when was the census started to being used? When did they start using the census? Hold on, I'm about to show you something. I'm finna you I'm finna let my grandma talk to you real quick. See, I can do this, and, and they and we in Houston, nigga. Because Mama Sarah and Daddy would take us to the Indian reservation down there, so we could see who the Indians was. But Mama Sarah was related to the Indians. She was an Indian. She was. Um, you say her. She had real long hair. We were children, but as she got older, you know, her hair came out. But, uh, yeah, okay, she looks like an Indian. My sister, look, let me show you. Yeah, it's what, you remember the reservation? I can't remember what that is. Was it in Livingston? Okay, yeah, I, I know that one. And that's what his family is, is it? <laughs> And we still got our land down there, bro. Uh, my family is Chief Mingo of the tribe. I can pull up the the tribe website and I can show you my family name on there. What we oh, doing, okay. When when, think, when was the? You ain't got no win. You ain't got no tribe, no nation, the people you come bro, from. You don't know bro, your that history. Shit. That shit you, you just played. That shit you just played, that shit don't mean nothing, bro. You, you ain't proved nothing with that, bro. Okay. You only prove that with, with these cats, bro. But that yeah, shit don't prove nothing with me. Okay. I don't know what you proved because it didn't prove anything. You don't when, know when, nothing. When did the United States when did the United States census uh begin to be used, sir? 1790. Okay, 1790. So that means you what? No, no, nah, nah, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, nah, I didn't know that. Know but you enough. but you enough, little nigga. But you didn't know you didn't know that enslaved Africans wasn't recorded on those census. 
and you don't you didn't know that uh, what's prior what's, brother let me pull up a slave record for you so i can show you because you ain't never seen one you don't know you're talking to bro Got i've seen record. the slave records bro i've seen we slave have records. historical uh uh um we have historical a slave record is not a census bro the slave record is not a united states census. It's with a slave on it nigga. you have slave schedules okay Right, right. You got slave. You don't know nothing about genealogy or senses. You don't know enough. That's why you ain't got no genealogy. Right. Yeah, okay. I, know, I know enough. I know so enough I show to bless you, you bro. Called slave schedules, brother. And I can show you my grandma's name on there. And her slave master was a husband. All right. Now everybody, every slave master that's listed on there in Texas, or all uh got a beep next to them. All of them was black niggas. We no white slave uh masters or none of that shit. What? No white folks enslave you. Boy, and you crazy as hell, dog. What's their name? This, this nigga said. Yeah, ain't, this nigga said talk. black yeah. people yeah. enslave black yeah. people, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I got the same slave schedule records too. Yep. My, my Came up and got Put pull it up, my dog. Pull it up. Great grandmother, and she was claimed as a slave on the land that he owned. During that time, they were farming in Virginia. And they left out of Virginia, so she's listed under him as a slave. But you can see they had nine children in Rankin County, Mississippi. Well, you know, you know, at one point in time, it was it was people that were that were run away as slaves, and they would keep them as slaves, even though they was probably smashing or, or married. Man, so name, they can be safe. Name, name them, cause all that imaginary made up shit. Name That's the person. Record. It ain't it ain't made up, bro. Pull name up what you talking about, dog. Name somebody that happened to. What's their name? Bro, my my ancestor from Louisiana had people that was listed on his uh okay, on so his what census. What plantation they was on? I don't know what plantation right, they was on, but they came enough. from New Orleans. You don't know enough. All right, bro. Pull, pull up, pull up this false information that you're talking about. Bro, when you you pull up something, I'm the only one that's pulling up shit. Hey, Tom, can I read him something real right quick? Now. Hey, can yeah, I read him something real quick, Tom? Turn up. All right. So this is from uh. This is from primary. This is uh, from the book Blue Jacket. All right. And it's dealing with the Shawnee. So on page 52 of that book, right, it says uh, it was apparently apparently in 1777 that Blue Jacket established his new town near the headwaters of the Mad River at the site of present Bella Fontaine in Logan County, Ohio. A black woman, Rachel Reno, later claimed to have been born at Blue Jacket's village about 1780. Now, it didn't say nothing about she was a slave. None of that. But it she did say something about she was a black woman, though, right? But black doesn't mean slavery, and it doesn't mean Africa. My I never, I never, I never said it meant slavery or Africa. But it, it made a differentiation about the fact that she was black. It, it, but you it can't make black be a it slave, made, I never said that. Slaves. I never, I never said that. But they're, they're establishing the difference between this other person and this woman that was born that was black. Because the other people you. wasn't black. The That's other people wasn't you. black. There's a difference between black and an Indian. So we're not black. We Indians. So now you got to go find out who are the black people. Bro, you the black people, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga colonized like a motherfucker. Hey, brother, brother, you the black people. Screen. Hey, look on the screen. Can you see my screen? Can you yeah, see my I screen? See okay, now right here. We in Texas. 1884 right here you see with this circle we are indian citizens we're not black you don't say black on here say indian citizen who this, is this this is my family nigga how i this know the type of shit i can i can do to you how do i know what you mean how, that, do you know? how, how do i know because you said the shit all hey, i see is on, scribble scrabble on, brother, relax relax all i relax, see is scribble brother, scrabble bro you. anybody I'm can clearly see you. that you don't know what the senses look like okay now here go the name this the nigga, slave this nigga be forging here. information and showing slave. all type of shit. Here go, hold on, brother, relax. Here. Now here go the slave schedule. Since you ain't never seen one, name of slave owners. And so I scratched it out. Now all of the slave masters on here gotta be by their name because they were black. So what are you white slave owners at? Why are I mean, you why are you scratching names out? Now, why on, are you nigga, scratching nigga, names out, bro? Until you can pull up a source, don't ask no questions. Now here why are go, you put, why are you scratching names out? He go up, manifest the slaves on board. Okay, this is the boat that she took over here. It went that many people on there because my grandpa paid for her to come from New Orleans to Galveston on uh, Island on the on the ferry. 
right. Do all this together for now. That sounds like a slave route to me. <clears throat> it's a slave route with six people on there. You got to pay to get on. You pay sound like a slave route. So most slave enslaved Africans, most enslaved Africans that came from Louisiana, from? most enslaved Africans uh, that uh, came from Louisiana, they was they they settled, they settled, they settled in Galveston. Most most enslaved Africans that came from Louisiana, they was they they settled in Galveston, bro, from Louisiana. They got the Texas, bro. Chill, stop with the cap, y'all. Yes, bro. This is general information. This is general information. Most enslaved Africans that got here. From Louisiana, most, not all, because my ancestor no, got no, here. No, my no, ancestor no. got here horseback, but most of them got here from Louisiana, and they settled in in, in Galveston. You sure about that? Yes, sir. Right, y'all keep talking. I'm finna go. I'm, right, we got something for them. Y'all keep talking. Okay. All right. So, all right, brother. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a little bit more right out of this book, and this is a primary source, right? So, not much history is written on the 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 um history of the shawnee people because they moved around a lot right so we don't let a nigga get a beat on us we was all over this shit right so here here's the, the, the same book right out of blue jacket this is one of the fame one of the greatest chiefs that ever walked the soil right so let's this is a distinction between who is who it says that the campaign from page 63 on the book blue jacket right the campaign had turned into a fiasco as the Americans learned from an escaped black prisoner of the Shawnees. All right, that's page 50. So let's go down here. They had no wish to negotiate at Fort Finney, but hoped to organize a general meeting at Detroit. Complain, right? This is Black Snake. But here, racists usually liked him. Rachel Reno, a black woman born in one of his towns, recalled simply that Blue Jacket was a good Indian. Right, that's page 77. All right, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's go down here. So it's all it's references all over the distinction between a black, a Negro, and an Indian, much like it is on the census. As we keep trying to emphasize, there's a difference between the people. So when you're saying black, you trying to equate that to a slave. You say Negro, you try to no, equate I that didn't. To a slave. No, I didn't. No, I but didn't. Who are I said African American. Af African American is synonymous. African American is African American is synonymous with black, bro. We know this. So how it's common it sense, dog. Of these people, where did they come from? African Americans. Americans come from. They were born. They were Africans born in America through slavery. Come on, man. What, what are you talking about? And what part of the country, brother? Georgia? All over the South, Georgia Texas. Georgia didn't have slavery until the 1730s. Some... Georgia didn't oh, have slavery man. in the state of Georgia. It Bro, slavery. In the we haven't even we haven't even been here that long before so the uh the 18th century, bro. What are you I'm talking about? I have a seventh grade they, grandfather, um, bro. Leonidas bro, Hill, brother, we come bro, from the late, Georgia. Bro, in the late, in the late, in the late, in the late 18th century, which is the 1700s. Hey, point 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 hold on, hold on. I was I wasn't no, done. No, 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 I wasn't right done. Right quick. Let me let me I just, wasn't let's done. Let's do this hold on, let's do this right here. You made a statement that said that the slaves came in Galveston, right? Well, right here we are at the at the museum in Galveston. All right. Now he go to professor, he go to uh chairman of it. Now watch what he tell us about the slaves down there. He wasn't saying that at first, but now he come to show us, he say, you know what? Uh, into Texas, 15, All right, so the total population, uh right here. Let's he wasn't saying that at first. I'm but now he come to show us, he say, you know what? He's been so high, it wasn't no African. Yeah, nigga, we didn't ask that nigga that shit. on the ground. He thought about it. He said, "This is nigga, this nigga, this fifteen thousand one seventy five. That's the total transplanted population transported to to Texas, fifteen thousand one hundred and seventy five. Now let's see how many went to Galveston. Now watch this." So when you think about so in Galveston, only eleven thousand four hundred and ninety-two that that was sent there. All right, now watch this here. What he say? There were three hundred thousand people enslaved here in this area. By so it was three hundred and sixty thousand. So only fifteen thousand got transported to 
to Texas. 11,000 was in Galveston. But then by 1860, you got over 300, down to 400,000 slaves. So watch what he say. All right. So to help y'all keep in the back. They transported in, they telling they only transported in 15,000. Check. You have a population, you have 11,000 in the Galveston area. Check, check. But the total population of slaves is motherfucking 360,000. Yeah. So how that number grow like that? Did y'all hear? How that number grow total like that? Total population is 360,000. We didn't ask this. Maybe because they kept on bringing yeah, illegal they slavery. They have to come from people that were either already here. Fuck out of here with that nigga. They was already here, bro. You heard, you know, you heard him you, say that. They you came you, you just you just here. said you just said that they brought slaves to Texas, but then you use him saying they was already here. To try yeah, to push your, your you go okay, bro. All right, at the museum. Okay, you well, we, well, well, you you gonna have to argue. Hopkins. Okay, well, you gonna have to See, argue with. To, all no, right, all right, bro. I let you talk. I let you talk, bro. I, okay, well, let's bring up a primary. You gonna have to argue with the Africans that was in uh Galveston name that built, bro. I could name, name a landmark. I could name, name a landmark. Okay, a, you know a, a historical landmark. In Galveston, called a Reedy Chapel. It is it is the Reedy Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church. It was established in eighteen forty eight. Philadelphia. You know what? I got something. Bro, for that too. they have they bro, have bro. one in he Galveston. Don't bro, he don't know what he is. Bro, I can give you the address, bro. What he is you talking about, bro? bro what is you talking AME about? Church? Bro, they had a branch in Galveston, bro. What is you saying? Where did it come from? If it's a branch in Galveston, oh where my where god. Did it come from? It don't matter where it's from, nigga. It don't matter. It was black people in Galveston that it was black people in Galveston that went to this church because they knew they was Africans, bro. Stop with the bullshit. Stop with the bullshit. Bro, you crashed. You crashed because you don't you don't know how to use sources, bro. I could give you primary sources of sources that you can go visit now. And, and it proves easily that you African American. It proves easily that you African American, bro. You sure about that? These niggas, bro. It's several landmarks in Houston with the word African American in it. Dog, what is you talking about? In Fifth Ward, you don't know what you talking about, bro. What is you talking about? You just know, you just selling this shit. You selling this shit to these niggas, dog. I'm you can't it, right? sell that shit. You can't sell that shit to me, dog. Because you, you skipping not, through the video. You you just you trying to play contextual games, bro. You, you skip the context and then you say, oh, they was already, just because he said they was already here, don't mean that they Native Americans, bro. Okay, well then different, let's different do this. Slaves, let's do this different minute, slaves got here at different I times, wish, bro. Alright, let's do this, side with. So what we did was we went to go ask the people. Here goes some old yeah, ladies. Yeah, right. uh, okay, I have a question. What does Juneteenth mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, now watch right, this right. why, why you skipping on, why you skipping i'm skipping up to get to the point now listen oh uh, yeah it's a your point All okay right. now listen brother um have y'all family ever told y'all y'all had any in y'all family yeah that's a big difference oh, yeah? um who told y'all if y'all don't mind me uh, grandpa, grandpa mom, mom. huh huh ma'am Okay, your historic cousin. Um, but how old were y'all when when they told y'all those stories? Huh? You see that? Since they was kids, they knew this. Yeah, to on, bro, that's, that's a big difference, bro. Uh, most black people, now, hold most hold black on, people, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. they, they, they use that. Hold on, they I'm use that. that. I'm all right, you. all right, bro. That's, that's hilarious, dog. You go that's hilarious. Day because I can easily walk you, dog. People. Easily walk you. Don't worry about what we talking about. We gonna ask the people in Galveston. I have pictures. We lost the picture. My grand, oh my, the president is about here celebrating. Now, here's a not at the White House. I'm so, playing Saturday. So tell me this: What does Juneteenth mean to you, being a, a native to Galveston? What did it mean, Houston? Okay. She known on Galveston Island. She did a whole lot for the community. 
I went at my uncle today is being honored for man of the year. Uh, no, okay. Sean Arthur. So we we our roots is here. Let me ask you this here. Uh, have they family? roots are in Galveston, bro. They come from the dirt. What she told me. Watch this here. Of course, they roots and gals, and so they they separated from Africa. Hold on, bro, hold up, because I just asked to do they have Indian family now. Watch this here. Great, great. Let me tell you, my great, great, great grandfather was an Indian chief. I have pictures. We lost the pictures tonight. This is not a this is not a primary source, bro. My great, great, great. It's a weak source, dog. Grandfather was a chief. Come on, bro. We talking to the people out there. Hold on, nigga. That's we, not a primary source, bro, dog. Primary is the people. It's, it's people. Oh, it's people, it's people just. It's people, people just like that. It's primary people just like that in your that. crowd, dog. It's people just like that in your crowd, bro. Now watch this lady. Um, watch this lady. Um, wow. Um, what did they say? Um, I think Cherokee. Okay. Great grandmother is partially Cherokee. Bro, was okay, it even uh, Cherokees and Texas like that? Nigga, you asked that question, nigga. Chief Bowles brought the uh, Cherokees. East Texas ain't Texas ain't, ain't even Cherokee right. territory, bro. You crazy, bro, nigga. My grandma right. buried in Cherokee County, Texas. What? Y'all yes, boys, y'all do pseudo is here, dog. Oh, you don't know enough. Texas. Don't do it to them them dusty ass Native Americans ain't my ancestors, bro. Uh uh. We not Native. He says that Cherokee even <laughs> Native Americans, Indians, <laughs> Aboriginals, whatever you call them, them dusties is not my ancestors. I don't have a lick of that shit in my blood, boy. What is you talking about? Uh, you you nobody too though. So look, Cherokee. I sure am. Cherokee. I'm a I'm a nobody dusty African. Yup. You don't even know what tribe I'm from though. So the yeah, you don't know what tribe you from. The well, my blood, my it's blood true. match, my blood match with with Fube, Mandinka, <laughs> Ebo. I'm Stop trying to it. understand what's your point. You ruler. Hey, you know, the what the you got? 1807, right here. I thought the Cherokees went in Texas. Nigga, the Cherokee wars was fought in Texas. Uh, uh, um, but what uh, that gotta do no, with you though? You what that gotta do with you though? That don't what prove mean, shit. That got it ain't got nothing to do with you, nigga. That's the whole point. It ain't got nothing to do with you. What you mean? What it got to do with me? It ain't got Hold nothing on. to do with you, cause your yeah, ass was in chains. Yeah, if your yeah, ass, yeah, if your yeah, people yeah, was yeah, even yeah, here back then, yeah, when 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 was the Cherokee yeah, Wars, bro? He brought the which ones? Cherokee Wars was in the 1700s, the end of the 1700s. In the 1700s. When was your when was when was your actual ancestors enslaved? Well, my family was in Texas, homie. The record I just showed you is a record from Texas. My family been in when Texas. It, when it went since what? 1836. So what the fuck that? So what the you you just showed me some shit about some Alabama shit. What the fuck they gotta do with you? Nigga, they migrated from Alabama. Ass, okay. Well, now, what the fuck they gotta do? What the fuck they gotta do with you? South, little Southwest. That's, hold that's, on, watch this. Up. You, you just brought up the AME church, right? Well, this is me in front of the first AME church. See, I'm a boost on the ground type oh, of dude. Nah. You know my debate. <laughs> <laughs> That don't that does not negate the AME presence in Galveston. What is the AME? What's the AME? The African Methodist Episcopal Church, bro. It was established by African Americans. That's not true. It was established by his guy. That's why he started. That nigga's an African American. Who he is? Hold on, let me watch. Let me take it over and show you. You don't even know who that is. You sitting there talking, you don't even know who that is. So let's walk up to the sign. We have what they say is called the Free African Society. So right here, he goes to first AME church. What's his name, dog? What's his name? <laughs> okay, so who is he? That nigga uh, is Scottish uh, right with Indian. Nah, he's an African American, bro. From Scotland. That nigga ain't no that. So an Indian, so an Indian started the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Yeah, yeah. So an Indian, an uh, Indian started the African Methodist Church. Let me show you where it started. It started right here. So right here, I'm wow. in the St. George. Nigga crazy, bro. I'm in the St. George Church. 
This is the church where they gonna start. They gonna pay to the start the AME church. It's gonna start right here. Bro. This one here. I'm a real historian, homie. I'm a real historian. You see me on the box, like in front of everywhere we talking about. Everything you brought up, nigga, I just showed you me there. I'm catching flights and money. And for bro, you just sit up here and lie. You just sit up here and lie that this said this dude was Indian and Irish, bro. Y'all hold, y'all hold the float. Yeah, this bro, dude just sit up here and lie. Hey, get the likes up, y'all. Hey, we only have 600 likes in here. Get the likes up. Share the video. Hey, bro, this dude you lied. Bro, bro, you said Richard bro. Allen. You said Richard Allen is Indian and Irish, bro. bro this nigga's an African American, bro. bro I know what I'm saying. Why? Why would think about what you're saying, bro? Why would a why would an Indian why would an Indian establish? Why would an Indian? By what you tell us and by birth and death marriage records, right? Why would an Indian establish the African Methodist Church? Can you can you explain that? Looking at the wrong label, you're looking at the term. Why they not practicing African religions? And your mind why around the fact that 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 that's no, it it doesn't make any sense, bro. Why would a Native American Indian? Woolly hair. Okay. Indian in in. Indians from Javidians from the Indus Valley have darker skin than this. What's the point? What's the point? But why you're not explaining to me why would a native Indian start a church called an African Episcopal Church, bro? Okay, 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 so why would he do that? Can you can you just answer the question? Can you just answer the question? It was a Christian, it was an African Christian church. I'm gonna answer it now. Watch this here, young man. If they if if they so African, why aren't they practicing African religions in there? They worshiping white Jesus. Hey, that's because they was colonized. They that's the religion. That's the religion that they learned in America, bro. In chains, it is what it is. Get over it. So, what no Christianity in West Africa? But you still, yeah, it was Christianity in the Congo, which is which is West Central Africa. But the most of them, it was two. Most of them niggas was animists, and one third of them was Muslims. So what are you talking about? The only the main Christians that came over here was from the Congo. Bro, that bro, you still you still running away from the question. I ask you, why would a Native American establish an African Methodist church? Why? They're not Native American. He just Native said the nigga American. was Native American. Man, not bro, Native. all you, bro, no all you doing Native. is playing no, word Native. salad. Okay, well, whatever the fuck you call him. Why would it? What? Why would an right, Indian? Right, brother, why brother, would it? No, 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 bro. Why? Why? No, you're you not helping me out. You're not. No, because you niggas, all you niggas do is play games. That's all you niggas do. Y'all miss, y'all, y'all misuse shit. Y'all misusing shit. Let me help you out. No, can you answer the question? Can you answer the question? Is Richard? Is Richard Allen a Native American? Is Richard Allen? Is you Richard Allen an Indian? Okay. Is know. Richard is rich? Indian, okay. Well, teach well, teach me about him. Okay. Why would he yes, if he half no, Indian? No, no, no. If he half Indian and half no, European, no, why no, no. what connection? What connection with Africa? Emotional. What emotional. connection? What connection with Africa caused him to establish the African Methodist Church? Yeah, no, why? Listen to pay attention. So Listen so why did he start it? Why did he name it the African Methodist Church? I'm about to show you, bro. All right, all right, bitch. Check it out, y'all. So the um uh the dominant force arise came in the form of religious pan-Africanism in the formation of African Methodist Episcopal Church. The AME became all right, so that they, they came in through Christianity. All right. Oh my god, this is bullshit, bro. Now, you now, just on, proving on, yourself right here. Your people in Houston, right they gon' they no, gon' they gonna yes, tell you to give me my business. money, dog. Tell my business. They gonna tell you to give me my money. Let me tell you, you already me. losing, dog. Let me, Let me show you something. So the first church in America. Now the ed, the elders of the Methodists. Um, hold on. Let me go down here when they had a chance to pick. Okay, right here. So um, once they broke away, they said now they had a choice to choose what religion, what religious sect or domination would suit the capacity of colored people. And guess what they said? The Methodists. For the plan, the simple gospel suits us best for our people. That's why they didn't have an African, uh, because they chose Methodist, white Christianity, white Jesus. Nigga. Of course, we're not surprised. That's not this a is, surprise. You told me to teach you about Richard Allen, 
Go get That's his not book. A, like you're not teaching me shit. You're not teaching me shit. You're not teaching me shit. You you not you not establishing what race this nigga is. All you saying is he Native American, but he established an African church. Now 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 I could bring up I could bring up another church that black people in America. Bro, you gotta let somebody else talk. We got uh which is the first African Baptist. All right, bro, we gonna holler at you, bro. Uh, Gwen yeah, get him out of here. Well, what's up with y'all, bro? You feel me? I'm a student of all y'all. Not sure that was just talking, but I'm from Baltimore. I actually did my like genealogy a little bit, and I'm first cousin seven times removed with Al Gore. You feel me? My fifth great grandfather was George Washington Gore, and my fifth great grandmother name was Mary Gore. They had 13 kids together, and uh, yeah, I just was trying to figure out. I think Mary Gore was an Indian. I don't believe that African stuff either. I did the research. My family migrated from both sides straight from Virginia. My father, my people's migrated from King Williams County, and my mother people's migrated from Boone County, West Virginia. But they was there so long that it was still, I think, West Virginia ain't come about till 1862. You feel me? But on my mother's side, I was able to go back to the 1200s because I talked to a couple of white people that I'm related to in Madison County. And uh, one of them did my whole little genealogy on my mother's side. And the blood in my veins go back to like, fucking hold up. I can look it up right now. Nah, that's what's up, though. That's that brother speaking. That's genealogy. See, you can yeah, hear you me. Feel me? You Flame and Dragon, the link is at the top. Because I heard oh, my bad, y'all. About... Flame and Dragon said Indians are more. Flame and Dragon, the link is at the top. We would love for you to join the panel. My bad. I Tell think Indians is more too, bro. You feel me? That's what I think. I think. All across the world, everybody was Moors. That Tartaria Empire, they ran the whole world. That's what I think. You feel me? But I listen to y'all every day. You feel me? But I'm listening. You feel me? Yeah. So the really... Moors don't come in. We have a, a genesis. We have a date when the Moors come. The Moors don't come until the rise of Islam. So everybody right. was in Islam, so it couldn't pertain to everyone. Moors. Right. So King James and then was Moors back in like the 14th. No, no, no. King James wasn't the Moor. King James was a Catholic. They King more, James, though. his son, his grandsons, all were Catholics. That's why they, the Protestants raided them. That's why the Protestants took them off the crown. That's right. why the, civil, the English Civil Wars went on, because Henrietta Maria, which was French, which was their cousin, the Protestant. It's a book called Henrietta Maria in the English Civil Wars. Check that right. book out. Yeah, so now nah, they wasn't, uh, King James wasn't no uh, uh, more. That nigga was a... Uh, um, he, they was Catholicism. Yeah, I don't think all of them. I was thinking that all of them was Moors, bro. Like even the motherfuckers that kicked him out of ink, like Europe. I thought like he got kicked out of ink, uh, Europe by other Moors. Like nah, nah, he Moors didn't get kicked about... out of Europe. Well, the Moors. I say this here: the Moors were already beat up and destroyed. The last Moors empire was the Ottoman Empire, and they got destroyed in the fifteen hundreds uh, by uh, by uh, 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 King Charles. King Charles right. the Fifth, yeah, right. they, yeah, the Moors lost to them. Well, bro, I'm, so I'm in the city, hold on, King, I'm saying that to say King James didn't come. He united the crown in 1603, and so um, that's when he got his power like that. So yeah, the Moors was already uh, knocked off the map by then. Bro, I know that they established Baltimore, bro. If you come to Baltimore, it's nothing but Moorish architecture, bro. I'm not lying. We got no, no, no that's not Moorish architecture. That's American architecture. That's the people that come from America created those. That's why you see it in America. I, I believe it. But we even got a historic thing called the Moors Tower, bro. Like, you can look it up. It's called the Moors Tower. That don't mean the Moors built it, though, right? I mean, that's true. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. All right, turn, turn up, y'all, and then I'll just jump in there. I'm going to get this source. Yeah, I, I, I'll say, um, also, to add to, there's um, a lot of that symbolism is organic to america um but what you have is a case of people writing stories for us and placing themselves at the head of the ship as being navigators to this when in reality much like our people are today we'll take a back and we'll listen to somebody say something in order to glean information to see if it is right but you'll run into a historical problem with that when you let other people tell the stories why right. Because when it's a financial benefit to it, they're going to write it what's most beneficial to them. 
Right. So even if you walk to the pearly gates with the nigga, help them build it, and you back off at the end and say, hey, man, that's it, I'm falling out. If you're not there standing with him, he going to write the story and make it seem like it's him, homie. You see what I'm saying? He going to put right. his name over top of it. Right. So that's hey, look, how much of, hold on, A1. That's how much a lot of the history, symbolic history, architectural history in America is written. You see hey, line? you got a Baltimore buddy down there. You got a buddy from Baltimore down there, Jeremiah. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, be more uh, in the building. Yeah, bro. Hey, 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 real, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I just want to say one thing real quick. All right, I got you, baby. Real quick, man. You know I got pushed. You know I got pushed back on anything you just said. Turn up. Um. All right. So look, check this out, right? So look, we do it like this. Do we find these same structures that in America, in Portugal and Spain? Yeah, you find them not only in Portugal and Spain. You find them in uh, Russia. You find them in Turkey. You find them. Um, yeah, you find them in a lot of places. Around okay, the so that, but they saying that them, so them people who they saying built them are more. Now I'm not more, sure. bro. I know they. Uh, okay, all right, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, little bro. Hold on, be more. Hold on, be more. Let me get it out. Push the whole Morris. I'm not here to push the Morris thing. I'm just telling you that that science that came from the Americas, they're calling them people over there in Europe Moors. Period. No right. matter what we say. And well, the Moors built in a different style, though. So nah, we can go brother, through the Moors. You got Gothic and you got Greco Roman. They always built by us. The yeah. Greco Roman style and the. And but that's and not the that's not Moors building. Right. Let me ask y'all this: deal. Do y'all know the first Morris building built? Do y'all know the fort first Morris building built? I can show it to you right telling now. Us. That's what they telling us. We already said. What well, the Morris are claiming is. But the more I'm a more, and I'm not claiming it. Yeah, but you ain't the same type of more as other Moors. I got you. I got you. But the only reason why I'm saying is because they wouldn't agree right. with your American. You know what I'm saying? Some they wouldn't. Of them. I'm, yeah. I'm king of the Moors, though. I'm king of the Moors from this point on. So them. Niggas, well, you gotta you gotta start debating the uh the Sir Duke of Tears and 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 and, and, and Sabir Bays and all of that before you say that though. Sabir, anyway. I don't fuck with Sabir, but a Sir don't. I know, but I'm saying you still can beat him up. Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got you, bro. But nah, but just, just real quick, I'm gonna say this, and I get out of here. Shout out to BCU too, right? Um, I just say this before I get out of here, right? More, the term "more" is not restricted to no Arabic nation, bro. It's not. It was the like the brother right. just said. It was the Catholics, the Romans, the yeah, Menorahs. All, all of them are more. Yeah, I do know they switched the word "more" for Indian. I mean, it's well, not true, different. brother. You feel me? I mean, they master teachers, though. They that's know true. stuff like that, so I ain't even gonna sit here and say little stuff like that. You feel yeah, me? that's not true. Whoever said that, that that's just simply bro, not true. I seen it on Pinterest, bro. I be saying some I mean, seen it on Pinterest. Yeah, bro. Pinterest be having. <laughs> bro, you say shit, bro. Switch that up, though, bro. <laughs> Pinterest. He talking, about Natala, Z- he talking about Natala Zola. Um, I mean, Z- Zola. Um, is it standard or is it headdress? Which when they when they said my take Zuma headdress was a nah, Morris don't do that, man. Because brother, that's what they. But I'm not. Yeah, I feel you this. what they said, but I'm standing I can, on truth. I'm not standing. No, no, no. no I got you, family. Writing. But see, I'm this not, is I'm what's not. gonna happen. I'm gonna say this here. That's information that we already dealt with over here. So I can play a clip right now, and I can show y'all why it's not a good idea for y'all to agree with them and say that's Morris headdress because that can easily be debunked. And I'm just saying that just to be real. That can easily listen, be but see the thing is the thing with this information thing is, brother, we can always find a source that's going to disagree with everything. But okay, so let me that ask you this here then. It's since you say that with the people of that nation, with the Aztec, did they call it a Moorish headdress? Yes. Well, well, I'm not saying that. Oh, all right, so hold on. That's no, not no, I'm not going to say uh, hold on. I'm not going to go that. Hold on. Let me get no. let me get say this, right? I'm not going to go that far to say that they call them Morris Hedra. They didn't call Mayans or the Aztecs Indians neither. So the fact that they call them Indians is a problem. No, that's not that's not a problem. We don't have a problem with them calling they, them they, Indians. They never say that the old Max, the, the, the uh, Mayans, uh, none of these people, the Aztecs, none of them are, are the Peruvians. They don't never say none of them are Indians. They who don't say people, that? Who are you talking about? They don't never do, do, Listen, the only people who say that they Native Americans are people who write in the history now. Prior to that, you would never find none of them people being called Indians. Never. 
<laughs> Wait, what, what you reading then? I'm, I'm reading. Look, like, like I said, I don't Jesuit, read one source. I don't all read through one. the Jesuit letters, all through the uh, all of it, they they always call them Indians. Everybody's calling them Indians, and we know what Indian mean. All they saying is these are the people of of God. These are the people of these uh, uh holy scriptures or religions that was transplanted to these places as religions. Everybody's telling the story of America. They just broke it down into religions. You can get that out of Moore's and Dogma, out of Albert Pike Moore's and Dogma book. He tell me they, they took the science and then they uh, goddamn created religion as they transplanted them to these different colonies. But that's when they start calling the Americas. Them. But yeah, I, yeah, we all agree on that though. But we can't we can't sit here and say that in one breath that the structure that was built here that we see identically in other places where they call people who was Moors are not Moors. We can't say that. And, and if we see one structure built here, then we have to trace that science to other places. We have okay, to. now by us tracing it, we're going to have to trace bloodline. I mean, so that means we're going to have to name people. Who were the people there at this time who were building these structures? Who are these people? Now we get advantage because one thing we can do is we can look at like we did with Mexico City. We can look at that and we can see the 13 colonies. We can look at that and we can see places in Europe. Now, the connection, how do we connect it is we find what people was there and uh, what people built this, and then we can follow them around the world. So if wherever they go, the science is going so you know they're there. But we have to put a marker on who these people are and what bloodlines they're coming from. I think that'll stop the generalization and we can go right in and talk about who we're talking about. That's how I connected the Minoans, the Mycenaeans, the Greeks. That's how I did it through my uh, through bloodlines of the gods. I traced the people. But, but all the names, those people, though, the dates. all those people you saying, no top cat, when we run it back to the history, we'll say that they all Indians, right? We'll say that they descend from... No, no, at a certain time, we're going to call it Indians. We know that's going to... In the past, it was different names, and that was yeah. one of the ways that they mixed it up because they'll call you by different names through different periods of time. But that's why the saying with the term more, the we'll be able to keep up with who the people, the names as they switch. But that's what the brother saying with the term more, man. The term more has so much convoluted, um, 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 historical lies to it that basically we we're confused even when it comes to that. We we think the term more is dealing with a particular people, not saying that these people are called moral with the for the color of their skin. So it ain't got nothing to do with no Arab. And I, you know, you man, you always we had this. Conversation. But the reason why I say that is because we do not see none of these Moors nations. Until the, the they were the army of, of Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad. That's we don't see a more. That's why I be confused about too. They tell yeah, that somebody, story you have to show me a more before Prophet Muhammad. I mean, hold up. You said oh. the Prophet Muhammad is 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 be. I mean, seven eleven is before the Prophet Muhammad, right? It's the sixth century. You said so. It's the sixth century with the Prophet right. Muhammad. Right? Right. Okay, but now we got to take into account that chronological dates. And this has already been said by other Europeans and other people who deal with chronology that they added a thousand years to five hundred years to the time. Right. So we gotta consider that. Well, that, 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 well, that, well, that wasn't on this side of the world. Now we gotta keep it in context. That was, added to our that was the Muslim now. calendar. Time out. Hold on. That was the Moors okay. and the Islam calendar. They was going by the moon calendar, which threw off their dates for their harvest. Now over here in America, I would pick, we ain't got no bent pyramids like in Giza. I was, we ain't fuck up. All I was shit was to perfection. The stars, the moon, the limes, our calendars. We got sun and moon calendars too. But our shit was never off. That's why they end up changing it, uh, having to change their, their uh calendar over there. But that was the Islam calendar, and then they switched it over to the Gregorian, and a lot of people think it was something bad, but really what they was doing was they switched it over so they could keep up with the harvest cycles because they uh wouldn't get no crops in. But they're not the originators of agriculture. We are the guys that brought them agriculture. So of course they had the almanac. We wrote the almanac to teach them, but them pyramids over in Giza is on the same 
um, um geographical lay- layout and shit, right. as the same thing we see in America. So and, and that t- right exactly with TO Till walking. I mean exactly. they're a split image. Split name it, same sign, so, same. So, 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 but we know the first, the first pyramid in Egypt is what the step pyramid. Right. The masters of the step pyramids are from the Amaru or from yeah, America. Yeah. So we yeah, know we that you. even no pyramid. And then look, listen. Even when you deal with like um the Queen of Moon, and I know you you said some things about um Lepagian or whatever, but everything that Lepagian wrote. LePagian. Up, yeah, but everything he wrote in that book is not a lie because he even said nah, it's America, not. It's, it's not. Um, he, but he says America is the oldest. He said among geographical scholars, America is the oldest known continent on the face of the planet. Well, I mean, it's one earth, so I wouldn't say that for a civilization. I agree with him for a civilization. They said they found the oldest bones, human bones in Louisiana, bro. I think that's even on the front of LSU University. Oh, what, 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 give me a date for that. What you mean, the oldest bones? Uh, hold up, man. My bad. Now I say that been found I, I go with the oldest site, which would be Poverty Point. And, we, and really, we like we talked about Poverty Point yesterday. We don't know how old Poverty Point. Poverty we Point, think, stupid old. It has to be. It has to be. Poverty Point is associated old. with 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 Atlantis. Did you know that one? Go check that one out. That was blood lines that are going fire. Ohio player, what's up, family? That's why I got to get down there. I went to Mexico City first because they said till to, to uh, Nuzlan was built in the image of of atlantis so i went there to see it's it, it, and i don't see no water it's impossible but they um uh now that you, the, the, you, said, hold up. you said you don't see what no water so what they tell us is that mexico city is on top of the water because remember atlantis is supposed <laughs> to put it i mean drown it supposed to sunk yeah yeah so, so you don't see you said hold up so you said when you went down there because when you see tia notion land and tia Tacon, it's laid out According to the images, they, it's, it's supposed to be yeah, laid I took out from the from the plane. Hey, ain't no water nowhere around them motherfuckers. All right, all right, because it didn't look like no water. So, nah. But they said that these are they made um man-made islands um where they built right. that. So, but that but you said they talking about it, but you know who really the niggas who did that? Uh, uh the coming off the Gulf Coast. Cause that's how we see them little islands and man-made islands right there. Oh, uh, your people them from the islands off of Georgia. Come on, man. That's how far is that? About. How far? How far is Tia to come from the water? Like from the coast? You gonna drive hours? Okay. All right. So, so it's look, not on, directly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something at the Anthropology Museum too, cause they they put up an image and said that that this image was actually. Uh, how I look before now, and it's impossible. But y'all keep talking. I'm gonna look for it. Hey, brother, man, my am what is that young, young, young brother? Listen, bro, we just have to kind of agree to Be disagree. More. To my on the whole Baltimore, we have to kind of agree to disagree with Top Cat on the Morris thing. I understand where you're coming from, um, but a lot of people they don't, you know, they don't subscribe to that. But it's cool though, as long as we understand that us from America. We did have a worldwide civilization that that ex, ex, that expanded from the Americas and throughout the Americas. Right. Okay. So it's like you know, as long as we understand that, and we know that we had the science and the technology to, you know, what I'm saying to go, you know, because even when you're dealing with the mathematical systems, the oldest, the number zero was created here. So if the number hey, zero hey, hey, created, one, watch this here. I'm gonna play a video. Uh, 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 my little dude who was uh the teacher that day. One of the first things he said was the Mayas created the the number zero. This is and he gonna go into the breakdown. And I I thought about that. I started laughing in my head. Yeah, I said wait till they see this shit. But look, as soon as you walk in the anthropology museum, guess who right there? Lucy. So I asked them oh, niggas. Man. Who I asked him who gonna come clean because they always saying she ain't no monkey and all of this, but here she go right here. Now hold on, let me go to uh let me go find that little joint of uh what I was talking about. Hey, look, look at this right here though. Hey, one look at the codexes though that they got in the museum. Look at the codexes, look how they depicting the people. 
And he got the so Jaguar. Yeah. Um, he got the Turn Jaguar up. suit on. He got the Jaguar, but that's where the Black Panther um, costume came from, the Jaguar suit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Jaguar, Jaguar ain't nothing but a Panther. A Look, Black right here. Jaguar. They talking about the Jaguars right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get to this little joint, man. Uh, It ain't low. So he got a map that they had up there, too. Okay, here we go. So this is how they said it look. Oh, and and I, I took a, a picture coming in overview. This is how they said it used to look. But I took a picture coming in and those is all dry land. All dry land. But uh yeah, that's the that's the uh museum tour right there. Shout out Quest of Cola. And they got the lit, it got the reptilian, the snake, the um, yeah. um rep that's Quest of Cola, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think we all got dragon blood in the show. You see what we get ashy our skin. Hey, uh, they got that same <laughs> symbol. Pop, you ever seen the um the Alpha Romero symbol of the dragon eating a man? Did you see that down there when you went down there? Now I ain't paying attention, but I found that other one. You said about uh uh old boy uh Atlas or whatever the nigga holding the uh world on his neck. Yeah, well Atlas, yes, and presiding, presiding with the um with the so-called baseball bro uh i forgot yeah i do got that man and it's so huge it's like it's like a hundred feet hundred two hundred it's like a hundred hundred fifty feet that's how huge it is that statue you talking about yeah i got it i'm gonna have to uh, be what up from, other phone. Uh, uh, from atlantis right he's both yeah, yeah but he in, he in mexico city yeah driving through mexico city and he's huge i'm talking about like a hundred two hundred feet bro like you can't miss him <laughs> Man, Tali, what's that with it? Soul food vegan in the building. Remember the same Man, penny down. that they found in Barbados with the with the with the um Aborigine hands. You turn the back of it, it has a Poseidon character like he's on a sled or some type of shit. Yeah, that's how he like this when he kneeled down like and uh when we ride by, I'm like, hey man, what the hell is that? Cause I'm talking about it's huge. You can't miss it. You can see it from far back pulling up on it. Uh, the masonry on it is, is crazy, though, the detail. But he's huge. He's taking up the whole street. Yeah, I forgot. I said, damn, when we got off the line yesterday, I remember. I said, man, I, I got that. Uh, I got that clip. Yeah, we got that. That's a big ass statue, too, like you said. <clears throat> hey, what's up with Nuka? What's going on with y'all? Tilly, Tilly, where you from? Cincinnati. Ohio. What you got for? Ah, uh, you know, I just be trying to figure out why everybody keep debating about the little African stuff. Like when over here in America, we don't we don't look nothing like Africans. Like you can look at them and see they African. Like the ones from like Senegal, King, they even look different in Africa. But yeah, we don't look nothing like them. So for them to keep saying we can't go there, it don't make no sense. That's all they got to stand on, brother. They, they, they want to. How, how are we from two different continents? That's the problem I have with that. Because we didn't bring the people that ever existed and we look like them. So they want to, they want to, they want to try to tie themselves to our uh, uh, credit, to the things that we accomplished. And that's the only thing that makes them relevant. And even with these Pan-Africans, brother, these Pan-Africans is always going to go with this Africa, this out of African story, even though how ridiculous the whole journey and voyage sound. Yeah, so, it's, <laughs> it don't make no sense. And then that we got pyramids over here that's, that that predates the date that they give us. So somebody had to have been over here before that. We the ones that did it. We, that's us, bro. That, that's yeah, us, I, we, I know that. I we agree the with gods. you. We the gods, man. And like I said, even, you know, that, look, that's really one of the <laughs> intentions I really got, like, about the more thing, but everything goes 90, 97 percent. We all in the grand show. So I don't like, like, we better right. this great wonderful bill, like I said, just to let the people know, because at one point in time, we wasn't claiming the bill. But then we didn't even know that we had the science to do that. Even if you right. want to the So now, you know, we didn't evolve to where we can claim all of the stuff that our ancestors were responsible for. And we can see it and we can visualize it. So, you know, definitely, man, shout out to the brothers that's 
definitely talking that man. Shout out to Top Cat for going down there, man. Um, and putting boots on the ground and shit and doing a video because I definitely enjoy seeing that type of shit, even if I ain't the one that did it. You know, I enjoy seeing it, but I'm just glad, you <laughs> one of us yeah, man. It's for everybody, man. You no, know, uh, we ain't up. got to argue with people no more. Like, that's what's up. Uh, that's what's what people just throw off what they can talk. Them little small man, Africans coming up with us, and they keep on to argue with you about it because they house me, bro. They, have they, don't have no, they don't have nothing to be happy about, my brother. We got all, we got everything to be happy about. And they ain't got, got no structures in, in Africa. Nothing. They ain't got no buildings of masonry like that. They don't have no civilization, standing civilization like that. So bro, I told no you, fear. I told you what they pulled up. They pulled up a tally stick, brother, a bamboo bones with 29 lines. Nigga talking about. This was a mathematical instrument that was similar to a, a calculator. We we looked at that shit, man. We clowned them niggas dope. for weeks and months, man. Behind and, showing us the and the, and the real one that we used, and I'm gonna keep it real because uh, when Otto Otto the second became pope, Otto went and learned from the Moors, and one of the things he got from them was the abacus. Abacus is a system that we be we be using up here in America. Um, the abacus that was like a calculator. If y'all remember, it's like a little wood blocks, and he got the little uh little red, blue, blue, and green, and you move them to the side on the string. You know, it's an abacus. Now, out of the second, when he learned out of the woods, he got that knowledge. But it originated here in America. In Arizona today, they're trying to get it. They were filing for it a couple years ago to get that back in the school. Now they play with it in daycare, but they're not showing them what it's for. You know, so it's really like a point for, for toddlers and shit you now in preschool. But, uh, it's really a science behind it. It's called an abacus. Oh, you talking about the, 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 um, with the ball in it, the abacus. Yeah, right, 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 with the little string. Uh, the balls, yeah. They try, now listen, what they try to say is, that Chinese, the Chinese, the, um, the Asians was the ones responsible for that. But then they went back and said, "No, the Lions, the Lions did this shit. They did this shit independently from anything that you see over there." But then again, remember, we got stories of us leaving from here going to China. So a lot of the science is like, even when they say the number zero, they try to say it was either the Chinese, it was the Indians, the um, the eastern indians right or was the mayans these are the people that they give credit for that number zero now we can see we can see um traces and they also got stories that's like in the papable of um of us leaving here going over there taking people from here to asia so you know there's a lot of different stories that um cross well, asia was there. one of our first colonies when niggas left america asia was one of the first colonies you had a group go out to the Pacific. You had a group go out through the Atlantic. That's where you get the Minoans in Europe. Get there first in Europe. Start taking the guys there. Then they went to uh, uh, Greece and those islands out there. Crete, different things like that. Then the Greek uh, era came after the Mycenaeans. But we followed the science and the architect through there. But then you see the other one coming from that, that side, Mexico City and that side. They're going to be more Pacific. Uh, California, Alaska, the Pacific, Philippines, Asia, and they're gonna take that route. And so, we're gonna see two different, it's gonna be the same source, but it's gonna be two different models. And we're gonna see the, the, the uh migration go from each side. That's why a lot of pilgrimage in in Mexico City is you, you see a lot of J Japanese, you see a lot of Asian, you see a lot of Chinese uh mixtures there. Cause they all coming from this side. Now you go to the Yucatan side. Now these niggas look a whole lot different because the Yucatan <laughs> ran in the southeast or the Gulf Coast. They they look the the we don't have subways in Texas and all of that. The we down to the south southeast. We don't we don't have underground and all of that. Uh, but they doing thirteen pounds. So we see we go to they Texas, they don't have underground city. Nah, we well, they say underground city because you know the cartel them be coming underground. 
uh, taking them routes. They, they got some underground. Yeah, they definitely got them underground. Bro. They, they got like, some. The Alamo got underground cabins. When you go on the Alamo. Like the sub, I'm mean, meaning like subway system. So, oh, yeah, yeah, nah, we, we ain't got no either. Yeah, so, yeah, they got, they got names on. Oh, yeah, subway system, system, yeah. Wow. We don't have it now. That's like some up north shit. The subway in New York, bro. It's, yeah, it's, it's some no up way north these niggas that. invented that shit. No way that they, they did that in no, no hundred years, brother. Nah, they no did. way. And they stole technology from us to do everything they doing. No way, it's no way. Hey, brother. Nuka, no something way. wrong with your mic, Nuka. You gotta fix your mic. Oh, my bad. I, I was walking, my bad. I was saying they, they stole technology to do everything they done. They couldn't do it on their own because they don't they don't create they can't create. They lack they lack they lack that. Now nah, that's they a fact. If we can see that by looking at the way that they do their structures in their own and all this now, we know they're not the same people because the conditions and, and how they build it. They masonry don't look nothing like, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the ancient masonry is not the same. Just like dude try to say that people turn white because they moved around and got less sunlight. We get lighter, but that don't change genetics. The inside is what's the, the important part. So our genetics was what make us kill us, though. That will kill us. Listen, we lost our melanin, like they said. That you know what kind of diseases. And illnesses we will we will succumb to, we will die. We will die. You understand what I'm saying? So that whole story is a narrative that these Pan Africans created because they don't know the origin of where these white people came from. Now I believe they was created. I believe that the white pale skin Asians was created. I believe they was created. They was genetically sliced, spiced. That's the reason I why mean, original. Look at, look at, them. Look at they genes. Right. Look at they uh um now they use some of the old sciences to live long, you know, they good with herbal and um you know what I mean good remedy home remedies and healing from nature. Um, but for as they features and their genes by the time they in their 40s, late 30s, they looking like they 50, 60 years old. Those people, you those are mutants. These are mutated people. <laughs> so now we gotta mutated. keep it real. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's um, a fact. Yeah, yeah, a, nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. a nigga really made them. They don't. Yeah. Then yeah. they say black don't crack. We now nah, we are the original. These other mutants, you can just look at them. They lifespan and lifetime. They break down easy. They body start wearing down. They start losing their hair. Look at the Asian women. They get bald spots. I'm talking about they 35 years old. Fuck it. You got bald spots in the middle of your well, head. Look at their hair. Their hair look like it's it no came thin in the gen- yeah, an the genetics and it's just bad genetics. Yeah. A lot of these white people you look at, especially coming out of them little country towns and all that. Look at the genetics on them. It's the, the 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 hair, the 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 quality of the human. It's just nah, bro. It's not the same. See this white dude that be hauling cars. I thought this nigga was older than me. I'm 48. I thought he was older than me. That nigga told me he was 41. I said, what? I said, God damn. <laughs> that nigga look every bit of 60, bro. He look every bit of fucking 60, brother. You know what I'm saying? So you already know our gen- our genes is, is superior when we actually take care of ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? I was in the gym working out earlier. And the brother, I thought he was probably in his early 50s. This nigga was 62 years old, still benching 225. And still working out just just like a young boy. He probably can't do everything a young boy can do, but he can do most of the stuff that these young boys are doing. All the calisthenics, wide pull-ups, push-ups, dips, you know what I'm saying? All of that shit. So when we take care of ourselves, because a lot of times, too, our work working break us down from us working these extremes and jobs. all of it. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, we ain't had it back then. Up. You know what I'm saying? But you also like look when you go back and you look at your genealogy, you want to see you had a lot of people in your ancestry that working. Were nigga, they 90. seventy years old still cutting right. uh, it, acres of grass. Bro, taking their grandchildren out there to the um to the farm to the lake and, and having them work. Goddamn yeah. right. And they going to work, too. They ain't going to sit down under the shade tree. Man, you know. Granny out there, 79 years old, still mowing uh, 10 acres of land, bro. You know. 
Oh, uh, nah, it's, it's, it's just real, bro. Other people in nursing homes, they can't get up, can't walk, <laughs> bones fucked up. It, yeah. they, we not the same. It just, it just not the same. And they had to cheat us. They had to bring us down to their level with all of the shit, all of the chemicals that they put in our food, all the chemicals that we we actually we actually do, you know, willingly. We willingly put some of this shit into our body. So we we know, man. We you know what I'm saying. Definitely, man. Um, as far as that concerned, bro, and who our people is, and we know that these Europeans are genetic mutants. Like just like Tom Cat, you said he fucking mutants, and these people was genetically sliced with animals. That's the reason why if you take their hair and then you take a German Shepherd hair and you put that under the microscope, it's the same exact goddamn hair. It's the same exact hair. Our hair is not the same. Our hair coils. It curls because it has life in it. It defies gravity. That's the reason we can get flat tops and afros and all of this stuff. So we're different from them. And they know we're different from them. And that's the reason why they treat us the way they treat us. And they were trying to study us. Yeah, that's why that, that's that's where eugenics come from. Niggas studying our genes, how our body works. That's where uh uh cranium craniometrics come from, studying us, trying to figure out who we were. Uh what's up with it? Uh to league turn up, then come for Kenny, you got it. What's up with it, baby? Yeah, you know we got the biggest planned parenthood in the uh in, in any other place in America, out here in Houston, Harris County, you know what I'm saying? And just to uh, vet you back on what the brother was saying, uh, it's very important that, you know, as you get older, you maintain your lift, lift weights. It helps your bone density, you know what I'm saying? And uh, study shows, too, the longer that you stay mo mobile, the longer you're able to stay alive. It's very, very important. A lot of people don't know. Also, your second heart is your calf muscles, too, you know, to help you yep. pump a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, uh, the that blood is to pump your and clean out your lymphatic system. So that's as a lot of people see people getting older and their face start to get swollen up and stuff like that. That's because we need to clean our lymphatic system. And in our indigenous cultures, we have, we fast at least three times a year, at least. And you know what, what I'm saying? Do though. We when we a lot of times we, when when we was in the fields, we walked barefooted. So a lot yeah. of them toxins, a lot of them toxins come from your oh, yeah. underarms, come from the bottom of your feet. Absolutely. A lot of Absolutely. people don't even know that, like, at least for like three, maybe two to three weeks out of a year, you shouldn't put deodorant on because you want them toxins to be able to be released from the gland that's right up under your um your armpit. Yeah, and I and I always tell tell family you gotta have this have this you know have this bullet in your chamber. It's, it's called Indian Givers. It's a book called uh, Indian Givers, and it lets you know that America has the biggest biodiversity in other place in, in, the, in the world. We're the only place where we had about five, ten different things we brushed our teeth with, about thirty different things we washed our ass with. You know what I'm saying? We we fasted with different herbs and stuff too because we knew the importance of it. You know, just like on the East Coast, they had the pawpaw uh, fruit fast, and now for scientists is finding out that pawpaw is ten thousand times more potent than chemotherapy. You know what I'm saying? So you know that's what man, we, we ate pawpaw fruit at the serpent mound. It grow naturally there. You feel me? We, we ate it. What, what's that? Mom. What's pawpaw food? I never. What's that? And and it, it sounds like pawpaw because we call our pawpaw pawpaw. You know what I'm saying? So what I, it, I, like? it might what, be. A what it look like though? What the fruit look like? Oh, uh, what's kind of say it look like? Hold on, I'm finna go pull it up. Yeah, look, it's, it's almost like uh, pear, I seen some big, big as a pear, pear shape, but it's real sweet, but very, very, very healthy. But that's one. But of check the many, this out. That's one. That's one of the many herbs and stuff that. We so what do? But hey, look. So check this out, though, right? So look, the, yeah. the seeds from a pear and an apple, right? It has what in it? Uh, 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 what is that? What's that chemical? Uh, da, 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 da. I can't. Uh, arsenic. Uh, arsenic. Yeah. Arsenic. It's arsenic in it, right? Now they say arsenic shrink, shrink um, cancerous tumors or shrink because a cancerous tumor ain't nothing but toxemia that was never released from the body that basically your body deemed that it was poison and then it cased it off and it, made a tumor it, out it's, of it. It's a similar compound to B17, the same as an apricot. Yes, yes, yes. And, and uh, they, 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 they banned that. They banned it because I mean it immediately kills cancer cells. You know what I'm saying? Shrink the um cancer, the tumor cells. Yeah. Yep. That's and that's yep. I mean and 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 it is you really start tapping to all these different herbs. Like I'll be talking about the uh the 
And this is the old, I'm finding out, uh, what is this? Dime berries. Uh, just, uh, I'm finding some shit. Uh, hey, you breaking up, you breaking up. Yeah, you dropping some heat, man. Yeah, you breaking up, though. But well, he was right about the B-17. If you poke, if you dry it out, and then you pulverize it, like put it in a, a, a robo cookie or like a, a food processor, you know what I'm saying? You can you can make it into a powder. And when you make it into a powder, you can you can actually add it to like a um to like water or like a tea or something. Yeah. And that's the yeah, way yeah, your body can absorb it. Yeah. Breaking up a little bit, G. Okay. Breaking up. And now you probably got to go out and come back in. Okay. What about now? Boy, 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 what Hey, hey y'all hear me better now? Black European yeah, yeah. ass cool though. With that cheap ass suit on, nigga. <laughs> Steve Harvey <laughs> too wearing ass. Hell, he got a Zook suit on and shit. Yeah, nigga got on Steve Harvey too. Oh man. <laughs> Damn. Hey, yeah. uh, uh Kung Fu Kenny, what's up with it, family? Where you call it from? Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's going on, um, Top Cats? I'm I'm from the Bronx, actually. Okay, turn it. What you got for us? Yeah, nah, just just real quick. Um, like def- definitely playing back the the Jabari tape. Like the, we we know what's wrong with it, but uh, it's really just like funny to me how we believe that we all was if we was also West African. Um, why don't and if and, I, and if our genealogy was so strong, why don't we look like that? Like. Like that that's just my biggest question as to why they don't you know what I'm saying? Like that's just crazy to me, but maybe you can talk more about that. They said DNA can't connect you to no tribe. You got people who took these DNA tests that goes back to seven different countries in Africa, brother. If it can't connect you to no tribe, how's it connecting you to individual areas in Africa? Right. <laughs> you, how you know seven. <laughs> Yeah. If it don't even connect you to no child, how you got some niggas like, yeah, I got Igbo in my um in my um DNA. Oh, I also got guy um Ghana, uh, whatever Ghana and all these other different countries over there. Now that would that would dictate or indicate that it can it can um connect you to a particular tribe. Now which one is it? Yeah, I would love to see the database where y'all dug up all these people and got all these DNA samples and shit. I would love to see that shit. They can't because it's straight bullshit. And the Africans tell you straight up, uh, they don't take DNA tests. So, where did right. you get in your database? Right. Who were you testing? Hey, and what I was saying when I was chopped up, like that's why I top I always ask you what, what your grandma cooked, what you was eating. So, you know, we a lot of the Indians down this way, Southeast of Louisiana, we eat a lot of muscadine berries. And my family is known for eating muscadine berries and making muscadine wine. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my tribe is the Takapa Ishe. When you start looking at all the different pottery and, and the artifacts, you know what I'm saying, of the, of the, the Omeg, the, uh, even on the different Bonapark murals, you can see the Muscadine berries. You can see the figs. You can see the Swissers. You know what I'm saying? The, the blunts. The olives, you know too. We yeah, have olives in America. Yeah, yeah, you can see the stove. You can see Big Mama stove in there, the clay stove. You know what I'm saying? That's why we get our casseroles and, 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 and stew on our, our, our greens and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So like now, nah, man, the, the foods, the food and the herbs, you know, I'm a herbalist, man. I'm a holistic practitioner. That's what I do. The herbs going to talk to you. They're going to tell you something just like the red okra that, you know what I'm saying, that we that I, I've been growing for years. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I got a connection to them and it do because the red yeah, okra is actually okra. It's older. It's older. I've never seen the, red the, okra. The, 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 the Omec had the red okra ceremony. Yeah. 
And the same as the green corn ceremony. Green that's the same right, thing. Right. That's the same. That's the same as the uh, that. That'll that lower your um. That'll lower your blood sugar. That'll lower the insulin to take yeah. your um, blood. Yeah, nine. Um, yeah, nine. Nine raw okra sticks suffices for the enough insulin that the body needs for the day instead of taking the insulin shot. You know what I'm saying? So now nah, the it drops it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so, and and the the the, uh, the kushadi and and the attack body shots to celebrate the green corn ceremony. And I know Attack of Aisha, we had a red okra ceremony too as well. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what you know, hey Ty, what you know about the Attack of Kushadi uh, t- uh Trace? Um, uh, well it's coming in out of Trinity. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that shit crazy. Yeah, that was the uh took them to the main uh trading post. Uh that's what uh the main trade post is. It. Uh, what's called, but it take you in Louisiana. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But now, nah, hey, why, look, that's why. We hey, I'm an herbalist too, bro. You're, yeah, that's why. I'm an herbalist too. Oh, so you need to come oh, on man. and do a build, man, for the people, man. Like, cause I mean, you talking about some um, you talking about berries and um, some things that don't grow in the north like that you know what i'm saying or oh, going, yeah. um, the east or whatever so a lot of that oh, stuff got, you talk about oh yeah i got some herbs and stuff from out that way too as well you know what i'm saying i got i got some uh north carolina lines i got some uh some uh blackfoot uh saponi lines coming from out that way and some lumpy lines coming out that way you know what i'm saying so yeah now nah, that's what that's what a lot of them a lot of them casserole dishes and stuff i'm finding out coming from out there where they were real cold blooded with them casserole dishes and stuff out there you know north carolina in that area too you know what i'm saying Fast, yeah, right here. yo he got a soul food restaurant down here in Houston. it's their soul food vegan yeah man that nigga be having everybody from the so-called countries community everybody stop yeah. you there. I, i'm and i always tell people bro if you're gonna go up there have on the unit if you're gonna go in bro come up there dress this is gonna be some bad women up there every yeah, right. time bro every nah. time don't come to this thing i'm just gonna run in right now nah, bro nah, you're gonna go back and up back and order some battle rap right you be doing a battle rap right no 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 me now nah, that's king low nah, nah, nah. You, uh, you know I went to school. You know I went hey, to school. Uh, I went to school like, with a uh, hollow nun. Huh? Now I'm talking about uh nuclear. He keep coming out. That's his mic. The chat saying the mic. This uh, this story. Okay. Yeah, I went to school with hollow the dun. That's my homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I they probably that. don't know him as hollow the dun. What's the other? Name? Well, we call him uh nasty, huh? What they call him? Uh, the nasty, Nigel. 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 Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah was, I remember them niggas used to come through the jungle. Him, oh, yeah. Darnell, and them, and all them niggas. Yeah. You know, Darnell self, DC. Yeah, I know Darnell. I'm going to tell you something. Darnell had showed me a route because I played wide receiver. He had showed me a route, and I started doing the route better than that nigga. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Darnell. That nigga was fast. That nigga was That nigga almost got me kicked off the team, too, about to fight his ass. Yeah, yeah. Now, his little brother CJ and them cribbing. That's nigga, where you get it from. His little brother nigga, come up under the nigga. That nigga, co- that nigga coach say, man, you getting one more fight, Tramo. Uh, you get one more fight, we kicking you off the table. That darn nigga, fuck it with me, boy. Woo. And, and yeah, that say, nigga you, showed me that told me. He said, he said, you really wanted it too, did you? We all tried to fight him afterwards. He's like, nah, nah, nigga, you should have fought me at school. <laughs> Yeah, I told him I, I took this my route now because he couldn't run it like I did. Yeah, yeah man, that's no. my nigga D self. He uh doing sprinklers in San Antonio and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, child is doing little black ass. Man, nigga, hey, man. this shit crazy. Whenever you really do this genealogy and you really be looking at these last names, it's like bro, these people a lot of people went to school with they don't know who they are, but me looking at these last names, Comir. Broussard, Thibodeau, LeBlancs, Le- LeCours, you know, the Smiths, Millers, Mingos, you know what I'm saying? These, you know what I'm saying? Indian, French names and the, the connections, it, it, it's, it's amazing, you feel me? That's why people don't understand why we get so immersed in this shit. Nigga, I, I like you really tapping into yourself and finding out who your partners really is. And epigenetics is real. Like, you're going to have the same affinities as your ancestors, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm finding out, like, me and Top 
tribes was 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 you know what I'm saying we was I mean, we was that we was warring together and and, and fucking shit yeah, up. We all in the same area. The Cherokee was, came up there too. We was, we was kicking those. Yeah, we were kicking those together and shit. <laughs> yeah, they came down there to Jasper and all that. That's what everybody uh rounded us, especially during the Texas Revolution. Yeah, I, nigga, some of the so, hey, my was, dude. Hey, some of the Kushati was coming to uh Negro Hill or the slave trading block that was in modern day Houston by my restaurant. The Kushati was coming with the attack of our Ishak friend Indian. So niggas with the, it ain't nothing new under the sun, man. Hey, hey Sam, hey, look. Hey, my name A1, bro. Um, whenever you get chance, I definitely want um build with you on some holistic um naturopathic science, brother. Definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dr. Uh, Sabi, the uh, yeah, 2011. Yeah, I helped bring him out here in 2011. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got he got a book hey, on it and everything. That nigga been on the news down here, the news paper, everything. Yeah. yeah. What got me started with these, for, what, got, no, what go got me started with these herbs and stuff was helping my cousin get off schizophrenic medicine. Like uh, uh he was diagnosed with schizophrenia like 17 years ago and shit. So I wanted to help him get off of it. So with the help of Dr. Sabin and the help of Dr. Huma Bellamy, and his doctor was cool with the Eastern approach. We lowered his doses down week by week with the medicine he was taking had a 70% suicide rate. And after three weeks, you know, with increasing the biomental balance from Dr. Sabin and getting him on different uh biomental balances, adaptogens such as go to code alliance, man, all the extra stuff, uh, for the brain. Uh my cousin was off the medicine. In, in three weeks, and he wrote several books about it, smiling through the pain. My cousin Larry, shout out to Larry Smith. He went to the hey, show. Yeah, hey, one, he come up under the late African now. Yeah, yeah, I oh, see yeah. him went, hey, look. down here at the uh, Black Madonna. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, look, I went to. Uh, I got two certificates from my Layla Africa, right? And the funny uh -huh. thing about our Layla Africa is this, brother. I used to talk to him like at least twice a week, right? And that nigga always told me his grandmother said he was an Indian from Mississippi, right? So I used to ask him, like, well, why you say you, why you, why you call yourself Doctor Africa? And he used to be like, he was like, because at that point in time, Africa was um what was that was like the move that everybody was making he said but no my grandmother was a straight indian from mississippi bro i seen them indian nostrils like, can't nobody suck in no cheek through them nostrils like an indian that's the real and track his wife, and his wife I, dr I, 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 I call it getting that getting your ass nose when you see that dragon nose on a nigga, you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like 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 esther husband on good times that's just getting your ass we sucking in so much cheek we're gonna get in your ass you know it by yeah. default I know y'all know if you don't know the signs, that's the motherfuckers to be getting their ass whooped for getting their issue. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I gotta get up early in the morning, man. I gotta take it down. But look, bro, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. Like I said, if you get it um get a chance, man, definitely um email me or um get in contact with me. I would love to build with you on it. Leave your email in the I'm back chat so we can hit you, you can get it. Email. Oh, y'all can y'all can do a build on that. I, I got you. We can do it, we can, and we can and we can do a uh, you know, I do like like when I be on different shows and shit. I, I got uh, you. Uh, we can have I have everybody go on there and do uh consultations for the family. Hey, Todd, we can do that too. Like let's say the family just want to come on. Hey, man, I'm dealing with this type of ailment. Hey, this what herb you need. This what modality you need to do. This what fast you need to. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm at service to, uh, for the family. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need, bro. Because a lot of people, this is the time of the season where people are supposed to be doing their detoxes so they can make a smooth transition to the next, to the season, right? To the summer um months, right? Um, But definitely, brother, I would love to definitely do a bill. Like I said, the people definitely need this. Um, Like, when it comes to this information, I try to give it away because I know one thing. I know our people definitely need it, man. So shout out to BCU, man. Shout out to my brother, Top Cat, man. Um, and like I said, hit me up. I put my email in the back chat, man. But I gotta slide because I gotta I gotta get up early in the morning and shit, man. But peace to guys, man. Peace to goddesses, man. You already know what time it is, man. Peace. All right, that's a bit, that's a bit. All right, uh y'all wanna uh um uh cool Joe, what you want? What you doing on my block? Cool Joe, what you doing on my block? Hey, big old Virginia. What you doing on my block? Well, I'm surprised you let me up. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what you doing water. on my block. I was testing the water because I was um I, I couldn't even comment before and then you know I got tired out and shit. 
I, I got timed out, brother. I wanted no, to no, somebody. That, that, that's your background. You you got to close your window in the background. I got the YouTube. Oh, okay. You still wait got it open. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You a slow ass nigga, just like a pan African. All right, you know, you know I'm not slow. <laughs> All right, so let us know what you're doing on my block, though. What's up? I'm what you want? Play the game. I can't confront y'all misinformation as always, brother. Man, I mean, we, like you, you don't talk. get you don't get killed and come back alive, nigga. We I've don't talk to died. ghosts. I've never died. We don't talk to ghosts. I've never died. I've never we died. Do not talk to ghosts. But I've never died. Bro, I'm tired of beating on you. I don't get nothing out of you. You ain't never beat on me. I ain't I don't get nothing out of you. You know that there's a reason why I guess I'm all right. Like, time for you to go, bro. Time for you to get out of my block. See, that's how it works. That's how it works. Get out of my block, bro. You don't want to be confronted with the real you are nobody. What African tribe are you from? What African tribe are you from? The Hazabi amongst others. What tribe are you from? I just said the Hazabi amongst others. The Hazabi. Had Zabi amongst And when have you found that out? Because you never told us that. This is our first time. Never asked me that. Nigga, I, I ask everybody. No, I've known for quite a few years. So you've you never known said, for quite a few years. Yeah. Okay, so on your mama's yeah, side and daddy's side. Is that on your mother's on side or side. father's side? On my father's side. On your father's side. So yeah, my what mother, my mother. No problem, mama, brother. I don't want to hear that. No problem. No, I don't no, no. Hear no. That. I'm gonna say what I want to say. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's we done with it. So what year did your family make it to to America? I don't know. So you don't get the fuck out of here, nigga. I don't know. See, that's not making up shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. All right, y'all. Uh, man, let's get some last words, man. And I'm going to go into the bill with me and Rod Hayes. Oh, shit. Can I go? Yeah, turn up. Yeah, I, really, I had a question for A1. He had dip. He fucking just dipped right, uh, right before I can get the question off. But he was saying something about uh, people, they DNA going back to seven different areas in Africa. You remember that part? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. So he was saying, how you gonna find your tribe if your DNA comes back to seven areas? Okay, okay, yeah. so what, yeah. You you feel what I'm saying? They don't tell you what tribe you, you're from, though. Uh, and it comes from uh, Rick Kittles himself. They can't tell you what tribe you're from. So, if you okay, want so to explore... So the seven different areas, so do we... So what's what do we do with you if from? he says seven? It's, it's coming back seven different areas in Africa. What do we do with that information? I mean, you you tell him you want a refund for lying to you. <laughs> yeah, if a nigga robbed you, you need to get on the phone with the cops and tell. So him it's not okay. Robbed. So it's not it's not accurate. No, do you know what tribe you from? No. All right then. Thank you. Go get your so, money back. <laughs> okay, so so when the other guy was saying epigenetics, so it so epigenetics are real. It do do you if if they folks ain't told you what tribe you from or your ancestor name in Africa, then you need to go get your they robbed you without a pistol. So what about the okay? What about the blood quantum? Because I'm not I'm not blood like quantum. against you or nothing. So like the native Steve so called Native American tribes they have yeah, some of them have the, the blood what, what Indians. Indians what do we don't have blood quantum, bro. Stop. No, it. what that do we call the uh road. like that the Apache the Dawes Road, bro? And that was illegal. That was the only road that ever put a blood quantum on it was the Dawes Road, and that was illegal. Okay. What they did was came and tried to overturn the 1866 allotments to the nations and start allotting them to individuals, bro. And that way they could control who get an allotment, who can be known as an Indian or not. Before then, blood quantum was not allowed. I mean, right, right, right. Indian, well, yeah, not but, all tribes do that. It's fake. It's fake. So the ones that do do it, it's just made up. I just told you that. So why would you okay. ask me the same question? So epi what about epigenetics? What about it? Somebody mentioned that epigenetics was a big thing, and like the diet and all of that. Is epigenetics accurate? Uh, uh, Talik, you on mute? Um, well, right now he busy. He in the middle of something. So, okay. um, so I think you need to go find what what African tribe you come from. I didn't say I was from Africa. I just, you know, what I'm saying I'm not even yeah, pushing that. Are you of your <laughs> African descent? Shit, I mean, that's what 
going off of what they told you, right? Right. I don't have any. Uh, okay. I look back. I don't. I haven't seen any native uh, ancestry, so okay, you know no I can't. I don't know my tribe. I don't. If I am, Adam, I wouldn't. I don't know my tribe, Adam right? Neither. You right, Adam right, right. Cool. Cool. I got so that. Who are you? I still wouldn't know my tribe, though, right? So who are you? You don't Wait, know. Bro. Just Let's say I don't know, you, but you so that so I don't know. I wouldn't know what Indian tribe I am, right? Who said you was an Indian? I didn't. All right, then you might not. Everybody not an Indian. Okay, got you, got you, yeah, got you. you need to find so out if who I'm, you are. if it's if I can assume that I'm not an Indian, we don't do assuming, bro. So you okay, assume who your mom and daddy is, or do you know? If you know so, who okay, they are, okay. then you don't have to assume. So the African American is not. I never heard Something of that. that. I, I, I don't know what an African African American is not a real person. Okay, like, transatlantic know. slave trade didn't happen. Uh, the who? The who? Tra transatlantic slave trade didn't happen. Never heard of it. Okay, okay, okay. Never heard of who's, it. Sound like who's the Royal Africa. African Company? Uh, the Royal the Royal African Company is a company that was ran out of London by uh King Charles the Second, James Duke of York, and their partners. Okay, what, what, what business did they partake in? Well, uh, what business they they you want me to pull up the list? Um, they uh, did. yeah, well, uh, was it uh, was it not the slave trade? On the, the reason why I say that is because they went bankrupt, right? They went bankrupt okay. and they had to open up their books, and so we have yeah, records right. to their books, what they were bringing in, and they even uh was going to stop um um doing uh trade in Africa because they wasn't making a profit. Somebody so they was a trade them. company. Yes, sir. They were they were a uh, commercial company. Yes, sir. Did they engage in human trafficking? No, sir. None, none whatsoever. No, sir. If they did, then okay. name somebody. Name a, no. Name I'm asking. I don't know. I cause I heard about them from you. I just, I'm just okay. you know. What I'm no, no, sir. Know. They did not. Okay. So there, so there was no slave trade. Where the in, the Indians were slaves, though, right? The Indians, when it was a domestic slave trade, yes, sir. So amongst the Indians, if it's domestic and it's in America, then it will be dealing with Indians, yes, sir. Okay, okay. So when the white when the white people came over, was there no like when the a white people clash? Came over, the white people were slaves. Okay. Okay. So what? At what point in time did they take over? Who said they took over? Uh, black people bred into white families and they kept the power. And that was so they took 1888, over brother. 1688, brother. 1878, I'm sorry. 1877. 1877. 1877. The compromise. Is when, yes, sir. Is when the whites took over. They didn't take over. That's when they were given power. And what happened was there were black families who were large slave owners and land owners who had or created these companies and they end up robbing Indians for their land. So the then blacks were not Indians? 1877, not all. Most of uh you got uh black uh black people were from European for were from Europe, brother. What what percentage would you say? Um I say all of the people that they saying are African that came in the African slave trade were actually people that came here, they migrated here to from Europe as so like Indian. the majority. Yes, sir. The okay, so so we so we can call them just let's call them European Americans. No, we black call European black Americans. Americans. No, we're gonna call them black Europeans. That's what we're gonna call them. That's okay, black call. black Europeans. So black Europeans came and established. So they came from like uh, the the Iberian. No, they came from Europe, brother. So the Iberian yeah. is Europe, though, right? I mean, because they, they you would be dead. right, 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 right. Like the Spanish, the Portugal, Portuguese. Yeah. So basically, more, more so the Iberian and not the Rhineland, like I'm back in Germany and all that. They came later. Okay, they was not Germany at that time. We got you know that'd be Switzerland. It wasn't called okay. Germany at that time. And so they so when ask me how I know because I got a grandfather that came through. Um, my he was a black European, black European ass nigga, fought in the Revolutionary War. So do you you go off of mater, um, maternal, not paternal? I go off my whole tree, brother. I'm not so what about that black right. European? Does he count? What is he? He's a pivotal. That's a major ancestor. That's one of your okay. top four, though. He ain't my top four. He my eleven. Oh, um, eleven. Okay. Yeah, he one of them. You got you got plenty of them. 
when but you shit, but that thing. one, that one is gonna take you back. Without him, you don't exist. Okay, I'm not ashamed of him. He was a great man. I'm not man. saying, what about <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm he saying, was a great man. What about wouldn't it? that put you back to? Because see, I be, I believe the preponderance, like most of. Uh, put me back where? What, what would it put me? As well, a, I'm saying what I believe is with, with the majority of your with your with your. It'll put me as a large landowning family. It'll put me as a, a son of the revolution. Uh, what what about it? They were very permanent people. Okay. And they were black. Yes, sir. Without a shadow of a doubt. Ask me how I know. Because I got the pictures of my my um um fifth, sixth great grandfather going on down. They come from their bloodline. Yes, sir. Hey, what, and, and so he brought the rose. He's 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 um well, he came over. He didn't do any indentured servant. Why? Because he worked under uh, William of Orange. He was a soldier under William of Orange. And he brought white slaves? He didn't bring no white slaves. How did the white... Wh okay, so I when... Did, the, I said he was a slave owner. Okay, the, so the black Europeans that came, they brought white slaves. Some of them. So it was a trans-European slave trade. Is that yeah, not have not transatlantic? So, it, so that is a transatlantic slave trade. Have you ever looked at slave voyages, brother? Right, but that's but you said it was. You there was no transatlantic right. slave trade. That's the question: It's no such thing as a transatlantic slave trade. Brother. But that's that's it's that would be transatlantic. It's a myth, brother. But that's a, but you if they brought white people over here to Bro, slave, that's the migration. That's a transatlantic slave trade. Slaves. It was servant. They was indentured servant, brother. So you either you had a way uh well you can get redemption, you could be a okay. Redemption. So that's not slavery, that's indentured servitude. You said right, slavery. You let me finish. So you had different ways. You could be a redemptioner, which Ogre uh uh them came in 1733 in Georgia, and they released the prisoners and brought them over. Another way was if in um you needed a passage, you need a ride over, you couldn't pay it. Well, you'll pay it through indentured servant when you got here. Everybody okay. that came from Europe was under the crown. They had to get chartered to come here. So what about the indentured to yes, What sir. about the Virginia Act concerning service and slaves, where indentured servitude amongst whites was outlawed, and then it also outlawed. White don't mean white person at that time, brother. That white was a status at that time. You should know this. Okay. Okay. Got you. And then, but they said so they said okay. Who was so black was the bad status? Who said that? You guess. So you saying white was a good status? White meant uh, land on a free person back then. Yeah. Okay, and so the blacks who were they? What blacks? And nobody bring. Ain't nobody. What nobody talking about blacks back then? Who the black hey, Europeans? Listen, you had Negroes and you had colors, brother. Okay, so colored Europeans. Colors was down south. That was more of a French program, brother. And they didn't okay. apply everybody. You gotta get okay, so the act people. concerning service and slaves uh, in Virginia is stated that uh, the whites, I don't know, no, I, didn't, I didn't say nothing about no, ethnicity. Virginia, though. I'm just giving you the wording. I'm not I'm yeah, not talking about ethnicity. Man, we're no Africans in Virginia. Well, I'm not, I didn't say nothing about nationality, no ethnicity, none of that. I'm just, I'm just giving you the wording, the, a brief synopsis. Okay. Okay. All right. So it said that the the whites could not; they could not be enslaved. They could not do oh. uh, indentured servitude. But Man, the blacks. Said that. Wait, let me finish. Let me finish. And it said what, the what blacks. Are you reading from? Hold on, I'm almost done. It said the blacks could also not do indentured servitude. They had to. They had to be in hard bondage. That's not true, brother. Okay, can you bring it up? Yes, sir. I can pull up 1740 Negro Act in South Carolina. That's not true. No, no, no. I'm talking about the act uh, concerning uh, well, service and slaves in Virginia. Source. It's your source. Can you pull it up? I'm on my phone. I can get on my yeah. laptop. Uh, let's get, we'll go get on it. Don't pump fake. Don't do no Jabari. I'm just saying, uh, uh, you don't want to just read it? You can pull it up, brother. You can read it. I got sources. Uh, up well, here. okay. I well, I, that, I just told you with it, with it what it was so i mean that's what that's what the that's what the legislation was that they outlawed so-called whites from any type of form of bondage and so it made who is, the, they? Who is they brother who is they virginia they? the state of virginia or the the territory of virginia 
because you know we probably we wasn't in the statehood like that just yet but virginia was a colony <laughs> you know what i'm saying and so they yeah, they were they were you, able to know when you need some help on this brother well they were doing their own legislation there was no true federal government at that point yet they were enacting their own laws and legislations just like you said in louisiana they had different a, a whole different program let me know when you need some help Oh yeah, go ahead. Go, you can chime in. Okay, so William Berkeley, are you familiar with him? Why are you bringing up Virginia? Mm -mm. Okay, William Berkeley was the governor of Virginia. For what year? See, uh, he was the he he started it out in the sixteen hundreds, May fourteenth, sixteen oh seven is when they came for their settlement. Uh, but they didn't stop then. Um, all the way up to sixteen nineteen is where Jamestown is going to be uh created. After that, then they're going to start, um, you know, building up their little government joint. Now, right here, I got a source, brother. I, I, I can take you through Virginia if you want to go through Virginia. And we can the tell act, you who, who, the, who the slaves that was on the plantations. Yeah. But that, that act concerning service and slaves is, is uh, probably... They're talking like, about Indians, brother. Well, it's like, well, it's late, it's like late 1600s, though. It's not it's not early on. So they, you know, they had several decades of where before well, that well, act. Well, 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 they give us a date. I, you know, I don't I'd have to look it up on the on the thing. You say I have to look it up on date. the computer. Huh? You had to look it up on the computer, huh? Well, I mean, I don't why would I well, why would I carry all these random dates in my head? I mean, I do it. I mean, you you have a different type of memory than I do. I apparently, am. I'm smarter than y'all. I'm All cool right. with that. So I'm okay with talk that. About Virginia, right? Yeah, so yeah. Then let's talk about Virginia. Let's come here. All right. After the English, go Virginia. Okay. Let me come down. Uh, so so he go the servants that was brought over here, immigrants from south of Ireland, Ursula. You feel me? These are the people that are being brought over. And, right. Uh, right here we can come. Um, you got indentured service came on their own accord, voluntarily agreeing to serve their masters for a certain term of years, usually four to seven. And right. what year and is that? Return for the passes, right? Um, more what year uh, is that? had Germans who you just brought up, they were sold as their lords, merchant ship owners. You had the Cromwellian conquest of Ireland. Um Indentured servants appeared in, in Virginia 16. So with that thing on their neck, they're indentured white people? Come on, bro. This just this, this relax. These ain't indentured white people. It's a uh initially device used to transport European workers. So these are not white people, brother. How do I know that? Hold on, let me pull up the records too. Here go another bound to servitude, 1624, since you need a thing. Now we got no, black Europeans, though. Black Europeans, correct. In chains. Black Europeans, why not? With yokes on their neck. We're yeah, so, okay, so hold on, brother, brother. Listen, listen, listen. When does the Caucasian come in? Listen to me, brother. They're fighting a English civil war. Okay, so if you see niggas with prisoners of wars, that's what happened, family. All right, here go contracts right here. Uh, a contract known as indentured servitude is coming out of Virginia Company, to London. They was bringing over these niggas to work the fields and shit. All right. Right. Indians enslaved in Virginia, uh, Jamestown, bro. You had, uh, hold on, let's walk. So the Caucasian wasn't a slave. He wasn't. Charles was for turning slaves and servants in Virginia, 1629, 1672. These are talking about Indians. They're not talking about no Africans. Again, so the whereas the dispute arisen, Indians taken in war by any other nation, that nation taking them sold to the English or servants for life or terms of years. These are laws in Virginia. You, you go to codes and everything up here. So they're I white. Can go on and on, brother. Their status is white. It's, I can go on and on. They status not white. Free. Okay, so the the one white. you still had. Can, some. can we show? Can you show me the ones whose status were white? I can show you that the treatment of indentured servitudes, or uh, if they was runaways, or uh, they they uh in the eighteenth century there were many ads in newspapers describing runaways sought by their masters. But they tell you this is an African story. The old story that they tell about is African. No, no, I don't believe. I, I think you convinced me on that. You convinced me on that. That you know what I'm saying. But I still, I'm trying to put the the pieces of the puzzle together. The pieces of the puzzle to what? Uh, I mean, can you show me the uh the white slave owner? 
the white slave owners. Yeah, who was the slave owners? Uh, for who exactly, brother? For the, the when the, when you when I seen that brother with that yoke on his neck, who okay, hey, who hey, was somebody with a yoke on their neck? They were prisoners of war, brother. I just showed you the prisoners of war. They was Indians. No, they were Europeans, bro. English Civil War. What the hell are an Indian fighting in England for? Oh, you mean the uh, the Revolutionary <laughs> War over here? No, before the Revolu Revolutionary War was in the late 1700s. Virginia is the 1600s, brother. It's okay, so it was it was two different types of black people fighting, and then one black people put the it other black people. Two different types of black people, brother. Huh? All of the European nations that came over here were um, were white people. I mean, were dog people. All of okay, them. so they they fought and each the other. So it's the black on. So we are our own worst enemy. No, we ain't the same people. We're not the same people. So we. I mean, not, I'm talking about we we as in the black Europeans. And uh, no, black Europeans fought each other. That's what I'm saying. We are our own worst enemy. Then. Well, y'all need to work it out. Right, 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 right. Y'all right, fighting right. over religion. So when, so when did when did when did the Caucasian beat both of us? And is he not a European? Uh, the Caucasian ain't beat up nobody. Okay. How he gonna beat up somebody? No. So when did he take over? <laughs> he ain't take over. Okay. He took over. Okay, so he when didn't. He, he didn't come. He didn't come take your land. Hell no, nah. nigga. He was a slave. Okay, when did he stop being a slave and start being the president and the, and the, the uh, Congress and, and the, slavery, uh, running the country pretty much? And the generals running the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did when did that take you place? Tell me. Oh, what? So okay, so it was eighteen seventy eight <laughs> though, right? 1878, 1877, right. brother. So, so now, so they didn't take over, but it was right. earlier. You said it was 18, 1878. 1878 is when a white brother, man took right. over. 1877, brother. Get it right. Two, two different types of uh, 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 black folks, and then you it's know, what I'm saying it's more than two types, brother. You got different European nations. How could it be two types? So yeah. a European is a different type of... I mean, they're not all just yeah, Europeans? Bro, French people are not the same as uh, German people. German people are not the same as Polish people. So I Indians mean, is different, too. Why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be? Yeah, they live in America, and, and Europeans live in Europe. Why wouldn't they be? I'm Okay, the Native Americans are different. Are you, are you serious? Right. Now? Are the Native Americans different? Who is that? Native Americans ain't from America. Native Americans from Asia. Okay, what is uh, what is the indigenous like, Americans? Keep asking me all these damn. So the indigenous Americans are different than each other. They're not one. They're they're just you know they're different races of they're, indigenous they're Americans. Nations. They're different nations of people. Everyone has a nation that they come from. That's why we're trying to find out which one you come from. Okay, nation. Na so nationality and race is two different things. Yes or no? Race is fake. Nationality is bloodline, brother. <laughs> race okay. was made up, nigga. Race was made up by white folks. Am I so lying? one bloodline, so a bloodline don't mix with other bloodlines. I don't know. You tell me. Did you mix? Because if you, I, I would think if you continue to mix with the same bloodline, at some point in time, it's um. Have you slept with a white woman? It's incest. Have you ever slept with a white woman? No. You ain't never fucked a white lady. Uh uh. You lying. I hit a uh uh. Nigga, don't know real nigga say uh uh. Well, uh, what I'm saying is, if, if if a people keep continuing mixing with the same people, it's it eventually it's called incest. Why would you do that? You can't life? you can't continue you can't mix with the same people for thousands of years without any without ramifications. You have to, you know what I'm saying? That, and that's how we get the different phenotype. Your cousin. And you're gonna really come over here and say right. that. Right. Well, that's you why we get the different phenotypes. You with your cousin, nigga. And that's what that mind you you hunched your cousin. Y'all got booty when you were young. And you really got the nerve to come in here and say that. You got booty with your cousin when you were young. Am I lying? That's what we that exactly. That's what we want to avoid. If if you're oh, you're I saying a nation you. is a bloodline. You, that then you will all be cousins. It's a, that would be an ancestral nation. You would have a bunch of retarded. You would have a. Uh, you would have all type of genetic. I mean, at that point, herbs and shit wouldn't matter. You're chromosomally fucked. 
uh, sister. You know what I'm saying? You know, it don't matter what fucking herbs you eat. You chromosomally fucked if you if if you have generation after generation, well, you, you only have sex. Hunt, but, and so that's why, and that's why you got the black European. You know what I'm saying? That's that goes back to the point that you need you, you would have to have had that black European or or you would have been ancestral. He would have it would have been an ancestral situation. So a, a nation is not a bloodline. Bro, you I mean, not in today's aspect. Originally, originally, you know, thousands and all the years. But the you, the nation of the US of A is not a bloodline. All I'm hearing is you had sex with white women. That's all you telling me. And you trying to justify it. You already admitted for the, the hunting your cousin when you were little. Are you lying? No, you said it, nigga. We can rewind it. I didn't re- rewind it because I didn't say that. Yeah. I mean, Chad, if if you're gonna lie you about that? that, why I got, why why should I trust Chad, you to be honest it? about big shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, brother, you said you yeah. hunched the cousin. Yeah. You, you got booty with you. You know, cousin. like if you gotta lie about some little you know, shit, why I'm rewind why it. not why on earth would I trust I'm you about right. some serious shit? If I rewind it, would that, would yeah, that please. Him? Yes, sir. Nah, we heard him. Y'all heard him. Nah, rewind that shit. Run it nah, back, please, it. sir. We no, sir. Can I shit. hear it? We heard you. We don't want to hear it again. When he said it, you did not deny it. You, you confirmed it. We heard you. <laughs> that nigga fucked his cousin. <laughs> Well, if I so I would know my tribe then, if that if hey, right. Look, 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 let me kill. <laughs> I would know my tribe then, right? <laughs> I, I, like that. I just hey, told look, you I don't know my tribe. You know what I'm saying? No problem, brother. Let me help you out though. I want to I want to help you out, right? Okay, okay. Talking okay. about this Virginia situation. What food your black European ass it? Uh, huh? right here we coming. Uh, so you said you ain't know who Berkeley was? Berkeley. Was the governor of Virginia, bro, during the Bacon Re- Re- Revolution? All right, so mm-hmm. right here, Berkeley, they was asked about the um the were well, slaves and six thousand were white indentured servants that the importation of slaves did not exceed two or three cargoes in seven years. This is the governor of Virginia. All right, now what else did he say? He said that servants he estimated fifteen hundred. They were mostly whom were English, a few Scots, and a few Irish. Okay, this is in Virginia, homie. Now, how do we know that they niggas, right? So we're going to go to Virginia colonial soldiers, and we're going to go in here and look at these soldiers. Now, when we come here, it tell us the soldier's name. It tell us his date of birth. It tell us where he's from. It give us his uh, age. It give us his height. It give us his occupation. And it give us his nationality. Also, it give us his complexion. So with John Peter, we see that he's an Englishman and he's dark skinned with black hair. We come down here to uh, Robert Bassett. He was okay. dark and swarthy. He was an Englishman. Uh, he got an Irishman right here. He was dark and swarthy. Uh, so we have the names. We have the occupation. We have the age, the heights. All of these things were documented. So ain't Question. nobody finna come in here talking about no African slaves Question. or none of that. Question. What is your question? What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? It has to do with everything. You coming in here with a slave narrative and you just got that shit debunked. I, that's what it got I, that, to do with. I, I don't believe I've been debunked. I mean you've been debunked. You've been you've been educated. Let me say this. I didn't come with a slave narrative, though, brother. I didn't. I'm asking you questions. I'm asking for edification. That's all, brother. I didn't. I didn't push no narrative. I respect that. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I didn't push. I didn't push no narrative. I'm glad I I can answer those questions. Glad I can help you out. I feel like I I I I, my questions wasn't really answered. I think you kind of skated around the question. I skated around. Why we not finding it in Africa? Being naive. No, I mean you went you went to ad hominem talking about I hunt my cousin just off off just well, I just stated uh I just I just, I just from so I just rewinded. Oh I mean no no you know what I'm saying all, all I did was just state all I did was just add to the conversation and then you said that I hunt my cousin uh 
shit like that. You smarter, which, you know, you definitely could be smarter. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? It's not, I don't have a, it's not an ego thing for me to be smarter than you. All right, here you I'm go, trying right to just here. vibe right with here. you, man. That's all I'm trying to do. Hold on, listen. You have to. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's how we get the different phenotypes. And you're gonna really come over here and say, right. well, that's why we get the different phenotypes. Your cousin, nigga. And that's what that mind. Yeah, right. It's your cousin. Y'all got booty when you were young. Yeah, I didn't I don't I don't hear where I said that right. I hope my cousin. Yeah, bro, hold up. So I mean, hold brother, brother you ain't trying to hold on. And that's what that mind you you hunch your cousin. Y'all got booty when you were young. And you really got the nerve to come in here and say that? You got booty with your cousin when you were young. Am I lying? That's what we did. That, exactly. That's what we want to avoid. Okay, then, brother. You said exactly. So who lied? Who lied? Who lied? No lies detected, nigga. You, I didn't you, say I hung my cousin. I said you, we, you would want to avoid humping your cousin, brother. I mean, uh, you said it, bro. I ain't putting no words in your mouth. Well, if that's what you heard, I'm here to tell you that's not what I was saying. So, how can I believe you on the big shit? If you gonna lie to me, how can I believe you on the big shit? Ain't that what you told me? Brother, I didn't lie to you. I mean, you you know what I'm saying? That's just the way we, we're talking over each other. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the way... you taking it back. You learn how to... So if I said it, why would I... Why yeah, would I have to change my? If I said it, why would I? If I said it the first time, wouldn't I not have a problem saying it the second time? I don't. That don't add up, my brother. But in, yeah, but in context, I was before you had cut me off. I was saying in context before you cut me off. I was saying that that's what you don't want. What you come out the Brother, that's what, you see how you cut me off right now? That's what you did then. So you you didn't even let me finish my thought. Not true, and you, you cut me off and then misconstrued what I said. Man, give, give me some last word. I'm finna get to me and Rod Hayes Bill. We'll get some last word, y'all. We'll get out of here. I mean, we'll, we'll get to Rod Hayes Bill with everybody came to see. I'm I, right now, I'm I'm taking my gloves off. Okay, so the the 18 the 1878. We're done. I thought I had the last question. 1881. Well, you can close out. I, I'm going to let you close out. Like, give us your last words. Um. All right. Well, you know, you know what I'm saying? You, you feel me? I don't really feel like you showed me where. No problem. Where no the white problem. Europeans came in and when they became oh. prominent, um, you showed me, you said there was white, you said there were white. Europe, you said white was a status. Not a conversation. You're but then you said the wh the whites were slaves and indentured servitudes. But then on your closing statement, brother, we don't the the, the conversation Sorry. is over with. And, and then on your source, you showed a black dude with it. You fucked your cousin. The conversation was over with. Nigga. Uh, All right, we moving on. Uh, nuclear, give us your last words. Brick, get your incest uh, ass out right of here, nigga. Your boy crazy man that's all i'm gonna say i'm waiting on you and rod to go to you i got some questions for y'all though once rod come in all right that's okay. all right just hop back down and we'll bring you back up oh good oh gizzy uh what's your last words man well yo was just asking he think that the white people run stuff and i think that they was answering to the etruscan moors from the research i've been doing even though etruscan moors or phoenician moors I think that's who motherfuckers answering to. I don't really got too much to say about that, but I've been doing research on it, and I think they the ones that whoever the Rothschilds, they still answering to some black Europeans. That's what I think. We see the Rothschilds came for black folk. Right. We I gotta see. understand niggas still breed into white people, bro. That's how they hit the money, the crimes, and all of that. Right. So I the guy got the name of Daniel right. Murray, bro. He wrote a book, Austin, out of it because they he worked for the National Archives. And they dropped him, they demoted him and put a white man in his position right. and docked his pay. And he took it personal. So he wrote a book about all the black families that was uh owning all this wealth and all of this here, and they end up breeding white intentionally and they're hiding their, their past and, and their skeletons in the closet through this new white skin that they right. So that's what happened. Right. A lot of niggas don't know, and it's a Freemason thing, too, so. If they denying it, a lot of them granddaddy did the same thing. Right. All right, back.
<clears throat> I ain't really had too much to say besides that. All right, that's a bit. Appreciate you coming up. All right, so love. All right, y'all. So it's Easter. We're going to get into a little uh, build, quick build on Easter, and then we're going to go into uh, Ride Haze. Um, yeah, we're going to turn up on with Ride Haze. Easter is arguably the most important Christian holy day to honor Jesus the Christ, with Christmas being the other. One dealing with the birth, Christmas, the other in reference, to the death and resurrection of Christ, Easter. In the King James Bible teaches us about the crucifixion. Luke 24 teaches us of the resurrection of Christ. In 325, the Roman Emperor Constantine organized the Council of Nicaea, where the divinity of Christ and future on Christianity will be formulated. During this historical council, the alteration of the holy day Easter was declared to be worshiped after the full moon following the spring equinox, March 22nd through April 25th, reasoning for the inconsistency of the constant day change. So if any one of y'all want to know why Easter was in April and then now it's in March, but they say Jesus died, but the nigga, uh, 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 yeah, his birth certificate steady changing. I mean, the death certificate steady changing dates. If you want to know, this was why. Let's walk. This agenda will be a counterattack to the early celebrations of this holy day that was practiced before the age of Christianity. The Code of Simeon's claim is origins from Philip the Apostle and John the Apostle versus the Western church who claims inheritance from the Apostle Paul and Peter. The Quantum Simeon and early worship on the 14th day of the first month, which they called Night Sun, which was not associated with Sunday most years because its focus was to celebrate the Holy Day on the 14th, no matter what day the date fell on during the week. Night Sun, according to Babylon calendar, represents the first month which was adopted from early Sumerian worship. In the Hebrew faith, the celebration is associated with the exodus of the Israelites' freedom from bondage in Egypt, famously known as the Passover. Reference in the King James Bible, and thy Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, this month shall be unto you the beginning months it shall be the first month of the year to you. Verse 6. As ye shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month, and the whole assembly of congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. No said. Verse 50 through 51. Thus did all children of Israel and the Lord command Moses and Aaron, so they did. And it came to pass the same day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies. Deemed pagan worship, sun worship, the church infused Christianity with all the spiritual practices to find mutual grounds with the people of different faith, resulting in today's practice of the Holy Day. Easter and the association of the resurrection of Christ also raises questions of its authenticity, being that there were resurrection deities. That hey, hold on. Check me out right quick. See, a lot of people went crazy on the internet the other day because Putin opened up a box, right? And when he opened up the box, this was the image that was in there. And I'm like, why is everybody going crazy about that? Do y'all watch Mass? The Pope do Mass? Like today. He held Mass today. Guess what they did? They opened up a box. Guess what image was right there? This image. This Afrocentric, Pan African, Hebrews, and all these other people who are writing white people in the story. Man, them folks ain't been hiding. Everybody seen the Pope bow down to the Black Madonna. Are you going to find out who the real Black Madonna is in this video? But today, I recorded it. It's a little clip. I'm going to put it up for the show over with. And I'm going to show y'all. They opened a box today doing mass. And this was the same image that Putin showed. 
So why is everybody going crazy? That just show that y'all never been woke. And these people that claiming to wake y'all up was really putting y'all to sleep. Like I say, Bobby Hemmings made a lecture saying, what if God was the devil? And your ass out here really worshiping the devil. That predates Jesus. Of the most popular deities, there's Osiris of Egypt. In Greek culture, there's Adonis. And in Sumerian culture, Tammuz. And not to forget the Americans, Quetzalcoatl. Not only was these gods synonymous with resurrection, but also identical with Jesus being the light of the word, they were the sun gods. The sun cycle in this aspect represents the spring equinox and the earth's relationship associated with fertility and agriculture. The full moon following the spring equinox in times known as Paschal moon, synonymous with Pasha, Greek for the Passover. The fertility aspect is where the rabbit and egg derives. Egg represents the generated energy of the male energy. There's also a feminine law of nature surrounding this allegory. Thus, explaining the dominance of the female deities over their male counterparts. Throughout history, we have been given false information concerning the oldest worship of moon deities synonymous with fertility goddesses, beginning with Sumerian goddess Anana, later Akkadian deity Ishtar, who many claims the name Easter derives from. Pan Some scholars and historians like to believe the name comes from the Anglo goddess worship in England, Ishtar. Hey, the truth I of the matter you. is, the oldest worship of the Holy Phenomenon. Y'all see this right here? I filmed this. Man, I didn't been to the top, bro. I didn't been so many places, home of the gods, and I've been. I didn't been to so many places. This is my shot. This coming from me. This is a primary on top of the world, man. Get where we at, man. We in Colorado. We in the mountains. Number nine takes us back to the true old world, America. America. Walk the ancient Maya tradition. They worship the goddess of the moon, the jaguar mother Ishel, goddess of medicine, healing, love, arts, etc. Hey, no cell I think I, I think I seen you up here before. No cell I think I bumped into you up here before. Where we at? Yeah, man, we on the island right now, man. Bringing you back to the true origins of what that shit come from. But most importantly fertility depicted as a melanated goddess holding a rabbit representing reproduction Mayan legend and folklore rabbits were associated with the moon the island of Cosmel and Issa Morales in Mexico's Yucatan are dedicated to the mother of the moon and jaguars all praises to the ancestors as we honor our own, Ishel, Mayan, Jaguar goddess of the true old world and the true origins of Easter, stolen legacy of ancient America by legendary Big Chief Top Cat, Bars. Bars. Get the air. Big old Jaguar. All right, y'all. Let's bring in Uncle Rob. Let's bring in Uncle Rob. Turn up. Do my show. You say people ask me a question. I give them a reference material. Tell them where to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lining ask. It's with Dr. G as well, right? Right. Dr. Mm -hmm. G. Said, so, so he told me to come come pick up a little something for the chief. So y'all had to go run and do that, but I wasn't gonna miss it. 
Uh, you you know you know I'm a tobacco chief, so I can respect the gangster. Okay, turn it with, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, um, I'm gonna say this to the legendary Big Chief Top Catch. Thank you so much for coming and joining us this evening. And speaking on what you were just speaking on, please do not miss Wednesday's Wednesday's show. Wednesday coming up. It's okay, all about okay. okay, and you don't you don't want to miss that. It's with Dr. G as well, right? Right, Dr. Mm -hmm. G's coming, and she's gonna um, she's gonna put it in about a new adventure she got going on, and it's concerning that. So y'all might not want to miss that. Okay, so I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna let the men talk now. <laughs> man, shout out to my homie V eight eight oh four, man, Virginia. Shout out to my homie, man. I ain't seen you in a while, man. I missed you, man. I hope the family all right, man. I hope the wife you all right. I ain't seen you in a while. Homie uh shot me a hundred dollars today, man. Uh man, I've been I'm like, man, what a homie at, man. But uh shout out to VA man. I'm glad you're doing all right, homie. Appreciate the love. Also, shout out to the homie uh uh Toy right. for the love. He say uh Chief Limpin Wolf. Um, cause I kept my foot turned up one time. I am. But 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 I'm um, legendary top cast. I'm great. Put myself on mute. But I need yeah. you to speak on a couple of things that took place on um side show, if you don't mind. Just just a couple of things that you know. Right. Uh yeah, you know, uh well, I, I, I knew that there was Rob like for uh second time, third time coming over there. And the fact that you know Jabari wanted to have a conversation with him, I already knew what their intentions were. So I mean, I I tried to come immediately, but they had me in the back so long. Sister Freedom, you don't even know when you said I'm gonna get down and let Top Cat up. See, these was things that made them bring me on because they was keeping it from the people that I was back there. Because just by me being on there, everybody energy gonna change because you can't play tough now. You can't play big bad scholar none of this shit while I'm up here. Because hey, I just beat all you niggas up before. So I'm like, now nah, I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't want to steal the shine. I'm just, I just want to sit right here, and they, and, and so make sure they don't try to play tough. Yeah, because I know how they gonna do. They know Rob had a name, and uh, you know, the they want to be able to say, oh, we got him, we got the Indians, and you know, and we got out of there, uh, we got out of there straight that night. Well, seriously, I do know for a fact that it was intended just to be a discussion. <laughs> That's the game. That's the game they tell you. They want you to lower your guard and uh, come in there and think it's just it's all good and you know and and they gonna what they say release the hounds. Uh, you know, you know how Sarnetta do it. Had them niggas waiting in the back. You know, Sarnetta call you and be like, "Hey, come through. I got such and such. Come run up on them." Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I knew what time it was, but I knew they connect like that. Wow, uh, give him a fair one. Look, I appreciate you coming to show the support for me and for the uh, organic people of the land. But I already, I already knew I wasn't going to do no debating, so I came determined not to debate nobody. So I already told them I did that already. I put in my, my debate hours. I'm done with that school. But they wanted to see if they could rattle me and draw me into the debate. It's not going to happen. And the little support of the sidekicks with the irrational hole in the bottom of the ship to eliminate the waste and they washing them down salt, with what he say, throwing salt on it. <laughs> so, washing them down with salt water. I'm looking at him like, where are you making this up from? <laughs> but none of that, um, I'm going to bully you stuff. That don't move me. Like Sister Freedom said, I wasn't paying him no attention. I was just sitting back blowing my spit. Yeah, that's what I, I told him. This, I said, that nigga smoking. come over here for that. That nigga smoking his blunt live. I'm not worried about any older than the boy. <laughs> So it's like, young man, you know, you just don't know, you know. So I, I get it, man. But um, to them, they need they 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 lose. They've been losing so much that they need anything to try to get the people a sense of hope, uh, that it ain't all gone. And so that's why, you know, Jabari went all out his way for for me not to share my screen. 
Because I know he did not want you talking under no circumstance. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he told Sai, he said, why is you even letting Top Cat up here? Well, Sai came on my channel today and told everybody that Jabari threatened him. Now, on this show, he told Sai, it's going to be a very long time for you having me up here again if you let him speak. And Sai came like, man, you know, I never saw that before. Out of all my years doing this, he really threatened, the, you know, the... the to stop fucking with me uh, if I let you talk. Like, I ain't never seen Jabari act like that, but them niggas, they know the more and more we put this information out and, and the people see it, then the veil comes out their eyes. And so that's what's been happening to them. And so right now they just trying to hold what they what they have left. But, you know, time ain't on their side. The hourglass is running out. Mm-hmm. I I just was determined not to do no debate because I told him I don't do debates. So, like, you know me, you see me do my show, you see people ask me a question, I give them a reference material, tell them where to find it at, tell them what to look up, right? But they're trying to force me to give references to me disagreeing with their narrative. I don't need no reference to disagree. I don't have to believe that. So I don't have to prove a position because I'm just telling you, I don't believe the narrative that y'all been told. I'm not saying nothing about your sources. I don't care about your sources. <laughs> and the, one thing I never said today, though, he said, he said, now, Jabari got a little rattled when Rob asked him about the feces on the boat. Now, he said, Jabari got a little rattled on that one. They didn't really have a comeback for it. Look, if you got that many people, if you got 300 people in the hull of a ship, chained, remember they chained. That means that every time they get moved, somebody got to unchain them. They can't be chained to the ship and move around the ship chained to the ship. That's, that's just retarded. That's going to take a lot of manpower because one person, if you got 300 people, it's not going to be one person you have to use the restroom at a time. No, you don't have multiple. If you ever been to an event or something, and it, it has a, a large body of people in there, uh, and it ain't like y'all got multiple restrooms, uh, according to Christina, uh, they got one hole in the bottom of the boat, finna let all the damn water in, right, and drown us. <laughs> they got a hole in the boat, right? Finna drown everybody on here, and that's the pilsa. That's the pilsa and the shitter. And every time somebody got to move, you need at least two guards to go chain them up. You ain't got enough manpower for all, and they're willingly coming out the chains to do the number one or number two, and they ain't got thought about getting away, and they just get back up and get cuffed. But then y'all come tell us about all these revolts that y'all had, and you, come on, it's just, the story don't add up. So if they chain to the ship, man to man, head to toe, three tiers deep in the hull of the ship, where in the hell is they poop, they urine, and they vomit, and they menses? Where's all of this stuff going? So the little red guy come in and said that they had a hole in the bottom of the ship. <laughs> that they washed that stuff down. The white. And I'm like, a hole in the bottom of the ship. That sound like the banana in the tailpipe to me. Can they had a hole in the bottom of the ship to wash shit out. <laughs> he must don't know that the bottom of the ship is below sea level <laughs> to make that story up. Anybody wow. can look at any ship and see that the bottom of the ship sinks below the sea level to allow for the displacement of the water to keep the boat afloat, a certain amount of the under by, under section of the ship will be submerged beneath the sea level. So if they got a hole down there, pretty soon the hole gonna draw in enough water for the whole the ship ground, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. beneath I'm sea sorry. level. So but look, I'm, I'm supposed to bleed that though. See, look, so, so we end up talking to... Um, uh, a, a guy who worked in the Navy or whatever, and uh, he was the highest rank, and he told us that today on the boats, they have technology to where the water filters 
it filters the salt water in order for them to wash dishes, wash clothes, uh, people that have running water in they, uh, you know what I'm saying, on the ship. And so that technology didn't exist back then. So he said it would have been impossible because where are they going to stop to get their water? You can't overload the boat with water. It's going to weigh too much. And then you got cargo and then you got all this water. You would have to hydrate the people. And back then. So I need to know why I'm here for real, because the slave narrative does not have anything to do with me. So if I'm here to discuss the slave narrative, I could do that. I can give you ref. I could go right now and grab books off my shelf like Jabari was doing. But the thing was, is somebody's trying to force me to do something that I don't want to do. It's not that I'm not intellectually equipped to deal with it. It's that right now it's a test of character. And am I going to stand firm on what I told you? I didn't come here for that because that nonsense is foolish. So it it changed the uh, the way I would normally deal with the situation. That wasn't the first time it happened, but that's the first time I dealt with it the way I dealt with it. I hear you. And yeah, and I also thought that you, you know, the, another piece of that is really just to expose the chinks in the armor, right? Mm -hmm. Outside of that. So that's all I wanted to say. So, yeah. You know, See, the, the, one of the reasons I wasn't um, ready for the wasn't prepared to do a debate because I had a lot of other stuff going on preparing to go to the Empress um, coronation. And I did not want to be distracted from that, which now I'm about two days behind on everything because of that. But <clears throat> size trying to get me to come on and have a conversation. I don't know nothing about this dude. I was, to me, it's just a meet and greet. It's not a debate. You know, whatever he there for, for me, it's just a meet and greet. And so when I get there, it turned into two elders in the community instead of testing my knowledge, testing my character in front of people. It's a whole different, everything that's going on is spiritual in nature but it plays out physical in scope. So I'm looking at the spiritual aspect of it because I'm being summoned by an elder. But being aware of the trick, tricks of the enemy, when the elders call you forward, sometimes they call you forward for a reason other than they telling you, and you have to figure it out. And this was the position I was in. Because I'm here to have a conversation with him for what? I'm, I'm in the middle of something. I don't have time. But the elder called me, so I respond and I show my presence. You're not finna control me. I'm not controllable like that. You can't manipulate my emotions to draw me into a heated discussion that's going to end up being a bunch of psycho battles. It's not going to work. I can hold my position and you can misrepresent my position all you want. The people got enough sense to see that there's something else going on here if they watch it to its entirety. It's more than it's more than what meets the eye. Hey y'all, man, get us These over 500 likes. gonna play out. Get us over 500 likes. The life. culture, if we doing what we supposed to do. Man, come on, y'all. We gotta have. We ain't even got a week. Man, get us over 500 likes, man. man Share the video out. Get us over 500 likes. We rocking it Easter, bro. You can't get it nowhere else. Y'all didn't watch the couple fades, everything. This this here is gonna be a, another one. That's all we do is, is classics. Let's walk. We have to be tested at different levels for likes. different Let's character go. traits before we can go to the next level. And nature is gonna use the qualified people to test your merit along the way. I'm showing multiple facets of the of the culture at the same time I'm dealing with making the people Okay, my bad. Let's get 600 likes. God damn it. Get us up to 600. That was not a Native American before the 1960s. Nobody called it. But really, he was reading that they never deemed him African. They knew they were. Culture, if we doing what we supposed to do, we have to be tested at different levels for different character traits before we can go to the next level. And nature is going to use the qualified people 
to test your merit along the way. I'm showing multiple facets of the of the culture at the same. God damn it! Let's get seven hundred. They checking me on the lights. Okay, Kiri. I was trying to run me. Well, let's get seven hundred then. In time, I'm dealing. Get us seven hundred and crab cakes on me, guys. You, do you hear me? Crab cakes on me. Get us the seven hundred. And we're making the people become aware of the culture. Let me ask, can I ask um, you a question, um, Big Chief Top Cats? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma what, when they were talking about the Gullah Goop, but I always get it wrong, don't I, Rod? Yeah. The Gullah Geechee. Gullah Geechee. Did right. you agree with that? Because you were saying, give no, me five. I came minutes. back in, um, and, and debunked them. What happened was, Jabari starts, they gave me 30 seconds, and the niggas started screaming at 10. But... <laughs> So what I brought out was the first part, what, what I wanted to prove was that white folks made up this whole Gullah situation. Well, Not Geechee. White folks made the first person to ever write about a Gullah was a white boy. And I brought him up. It was John. The white boy John I brought up. Now mm -hmm. another lady ended up taking the story. Another white lady wrote a story. And that was the lady Peterkin. She the one who made it popular. All right. So now a lady named Emma Roche is going to come along and write a book called Historical Sketches of the South. Now, at that time, they had a program going on with uh, Franz Boaz, um, Melville Herkovich, the guy that started African studies here, white boys, uh, Jews, white Jews. Um, and they're going to get together with a guy named Lorenzo Dow Turner. Now, he's going to he's gonna handle the linguistic part. Well, he say through a word shout song, they were singing a Christian song, and he heard some people in Sierra Leone and said that they sounded like the niggas in the Sea Island. So that was the connection. Now, when he died, the connection never got made. So a white boy came along in the 80s. Uh, some nigga said, fuck them lights. Uh, nigga, this ain't your show. So you already let me know you ain't hit the like button. Chief Long win. Let me ask you a question, family. Uh, name me uh, two chiefs that was in your family. Name me two chiefs in your family, uh, Chief Longwin, or are you a self-proclaimed internet chief like uh, 98 percent of these people are running around here playing chief, and ain't nobody in their family never was a chief. Nigga said, "Fuck them likes." Interrupting a interrupting ad. He said, "Love you." Fuck that though. Yt pen, huh, man? Nigga, learn how to spell. Oh uh, yeah, that nigga, nigga, go uh commit crimes, nigga. Uh, spelling like a nigga that uh been in jail all his life. Uh, yeah, nigga, go on down the block with that, nigga. Niggas always trying to customize the show. I ain't putting nothing in the cash out, nigga. If you want to customize, if you want to show how you want it, nigga, pay for it. I don't know where y'all niggas come from, bro. I come from a million dollar block, bro. We, we, we were trying to go get it and come back with it. Not come, nigga, and ask, nigga. Man, if you want it customized, man, listen, man, pay. And we'll, man, you get it dedicated just how you want it. Uh, nigga, this shit free for you. So hit my like button, nigga. His name Joseph Apollo. That's who I brought up. Now, the idiot Chris, Christina... She gonna come on there talking about this is a real Geechee. This is what the Geechee say right here. The whole time I know it's a white boy. So when it's my turn to go, they don't want to let me get out because they know I'm dangerous and I know my shit. Anyway, long story short, I was showing the dude Joseph Apollo getting his Sierra Leone um um passport in Washington from the uh from um ambassador from Sierra Leone. Now, I wanted to show this was a white boy. He the one came through. A white boy came and said that you niggas was Gullah in the 80s. The Gullah didn't get popular into the 80s. It never was nobody in the 1800s named Gullah. How do we know that? Because I got the Civil War records. And the people in that area, they talk about how they lock, they uh, talk, they customs and characters. But uh, that's not what they did. They never deemed them African. They knew they were American. These are things that I, I know I can prove. All they have is a story, and they don't even know where it, st it started from white folks. So that's what happened on that. Well, Can I say something? I'm sorry, Dulcie. Go ahead. Hold on, my bad, Dulcie. Though, and when Chris ended, they said any last words. He said, "Um, 
Yeah, you know, I be I misspoke and I speak a little fast sometimes. Sure did. Uh, Top Cat was right. Uh, Joseph sure Obama did. is a white man. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Sure did. Clean him up. <laughs> I bet, Dosey. Go ahead. Dosey, no, Dosey. No, you're good. I just no, 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 Dosey. I, I wanted to speak to you. Dosey, what, what was, you had a good night last night, huh? Dosey, where you was going? Dosey had the all black on with six inch heels with the cleavage at standing next to a Karma Electra uh pole. Uh 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 Dosey, well, Dosey, you had your hell of a night, huh? Brought in Easter, right, huh? It, because it is easy. I think it is good and it opens up the conversation with you going on there, Rod, because Top Cast is beating them up so many times, they're not gonna come. If he if he's given a live, but I I just think it was um lack of knowledge of the platform of how it was gonna go that in the future sometimes you have to be like this is my show too and I want him to speak or I want this person to speak or anything or they're just gonna railroad you and that's how Jabari is he just kind of railroads any shows that he's on I had a show like that about, about DNA. And Jabari came up and then it it turned, it was gonna turn into the Jabari show if I wasn't assertive to be like, hey, no, he got to say his point. Now let me respond to him. And sometimes Ali Muhammad to too. Say, yeah, 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 Ali I, Muhammad Ali too. Muhammad. Yeah, he had to step in too, because Jabari started trying to act like it's his show and started crying. He wanted me out that day. He tried to kick me out that day too. Uh, but um, Dosi, you made him mad last night. You told him he same old sources. Oh, he went crazy. Mm -hmm. And then he went to start, Cold Dosey. Dosey right after that. <laughs> and <laughs> I already debunked that on another of them channel. Like, bro, we been we had this conversation. Chris screenshotted my sources and read my source. Bro, where your own research at? Like, it's crazy. It's a fictional book. He told the people the name of the book. But really, he was reading the title. Oh, the router, wine, idiot. They don't, they don't know nothing, bro. And they, that's why they're scary. But I want you remember, I remember, I, I say, uh, Top Cat, I, I was saying that most of the terms that we go by are exonyms given to us by outsiders. Very few of the names that the tribes are under is actually uh, the original tribal languages. They are transliterations as the foreigners heard the pronunciation. They came up with the words, right? So they was giving us exonyms, meaning names from outsiders, and they passing that off to us as our history. This is why the history is so um, um, tainted is because they control how we receive information and we not getting it from what the tribes were speaking because they snuffed out our culture okay. but it emerged back up in the midst of theirs and see they'll tell uh the, the the cherokee they'll tell you that they don't even know the meanings of the the uh, the ancient the the traditional language they don't even know the meanings of it so this form that they're using today they just started coming back in the 20th centuries with an education program that was funded, geared towards them learning this language. Most Native Americans running around here don't know a Native American name. There was not a Native American before the 1960s. Nobody called a Native American before 1960. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this shit, when they end up going to boarding schools, well, they got to remember their first boarding school was a Carlisle school. They came in the late 1800s. We, had, we was done fighting the Civil War and everything when they got there. Hampton University in Virginia was the first uh, school for Indians. Mainly like Borden. Right, Hampton Mainly University like Borden. went from Hampton University to Livingston. A guy named Joseph Price, he ended up dying. And then they got Booker T with uh, Tuskegee, which was vocational schools. All they did, Hampton, uh, Livingston, voca uh, uh, Tuskegee, these were vocational. They taught skills there. So women would learn the art of home cooking, order of gardening, and things like this. Here. The men would learn different mechanics and, and so on and so forth. Skill trades. Exactly. So you had uh, Edward Blyden, who was one of the fathers of Pan-African, came out of uh, the West Indies. Well, he came over, got the blueprint, and went back, got the blueprint from Tuskegee, went to Africa, 
and built the first uh, school in Liberia. And so off of the blueprint of this vocational school down here, and so they Carlisle came and they took the 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 the, the uh, same blueprint from from Hampton and from what's called and they found it there for the when you say Carlisle, Carlisle are you talking about the Carlisle group? Yeah, the Carlisle school. Yeah, the okay, Carlisle okay. boarding school. That's the first boarding school for Native Americans. Yeah, but it was built by Quakers and Protestants. They came from up north, from the northeast. Yeah, so that's they taught them their culture. They gave them their dress. They gave them their foods and I listen. I'm finna, I'm gonna prove all of that shit without a shadow of doubt. I'm prove who. Hey, shout out to War, uh, Warrior Side of Rock for the love in the cash. Yeah, I appreciate the love in the cash. Yeah, hundred. And I name names, and I'm we gonna name the places, the areas that they with. We can name all how all of them spread out. Whether if you're gonna go to the uh, uh um to the uh, uh Apache, if you want to go to the Navajo. All of these languages were created, no different than they created Igbo language, Yoruba language, so on and so forth, was created after the the uh, the uh, 1841 in, uh, in in Africa. So all these things were fairly new, and this was the colonizer way of communicating, also creating the syllabary so they can learn in the education, like Rod say, they killed them through the education. Yes, they now they created a language syllabary for niggas to follow. And that's what they gave to them and fed it to them like it was the original language. Did you see the uh, show I did with Young Gelder where I was showing them? They had the little Asians know, going to school to learn how to be Indians. Oh, no, no. I know y'all got a lot, but I be watching you over there on Young Gelder. Runaway slaves from the South. Remember yeah. that. They find us all over the land, and everywhere they find, we ran away from the plantations in the South. Get the Think about to that for a minute. Let that sink in. We in Mexico, by the millions, they call us Afro-Mexicans. Most of us are living in ancestral villages down there that they've been living in since the B.C. period. But they run away slaves. They can give you their ancestral history going back to before the Christian era. Yeah, and they also have carnivals. They they also celebrate carnivals, just like Mardi Gras and all of that. Very cruel. Some of the Lords is one of the, the darkest places in, in this side of the region. It was a rich port there. Uh, like I said, they had carnivals and they had natural resources. Plus, they had trade with Brazil, uh, <coughs> uh, Mexico City, paper, uh, yeah, all of the islands, man, all of the American islands right there. It's the same. When the culture, the root culture of anywhere on the planet goes back to what's called tribalism. Tribalism was the, the designation and separation of families by cultural practices. So uh, like right now, they classified tribes that came together under common leadership as gangs or cults. And they do that to villainize the cultural aspect of us naturally tribing up. As long as they can keep that vilified, we won't never figure out how to see the leaders that we was born with versus the leaders they imposed upon us. Because right. we always left with true guidance from the ancestors in the DNA and they leave certain leaders in the wake in order to inform us of what we're dealing with. Hey, shout That's out why it's important to know how to read your culture, because you'll see things in the culture that's common practice among our people everywhere we go. That's a and that's why they keep saying everybody a runaway slave, because we got common cultural practices wherever you find us. Especially down here in the southeast. We watch this here, right? When we grew up, we used to eat uh, some called tacos, but they made them with the crispy shells, though. That was that's not the turn to keep the, the beef cooking. But all of these is ancient parts of the culture. But now, because it become uh, into modern usage, they have to give you a historical narrative that disassociates you from a common practice so you won't ever remember. You already used to put fish out in the sun to dry it out. You already used to make your own sausages out of the out of the game you cooked, and you had enough to feed the family. 
We knew the cycle. That we do down here, we cook under the ground in East Texas. We cook under the ground, so you're gonna smoke your hog, you're gonna smoke your meat under the ground, and then you pull it out. So that's an old tradition. When I seen the Caddo Indians doing that, they was known for smoking they they meats under the ground. And you'll find the same thing in Hawaii, in Tonga, in um, Samoa more. You'll find that same underground cooking method that's ancient in the tribal traditions all over the earth. Why, just some country people out there go say, hey, we cook, my people cook out of the ground. Why do you think the devil is in the pit of fire? Because we barbecue in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to TJ D in the cash out. Appreciate that little TJ D in the cash out. And y'all get the likes over 700. Support the show. We've been rocking for a little time. We're going to ride it out. my French. I forgot. I ain't used to being politically correct because the politics ain't correct. So sometimes a periodic uh, profane word might fly off my lips and not be going to let it slip. Hey, the homie say shout out Paris, Texas. Man, I got a Paris, Texas story, man. Real quick. Oh, I just need 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, man. So we in Paris, Texas, right? Um, <clears throat> shout out to Commerce. Shout out to Cooper. Shout out to Greenville. You feel me? So we young. We like 19 years old. We hustling. We going down there in u hauls right? Me and my best friend. So he go down there first, meet this little chick. Now, I ain't made it down there yet. Uh, I remember he had a, 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 a Smith & Wesson 38, but it was long, looked like a, a Trey Fire Seal. And, uh, and he was like, man, where you at, cuz? I just got a tooth in there. I said, damn, nigga, you just got down there. Long story short, he ended up, you know, you know, taking care of business uh, <laughs> with, this, with the 38. So I got down there. So we switched the, the uh, weapons out of whatever. And um, but we went to the club that night. The Walmart was in commerce. We went in and all that. And then we ended up uh, going to the club. It was in Paris, Texas. Paris is like a hole in the wall, it's in the woods. And um, it was a little female, and I didn't even know her, but I had gave her my my weapon and paid her to bring it in the club with me. And I'm glad I did because them niggas were tripping. Hey, don't believe because you're in the country, you know, these you can get over them and they, nah, they bought that. And let me tell you something, fam, they said Paris, Texas, it was a song came on in there and it turned the whole club up and uh, them niggas started looking at us like we was aliens. We went from around there. Whole different sway, whole different demeanor. But this song, it wasn't a little something like this. Um, it said, uh, if I can remember right, it said, uh, uh, Oak Cliff, that's my hood. Put it in their face, nigga. Un get it understood. Oh, why they do that? <laughs> why they do that, man? <laughs> why they do that, man? I'm talking about turn it, man. Say, man, let's get back to the show. Shout out Paris, Texas, man. It's not intentional. Rod, you said a cussy again. Mm mm. Oh, okay. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He on his best behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, Unc. Don't and worry about it. I just want to say really quick, I can't give out. <laughs> I got you, Unc. Don't worry about it. No, ain't nobody did nothing. Just right now from my phone, but I am going to do that. So some other people will have wrenches when I when I can. Who from Tyler, Texas? Who from Tyler, oh, Texas? Putty, I heard you earlier speaking about the Putty Act uh, was. Hold on, oh. shout out Tyler, Texas. Nigga, I got a story. Why ain't gonna go there? Cause they talking about, I see Alpha already going. Those and them laughing at Okay, no more story. But we go through Tyler too, man. I got him, man. I didn't say, man. Man, I didn't been a lot of places, seen a lot of faces, man. Funny mm -hmm. is one of the greatest leaders. Uh, Dre, uh, what's up, Dre? Uh, Dre, 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 uh, Dre Day. The secret societies that they created right before the Seven Year War happened, the French and Indian War, where well, they, they signed a treaty. And this treaty ended up bringing together uh, a lot of chiefs came out for this treaty. I think it was over 200. And uh, Big Mama Freedom, Pennsylvania. And they put together a secret society. Through that is what they're going to create the Continental Congress. And that's where the Freemasonry going to come. You had a lot of them Scots that came over in Philadelphia. Or uh, got uh land down in Philadelphia too. Hey, hey, hey! Shout out to the homie in Tyler. Watch this here. Uh, 
you know what Orp Texas is then, right? If you know what Tyler is then, you know what Orp Texas is. So a lot of people from Orp, they'll tell you that they from Tyler or something. You know what I'm saying? Because Orp not really on the map. But uh, that's where Free Ray Ricky Ross come from. Yeah, that's where his people them come from. And they out there in Tyler. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of land out there in Tyler. They lumber. They, 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 you know, uh, they, they clear land and everything, man. They sell they lumber out there, man. Um, yeah, man. One of my homies, man, out there, man. Groove to the world, stop moving, man. My nigga, hey, my nigga, little duck. You know what I'm saying? Tyler, Texas, man. Yeah, I got a story I can go through. That. I ain't gonna, we ain't gonna go through that right now. But turn up, man. Shout out Free Ricky Rouse, man. Shout out to my nigga, duck. Shout out Tyler, Texas, man. Shout out to the homie in the chat. Let's rock. Bloodlines. So they weave the training uh, mechanisms into your development as you grow up on the land. And your mother on your, this is where your mason comes. Hey, y'all, I apologize, y'all. Dre, 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 you from, you from Texas? You from East Texas, Dre? Stop it. Stop playing. You from East Texas? Listen. You can't miss no more BCU meetup. Dre, I ain't know you was in Texas. It's over with. No, it's, I didn't know that. You coming outside. Uh, Dre, we got to get you outside. From Your mother has to teach you how to read the feminine code if you're the chosen son to be her right hand Real man. Rick Ross. Real that Rick Ross. That she got to raise you with all of the knowledge of the women but keep you masculine. And that's why the air is classified in Chicago coming on the west side as the Pink Prince. And the Pink Prince becomes the Purple King. And the Purple King is the Royal Arc degree, where the Red House and the Blue House meet at the capstone in the uh, Royal Arc entering into the temple. And the temple. Uh, girly girl, you better not say nothing. Because I already know what you think. Girly girl, you better not say nothing. Keep it to yourself. The shrine. Big mama say you ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say it at all. And the shrine is the resting place of the Black Madonna. And the only one that can go out and get her out of the shrine is the architect. Cash and the only. architect is yeah, Hiram Abiff, the master uh, builder. And the master builder has to build the yellow brick road, which is a road of gold, which is an indicative of the banks. Going back to Big Mama House, which is the castle in Oz. And Oz means strength. So in the village of strength, and Chemosh is the god of the Mobites. So <laughs> when we start no tracing it all back, it's, it's the codes, the light codes to unlock to the ones with the blood, the sequence to turn the dials on the data in order to unlock the minds of the most amount of people. The one who's at the top with the all seeing eye is seeing through all of the eyes. That means from everybody's perspective, it don't mean that he's seeing everything simultaneously. He's understanding the perspective of the masses at every angle in order to align the vision with the Lucifer lens to flip the upside down back around so we can be back up on the straight bump again. So it's all coded to teach the lessons and the lessons have to play out in the public domain while the people watch the pretender to the throne putting in the work to prove his merit as to who he say he is by the blood and the right. And when the blood and the right is exercised in the proper sequence, all of the elders give them a pass across the land until you get to everybody giving pass to one man. That means that everybody had a chance before the last man came along to try to redeem the people with the codes of the Masonic lodges. And the lodge was the war was the code was the war. And the secret was that the war was to make us think that we was from somewhere else so that we would never assert our jurisdictional supremacy on the homeland. And the homeland is known as the great melding pot 
where all of the nations of the world come to get one drop of the royal blood of the first family of Tahuti in order to correct the genetic defects at the close of the age. And when the Atlas shrugs and it shakes off the parasites, all who don't have the drop of blood or can't assimilate the drop of blood shakes off as an NPC, a nine player character bringing the ancient to the presence is tying the alpha to the omega. And this is what they talking about when they say standing on the post, that's the dead center of the pie. That's 3.14 standing on pie. And then you have to be able to see a 363 panoramic view. That means that you can spin around on your post without losing your composure. Right. And then you can march through the 360 degrees. And once you get to 360 and you can absorb the alpha and the omega, you get the 720 as above, so below. So the one that can hold this pulse and flip the 360 to the 720 and the 720 to the 1440 off the left hand and the right hand but remain straight up the middle is the sacrificial lamb come to redeem the masses as the redeemer crown prince of heaven and earth coming to bring the new earth to the people in order that they be relieved from the misery of the old age the chapter of misery closed when the people accept the fact that this is over with and that we moving into the new world the age of aquarius where the truth is more disturbing than the lie I wanted to say that uh Hiram Biff story you were saying the Iroquois, the 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 Seneca and so on, they had uh their story is similar. Well it, except it's the character is not Hiram Biff, it's a guy named Red Hand. So that's and that but it's it's the same story, same signs like you broke down. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a guy named um Augustus Laplasion. He went down, spent 40 years down with the Maya, the Yucatec Maya, learned the language. His, his wife, Elise Plazion, she was a photographer. So they took a lot of pictures, but he wrote a book called, and he said that the Quiche Mayans originated Freemasonry down there. Uh, yeah. Right, but remember, that's the modern terminology for the royal rites of passage of the royalty of the earth. That's all it is. It became masonry in the modern era and uh they was talking about coming out of the uh the stone masons guilds this is all contemporary masonry not ancient rites of passage which is still present amongst us as we speak but yeah you're right and the red hand if you go and you look to the midwest tribes you see that the, a lot of the natives got the red hand over the face of the women. Right. And the red hand is the guilty one. And the guilty one is the one with the blood on their hands. And the one with the blood on their hands was the ones that slid across the bloody floor set, the ruby red house, and stole the, uh, the red ruby red slippers. No place like home. And so he got caught red-handed by the princess, and now his blood is on her hand, on his hands. These are all symbolic codes for unlocking the uh, the stellar reliefs that tell us the writing on the wall, what the redemption process is, and how it works. And they tell the story from the different cultures. And the shamans between themselves make fun of the stories in what they call the sacred dance of the Hayoka. Hey, this Can I ask a question, please? I wanted to say this because I heard um, Chief Pontiac say this earlier about um, the culture and everything over in um, Africa. And I, I, I asked the two brothers this. Um, I don't, for some reason, I don't think that our culture over here is like theirs. It's not. It's, and um, I have spoken to some African friends of mine that said that we couldn't even live over there. And the reason why they said that we couldn't is because we are used to the four season change. And um, we would go over there expecting to be able to live over there. And um, the ones who believe that they're from there and want to run back over here because 
um, we will be craving the um, the 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 um, changes, like you know, the summer, winter, fall. What do you think about that? One of your, what both of you, both of you brothers have to say about it. Both of you chiefs. Well, the Liberia project proves that we can survive over there like we belong, but we don't belong. When we go over there, most of these people from today that think they're from Africa and take the trip, they feel the sorrow and the pain of the African people from the continent. Hey, hold on. When they go over there, they got to take all them shots. Talk about this. Y'all remember we had the brother on the show say he traveled over there with them and they had to take all of them shots. They don't tell you about that. But they don't relate to them as kindred. Like, if you meet a cousin that you ain't never met before and y'all both adults, you're going to have a sense of kindred with that cousin, a sense of family-recognized familiarity that's going to draw y'all together. That is not always the case when you go to Africa. As a matter of fact, a lot of the African tribes know who we are, and the tribal people will tell you. But the colonized, conditioned people will tell you the slave story just like the colonizer. Yeah. I want to hear what you got to say about that, um, Chief Top Cats. Uh, well, as far as the culture, um, the first time that they ever brought up a conversation about us sharing culture with people in Africa came from a white man. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and so um, it was a white boy, Melville Herkovich came and said that the Negro had a culture. He wasn't uh, barbaric and all of this here. He had a culture, and his culture was in Africa. So in 1923, they got a project. They ended up getting funding, and they, they wanted to prove this. So you had the eugenics movement, which was a branch, uh, a sister uh, branch off of them, where they was putting the, this this independent funding into well, the 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 guy that was getting the money, the beneficiary was a guy named Franz Boas, who is going to be known as the anthropologist, first anthropologist of America. Now he did a lot of study on the Indians. How a lot of them got their names. Now he admitted he didn't go to the Indian tribes and ask them their names. And in a lot of cases, he get, he put them in confederacies and put labels on them. But anyway, I say that to say that they wanted to pull this guy off the project. This guy Melville Herkovic out the project. Because they didn't feel like that was, uh, you know, where they wanted the money to go. Well, they was here measuring schools, noses, all of this. They came to Harlem. A lady named uh, uh, Zora Neale Hurston is the one who brought them up there. They was in uh, Harlem uh, measuring schools and noses, seeing if the parent was dark-skinned, if the parent was light-skinned. Yeah. Well, they end up having a um, a guy in the South came. So they started going to the, the, the black schools, quote-unquote, uh, Negro schools in the South. Well, the measurements came the uh came back different because over seventy percent of the people in the South said that they had American Indian lineage and no African. Well, the professor came out and anthropologist came out at the time and he said it seems that the um that the Negro uh left everything um in Africa except his skin color because they share no cultural traits with people in Africa, especially the South. They came from African studies professors who was arguing against the case of the measurements and the numbers that this guy Melville Herkovich was bringing. So they sent Negroes down to the South to go and, and um, do these population studies themselves. Y'all can find this information in my book, I'm Not Black, I'm Indian. Hey, Unc, I got to get you my book. I got to uh, send you a hard copy. Okay, for sure. How let me? How let me? You got you got my link, right? Uh, now nah, I get it from. Uh, from matter of fact, though. I looked in my phone. Okay. I do got. Hey, look, got you number. mentioned Franz Boaz, I right? I do got do got your number. I looked in my phone uh last night when I got off. I said, "Damn, I do got ride number." Right. Yes, sir. Okay. You Captain. know that is a Masonic character. France means French. Boaz is one of the twin pillars. It's the bow tie. Right. It's the red house. It's the Scottish right. So it's telling you who is authoring it by the name of the character that they're using to tell the story. Okay. That, let me give that's, why, that's why we get confused because we don't know 
when the secret society's control information is being given to us because they know the codes and we don't. See, friends, Boaz is going to be instrumental in people uh, that we know today as master teachers, such as John Henry Clark, because his protege, Melville Herkovich, is going to be the president of African Studies. Well, they're going to have a black caucus there. And two of the members in the black caucus are going to be John Henry Clark and uh, uh, um, uh, what's this? What's the other one? That it'll come here, uh, Je uh, Jeffries. Uh, okay. Yeah, Leonard, Leonard Jeffries. Talk to him, Leonard Jeffries. They gonna start a sister program called the African Heritage Society. I mean, African Studies, uh, African Heritage Studies Society. Mm -hmm. I mean, association, which was the same sister company because when they went overseas to speak, they both came. So in '69, when they say they went, went in California and they said, "Hey, we need, we deserve the right to tell our own story, to teach our own story." Well, they killed Negro that year and they brought in Afro American and Black Power. Mm -hmm. yeah. But and then it now they saying we want to tell our own story, and then that's how you got this creation of this pan Africanism for us. What we know, where they started saying we had these ties to Africa that didn't come into that time, but it was under the guidance and the watch of Melville Herkovich and white folks. They put the funding up the Carnegie. We know that uh, University of Chicago, uh, that they put the money, the Rockefellers, the Carnegie, and them put the money up for. Uh, uh, what's his name? Started uh, uh, Black History Month. Um, uh, Carter G. Woodson. Mm -hmm. you know, they put the money up for him. W. E. Du Bois. Uh, a guy named Joe L. Springer, the one who created NAACP. He put the money up for him. He the one funded the 1919 Pan African Congress. They sent him to France. Carnegie. Uh, uh, uh J. P. Morgan. Them. They put the money up for him to go to France and come back because they wanted to stop. The soldiers from World War One coming back telling what was actually happening over there. So the boys got his ass on that boat, went over there, which he was uninvited, but he had a sack of money. He had some powerful people behind him. When they came back, they established the 1919 Congress that was paid for by him. And the guy named Bruce, the one that started the YMCA program at the Schomburg, he the one who ousted him. He was running with Marcus Garvey. I was just getting ready to say that. I was just getting ready to yeah. ask for you to bring in about. Freedom, why are you laughing? Somebody get a fire extinguisher, man. Get a fan or something. Man, that youngster can go off. Hey, bro, y'all can find all this information in my book. I'm not black, I'm Indian, the miseducation of black American. What did y'all think we was talking about in there? <laughs> yeah, bars. Yeah, we ran. We got you get all that up out of there in the different chapters. I mean, what, what you want the Clotilde? You get all that in there. What you want the Gullah Geechee? You get all that in there. What you want the Transatlantic Slave Trade? You get all of that out of there. What you want the colonizers and the niggas who put the money up and all of these programs that was put on you to create this African act? It's all in there. You can't get it nowhere else, man. I'm not black. I'm any of the miseducation of black American. Give it two, three years and watch how popular the book be. America bloodlines are the go. Just give it two years. Watch part two though, because I'm coming with the pictures and junior. And so me, man, we're gonna get the pictures in there and everything. So we're gonna have the, the visuals and everything. We're gonna have the, the little scan code where you can do it and it'll show clips when we at the trips or whatever. So while we standing, you know, we can let them know we boost on the ground, and that's how we qualify to have this conversation. Bars, it's going up this year. We got three books coming. Talk to them. We got to get them done. Curriculum's coming. Most importantly, July, and we finna get have everything we got for y'all this week. July, uh, we're going to Mexico, so y'all get ready. And guess what? Unscramble mindset, they're gonna be in Mexico with us. Oh, let's see if we get ride out there. What's up, ride? Let's go to the pyramids, huh? Dang Callaway, let's pull up. A1 say he want to come out there, man. Let's pull up, Abos. What's up? Man, let's come through there 50, 60, 100 deep. Everybody ain't got to be together. Everybody ain't got a room together. We ain't got to be at the same hotel, but we can meet up and, you know, and goddamn, we can let the world know, hey, it's up there and it's stuck there. The role of Marcus Garvey, that whole going back to Africa and Liberia. I literally just was getting ready to say that. And while you are saying answering that, and Dot just said that, that brought me to my second question that I want to ask, and um, because it's kind of in with what she's saying too. I uh, and this is love saying I'm buying mine now. That nigga is that young nigga is spitting. Yeah, you can get it on bigchiefuniversity.com. Big Chief 
university.com um um jabari had brought up and i mentioned this early on um to um chief pontiac the stories that he had top cats he said um how do you account for the stories that we had and i was like and like i said to um chief pontiac um how if it was from africa are they giving you stories and they don't speak english back then watch this here mom and, this and i want to know what you thought about that in similar well, to i told the boy that the transatlantic slave trade was created through literature when i said that i meant it why did i say that and i also asked him give me some authors who wrote about the transatlantic slave trade during the uh colonial period at the time that it was happening why are we hearing people with these stories because I'm going to bring you some newspaper ads of the people saying if the slave trade is this bad, then why aren't we seeing it, people at this time? I'm going to bring you the mayor of Virginia who's going to tell you that um, they ain't had three ships come from Africa, even sail there to Virginia in the period of time. The, the people on his plantation are Englishmen, Scots, uh, and a few Irish. Then we just read that source to the other brother that we just educated. Yeah, yeah, they say that boy a computer. Nah, 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 man. Bloodlines of the goers, man. We here to tell a story. This I, we are the culture. We are the source. Hashtag they ain't believe. You can also find this information I'm talking about in my book. The shit that I that I ain't put in my book yet. I will not talk about it yet. But it's coming. Okay, these are indigenous. Y'all can't go get the book. We got a few hard copies left, man. Maybe. 10 12 and it take about a month and a half to get them so these last ones is the last ones get your autograph copy man i see a lot of new people in here man oh yeah go get the books we got a few bloodlines of the guards of america right now too or to get your autograph copy big chief university.com go get a platinum pack we got the making of a native american coming up but we're gonna run when we gonna close the casket on the, that that conversation the service coming over from europe um uh when we talk about the where they tried to create uh, someone who actually went through the experience of it you're gonna get only on the equiona which is gonna come out of the sons of africa which is a quaker movement that's the relief for the poor blacks now that starts from the, the society of friends that's paul cuffey the guy who's gonna be uh um sought out by thornton these guys in france who's gonna bring him on the uh because they was they were ship uh they were sellers they was wellers and uh, they do the routes. So they're going to sign him with the Sierra Leone Company, 1777. Uh, that's going to fail. They're going to send Daniel Coke over there and start the AME Church. That's when they failed, the African institution came and recruited them. That picked up the because uh, they weren't paying the people. Well, then you had something called American Colonization Society came. And so they start, they got, that's where Liberia come. What they do, recruit Paul Cuffey, who was an Indian, even Paul Cuffey Jr., his son and his wife said no to the back to Africa, stayed in a village where his brother was a chief and his wife was a uh, had a lot of rank there. Now, Again, you can find all of this information in my book. And you cannot find it nowhere else, bro. And that's not to discredit nobody else in their scholarship, but man, we are cooking. We cooking in the kitchen. We got that work. We call it the Indian Bible here at BCU. That's the Indian Bible because everything you need is going to break it down. Every Everything is good. Everything is top shelf information without a shadow of a doubt. And um, I'm going to pin the link at the, got the, I'm pin the link at the top for the new people that um, they want to um, purchase. See, uh, it's going to make college. You got like society. 10 left, so y'all got to hear it. <laughs> start bringing over these pastors okay but they had a language barrier there so you had something called the Niger Expedition 1841 we got to create a language and find a way to actually communicate with them but I'm going to close on this here um, they used this guy only on the Equiana but when we look through his baptismal records the guy born in South Carolina when we look through his military records the dude is born in South Carolina is nowhere around it. The time that he said he was there, the stories that he got from Guinea is stories that he got from a guy named Anthony Benazette. The guy, he was a Huguenot, who, and he taught uh, uh, um, the first Absalom Jones. He taught uh, uh, Richard Allen. 
and um and, and Robert Finley. He taught the I mean Robert Finley was the guy who's gonna own the, the New York Colonization Society, who's gonna step away from the ACS. But all of this is colonization, they're trying to get the people to take them over here. We know the players, and then this is what they're gonna do, right? They created a sister company because niggas ain't want to go. They was writing back and they was telling stories about how fucked up, how messed up, I'm sorry, it was out there. Well, they created one with a black face on it to get niggas to go. And that's where you get Henry Garnett for Pan-Africans love and cherish, but the dude's a colonizer. He started the sister company to it. Instead of American uh, Colonization Society, he come create his own name, the, the black version of it, to suck a niggas into going over there, right? And they was putting him out there because Henry Turner, which was a pastor, one of the most influential, he went, didn't stay long, 90 days. His friends died. They asked him why he wouldn't go back. But he said, he, he told them that they're, they're putting the people out there that have nowhere to go. They was only out there to go build it up because it wasn't developed. And so a lot of people was going on the, in, to the inlands, and they he, he begged them. I got the letters. Please stop sending people over there if y'all not going to get them the resources. Because a lot of women getting raped, a lot of the people getting killed out there, getting robbed, and no one has anywhere to go. But I close on that for the uh, American Colonization Society. Hey, y'all, let me say this here, y'all. We don't have no more paperbacks right now. We only have hard covers. We only have hard covers left. And I said, I think it's about 10 left. So we only have hard covers. We don't have paperbacks in right now. It's going to be like two weeks till I get them. But Dots had a question I um, I thought, you know, okay, she was, her question was on Marcus Garvey. So I want you to forget to answer that. What was your question, Dot? Dots. She wanted you to move me, started in Barbados because uh, <laughs> it wasn't developed. And it was a Huguenot who, and he taught. I heard y'all calling me. What happened? No, you was you had a question and I, you know, Sorry, I just Bob, I didn't answer you. that you got your question answered. But go of it. Well, no, I I wanted I was going to ask to for one of you to explain the role that you know of Marcus Garvey now whole going back to Africa movement and then also with Liberia supposedly to be the place. But you sort of touched on that already. So well, not with Garvey part because Garvey part in it. You're going to have Edward Blyden, who's going to come first. He's going to be recruited by a guy named Henry Knox. These are Protestants. They family go back to the Protestant Reformation with uh, uh, Queen Anne. Uh, they, they, but once the politics changed after Elizabeth came in, you know, they rose no longer needed. But anyway, they come out the West Indies. They recruit him. He went to a, 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 a Jewish Orthodox church. They tried to get him in Rutgers University. It didn't work. So at 18 years old, the New York Colonization Society paid for him to go to Liberia. He's going to go there. That's the guy who's going to create the first uh, um, uh, college there. And so he's going to go to Barbados and start a Back to Africa. That's where the Back to Africa movement started in Barbados. A lot of people didn't want to go with it. All right, so long story short, by the time you get down to Garvey now, Garvey is going to work with a guy named Ernest Cox, Ernest Seville Cox. Ernest Seville Cox and them, they were the upper echelon of the Ku Klux Klan. And um, these are the people that Garvey is going to work with. They were down with repatriation. He wrote a book called White America, and he talked about how we couldn't coincide in the country together and that we needed to get out of here. We needed a Moses. A guy that's gonna be like Moses lead his people back. Well, Marcus Garvey was their guy, was his man. So uh Garvey was very instrumental too in the Ethiopian movement. That's where you get the Africa for the Africans. He really got that from a Christian missionary dude, uh Boone, a white boy wrote Africa for the Africa. That was a book. Well, when Garvey got here, he um he was pushing the, the Ethiopian movement, which came from a white boy. Okay, a white boy put up the money for the Ethiopian movement. You got the more Zionist Jews in Harlem, 1899 out of that. Most of them was West Indies. Most of them came out of Morocco, um, Iberian. Uh, they were foreign to here. They going to start that movie. Rabbi Joseph Ford and them, all of them going to be in that movie um, with, uh, with Garvey because, you know, he was on the music team over there, Ford or whatever. But they also was with the commandment keepers as well which going to come through Matthew. Matthew was funded by the white boys in Ohio. He went to school out there with them. 
they had the white movement for the Jews. It was called Little Israel. And this is them teaching them they, them English because a lot of them are coming through here as foreigners. So they're teaching them the tradition, the way of America for back, uh for the um what they were learning back home. So my bad, I said little Israel, it's called young Israel. So what they were doing was, you know, they were basically the the this at the time where the migrants was coming over here a lot of these europeans coming over here you got the uh, italians and all of that the Irish, all of these coming over here in the 20th century well they some people put together some money and they wanted to basically civilize these people bring them into the american fold so one of those things was you know language teaching them english you know different trades different things like this here to get them going so that was uh that was a movement that was going on at the same time as that uh no, it wasn't little israel it was young israel my bad yeah that's that's what i got on garvey uh garvey ended up being extradited he never made it to africa why because liberia and them said he wasn't coming people don't understand there's more than one form of pan-africanism it was three different forms of pan-africanism it was three different form, um white independent philanthropists funding these different movements so it was that's why Booker T and Garvey didn't get along. Du um, Booker T and Du Bois didn't get along. I'm sorry. That's why uh, they was fighting because you had Rosenwald funding him. You had Springham funding Du Bois. You had Ernest Cox and them funding Garvey. And so everybody was going to see who, who money was the longest. And in the end, uh, all of them lost. <laughs> the four yep, um, they sent his ass right to prison. Right to, uh, to Europe, right, right. To prison. Once you find out that they trading codes in your face, and ain't nothing you can do about it to um, pass information to the future. You can't stop the information. You can't stop the understanding of what takes place when you learn about a foreign culture and you can't identify with it. The only way to prove the point sometimes is to take you right up to the culture and hold your face to it so you can see it is not your culture. See, when we do, we forget that in the midst of these secret societies attempting to control our leadership, that our leadership is still looking for a way for the people to break free. And so they leave the codes. The confraternity part is the part that most people don't pay attention to. And the business aspect of what was attempting to be established is the same thing Ryan Brown got murdered for and all of those businessmen on the trip to make us be able to do business and bypass the colonial system to do it. The colonizer over here is just called the United States. They call South Africa in South Africa. They call it Ghana in Ghana. Right? So we, we've been colonized everywhere. How are you going to get the secrets to posterity to know what to tie together to break the chains of bondage, psychological bondage? So the result of the confraternity forms a united front against all colonized tribal peoples of the world. It is hosted in a conference by Sukarno known as the Bangdon Conference, where the tribes from Asia reminded the tribes from the Americas of an ancient contract to overthrow any system that subjugated the tribal networks that was already pre-established. So we going back to ancient contracts cashing in under a grandfather clause to override the, uh, the modern constructs of these artificial corporations that's masquerading as government. So all of it becomes instrumental because when we understand who was the secret society behind this one, then you know how they would deliver the code that would tell us how to overthrow that particular secret society's jurisdictional authority. And when you get enough of them together, now you the one with the keys, 444, angel on the post, right? I got the keys. 
Then I'm on the defense. I'm dressed in all black. Then the codes from the past be played out in the future in arts and entertainment in the presence of the enemy. I'll make you a feast. And they can't stop it. It's all in the um, understanding of how we continue to practice our culture in foreign cultures being laid on top of our culture to smother us out. We still talk to each other. We still put information in a certain form, like when your mama give you that particular look. When you master the art of the pen, you can give her that particular look through the, through the writing of your words. And then they can see using the intuitive sight of the mothers, what we call psychic insight, it began to animate a story before your face. And now you realize you got a dog in every fight and your dog ain't always the dog that looked like he winning. You mess around and grab the do wrong dog, your ass gonna get bit. So you gotta know where your dog at in the fight and how your dog fighting. So you can know where he whether he winning or losing. And all of us, them L's turn into sevens when we flip the script. Cash in the keys. Okay. Open up the gate and let the inmates out. Well, I know you said you weren't going to be here too long. I thought maybe a couple questions could get in because I knew o OTK had a question and a brother already came in and asked a question. So I'm going to put him in. If y'all don't mind, just a couple questions. Mm -hmm. No one or two, maybe two or three people to come up and ask a question. One at a time. To, hey. hey peace you, and prosperity. How you brother. <laughs> brother <laughs> Rod, how you doing? What's going on with you? Uh, hey, take this out. Hey, look, brother. Look, hey, y'all, you and brother Top Cat has been dropping some science, and I really appreciate it. I've, I've actually been humbled by some of the knowledge that y'all have been dropping. I just, uh, you know, I only have just one opposition anytime I hear y'all both kind of speak. I don't understand how y'all think our women are going to save us. I, I, I want to ask you a question, then please let either one of y'all explain. To me, it comes off as if though y'all are molesting our women's ego with this mama's boy religion as if though we're going to raise the black woman to save us. No other man on earth is doing this or teaching that. That's hey, uh, judging by your curl, you from the South, right, right or wrong? You already know. Right. From Mississippi. Mississippi, Alabama. Okay, yeah, I know. You had to be way down yonder. Yeah, well, right uh, where you at? <laughs> uh, yeah, boy, I looked at him. I said, boy, and you can't tell him he ain't clean. He's a he he he's a couple decades back. You can't tell him. See, this is why them New York City slickers and them Northerners used to come down here. They the type of nigga they 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 found when they came down here. Oh uh, yeah, they ain't caught up too much in style and you know and uh you know they still behind 100, 110 years. You know, so this nigga look like a blast from the past. Uh. Yeah, I say judging by them curls, cause it look like he got his, a curl in there. But you can't. And, and and where he from? He clean. Oh, he knocking all the fat hoes. Yeah, of course. They know him in the town, small town. Look at him, and he just happy. Uh huh. And, and you and you went raised at Big Mama House. Hey, I was ready at Big Mama and Big Papa House, man. Big, uh, Big Mama and Big Papa, and Big Mama throw a shoe at you. Big Mama gone. I, I don't what that what mean? Tell me right now what mean more in this world of you than Big Mama? What? Can you repeat when Big Mama one? leave, what happens to the family? Shout yeah. out to Big Papa. Shout out to Big Papa. But uh, when, when Big, Big Mama, Mama leave, gone, what the family Dean, hold on, brother Dean. Hold on, brother Dean. Let my country brother right because he feeling clean. Oh, uh, Jane Brown looking at now, but uh, <laughs> when, when Big Mama leave, uh, what happened to the family? Okay, let me tell you like this. When Big Mama leave, the family is definitely destroyed because she's the last piece of a puzzle that had already started to fall when Big Papa 
was destroyed. No, See, Big Papa be- never was destroyed. Big Papa had two, three jobs. Big Papa know how to go. He gonna leave. Uh, when y'all get up, Big Big Daddy gone. Big Daddy not in the house when y'all get up. He getting up and moving every day. He gonna make something happen. So uh, now, well, uh, Big, land, Big Daddy land. might even, Big Daddy might not even come home every night. What is you mm-hmm. talking? Big Daddy got a family on the other side of town. But this is my thing. When Big Mama leave, the fact, uh, Uncle Rob, I'm gonna throw the alley out the glass to you. Uh, let's help our country, brother. Right? Like he just yeah. said, when Big Mama leave, the family fall apart. Uh, <laughs> Uncle, can you tell him why? Since he want to know why we put the women at the highest esteem, turn up. Listen, hey, <laughs> shout out yeah, to in the tribal shout tradition, time. women you know are the inheritors out, of the rights to the land. I'll fall down. It's not that the women going to save us. It's putting the women back in a proper position secures the rights to the land. Now, the saving part goes to the individual. Say yourself by waking into who you are. Can't nobody else save you. If you were in the river drowning by yourself, you better learn how to swim fast. Life is no different. By putting the women in their place, we exercised our tribal jurisdictional supremacy to reclaim the land under the matriarchal birthright as caretakers, as first caretakers of the land. Grandfather closeted in the oldest contract on the earth, which is the de- gender determining nature of the planet. And under that, that's what gives the women the birthright to control the land resource and to determine where the next forest going to go and where the next desert going to be. And the men, in turn, keep the control of the society by giving knowledge and wisdom to the youth to help them learn how to function under the regime of the matriarchy and they will be able to be able to establish their own tribe according to their own merit where they ever they choose to build their families. These families become extended families which forms into villages over time. And birthright of your tribal inheritance is passed on through the matriarchal lines So when we put the matriarchy back in her position of jurisdictional supremacy, she can then authorize us by the laws of nature as men to tear this MF up if it don't get right in the dealings between the people. This is what this the raising the matriarch is about. It's not about artificially inflating the ego of women. It's about honoring ancient traditional birthrights and enforcing the jurisdiction thereof. But we have a process to follow called a redemption process that's been established over the ages using the royal rights of passage to relay the information to the ones with the blood and the right. That's what raising the matriarchy is about. It's the redeeming of the entirety of the planet. Hey, let me ask you this here, James Brown. Uh, when when you were coming up, uh, uh, was your parents married? Yeah, yes. Okay, so you got your dad last name, but um, are you familiar with most times when people have a baby, they end up with the mama last name if the family if the parents not married? That's correct. Okay, now uh, when you was young and when these young niggas they had, I mean, young men they had these babies with these girls. They don't usually go stay with the the, uh, the 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 daddy mama. They go stay with the baby mama and her mama, right, right around. It's a culture that we've been living, bro. This is the culture that we come from. Okay, all right. Let yeah. me just, oh, wait, hold on. Let me yeah, say this. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna this. I'm gonna close with this, James. Bro. No, no, I don't want you to close. Don't go nowhere. Okay. I want you to... Okay. Go yeah. ahead. So what I was gonna say was, uh, traditionally, yeah. we were we are matrilineal people. So the woman, the cornerstone of the family is always going to be big mama. That's why she means so much. She the one holding the family together when everybody else, fucking, she sacrificed her life when the kids ain't grew up and they having kids and she bring them all in. But she the structure and that's how it always been. So um, we living in that culture still to this day and not even understanding it. And so, okay. yeah, I hope I brought a little understanding to no, you. No, to no, you you, right you both have brought a, a lot better. On, a matter of fact, uh, Brother Rod, uh, what you said, 
I kind of got a better understanding that uh, kind of like Elijah Muhammad, no nation can rise higher than this woman. We got to get our women to a certain plateau before we're to move forward in leadership. Uh, and and I and I like the little James Brown little clip that you give. But hey, hey, but if your boy, hey, if Rod, hey, Rod, hey, if you love the, the black woman so much, why are you wearing a wife beater? If you look, that was the country. Why joke. you wear the wife beater? No, he did a country <laughs> joke. A wife beater. You know, hey, hey uh, listen. So he from Mississippi. Hey, right? that's hey. called mi listen. That's called misplaced aggression. Cause I ain't the one called you James Brown, but you want to jab at me. <laughs> See, but but you don't know you grabbing a gorilla. You got to wrestle with a bear. <laughs> the sick eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me let me let me respond to dinner. I'm, I got to get out. Look, my point is this: right now, Asian, the Asian man rule his family and his woman. The white man rules his family and his woman. The Mexican. Hold on, tough crowd tonight, huh? So y'all ain't gonna laugh at that country nigga joke. Oh, they cold. See, so y'all city schluckers, so y'all ain't get that. He shot that country boy joke out there, that tractor trailer joke out there. That didn't work. Mexican, on and on. We are the only ones. Now, look, I love Dilbert Blair. And, uh, you a pimp? Uh, I, I, hold on, let me just let me finish. I love <laughs> Dilbert Blair, and I love uh, 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 the brother. Uh, what's the Bobby other Hammond, brother? Bobby Hammond. Bobby Hammond. I love them, and I respect that knowledge that they chopped up. But let me tell you something. We're living in the day right now. Where us as brothers, if we don't stand up and really be like leaders and stop trying to put some kind of irresponsible responsibility on our women to save us, we're gonna lose our women and our children. This is bullshit. I mean, that's not true, talk, brother. That's not need, true. Hold on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, I'm gonna get off my soapbox in a minute. Look, I'm trying to say right now that we need money, we need power, and we need organization. Our women can't do that. Only Papa or Grandpa. Man, a lot of these women what? making more money than y'all. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I ain't trying to say that Grandma. Grandma, you can make grandma, more money than me. Look, look, look. What I'm talking about is Grandmama used to keep the house and the family together while Grandpa and when the sons got to a certain age, well, we went out the and same if you make enough money like Granddaddy did because he was taking care of three families. Yeah, 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 when, saying, yeah and when nobody no, complained. And you we're can't do one like right, grandpa. We're okay, well then that's grandpa. on you. You should have went out there and learned how to change the tire, drop that motor, pull the carburetor out there. You should have been out there going working with him, getting in the truck with him, and y'all finna go cut grass. You sit at home and been lazy under mama no, 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 and no, big no, mama. No, 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 Who's yes, gonna I'm save you? Day. You should have got out there with granddaddy and he would have talked about it. Asking you a question. AC unit, roofing, fencing. Say it again. Is the black woman gonna save you, Top Cat? Oh, uh, she better. Yeah, because I'm gonna save her. We're gonna save each other. No, 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 no. Who's gonna save who first? We're gonna save each other. Oh, now you want to be diplomatic. This is about right. being diplomatic. I mean, I'm looking at the yeah. shirt. If you want to pimp. Then go pimp, homie. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. We we live in. Why this you keep capping? Hey, won't you come on your camera? Jeremiah like Spicer, I'm what's up, saying, man? If you want to pimp on the woman, or you want to hold Indian a hostage Indian. under one of these religions and oh. tell them you can have multiple wives and they got to work and you say, "Listen, man, oh. y'all go ahead on and do it." We see y'all out here. So when okay. we tell, when we say our woman uh has a supreme position, we also has a, a responsibility as a man as well. Hey, hey, I got, I got, yeah, I got something to give you. I got something to give you, Top Cat. Hey, do you mind if I get your number from Sister Freedom? And I mean, it's on the serious note. If you don't mind. That nigga got all the dope in Mississippi. You hear me? <laughs> he, got, he got all the dope out there in Mississippi. Mind if I cannot talk to you behind the scenes? What are we talking about? I oh, got you. Uh, Huh? Yeah, that's a, I don't. I look. I rock a table. I ain't. I'm not going for the curl look. 
Uh, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I'm oh, just just not not curls. Curls. I mean, like, what you trying to talk about your hairdresser? Into the, I'm not into curls and all that type of, you know. <laughs> no, 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 Man, come get y'all home, boy. Why they think I always fucking with folks, man? Why y'all home, boy? I always fucking with folks, man. <laughs> I don't know why them niggas be letting me get under their skin. <laughs> bro, bro, how you let me say what the fuck going on? <laughs> Country nigga can't keep up. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! This country nigga can't keep up. They say, man, if you want to pimp on the woman, or you want to hold a hostage under one of these religions and tell them you can have multiple wives, and they gotta work, and you say, "Listen, man, y'all go ahead on and do it." We see y'all out here. So when okay. we tell, when we say our woman uh, has a supreme position, we also has a responsibility as a man as well. And so hey, hey, I got, I got with that. Yeah, like I got something to give you. I got something to give you, Top Cat. Hey, do you mind if I get your number from <laughs> Sister Freedom? And I mean, it's on a serious note. If you don't mind, if I cannot talk to you behind the scenes. What are we talking about? I oh, got your uh, hairdresser. Huh? Your hairdresser? I don't. I, look, I rock a table. I ain't. I'm not going for the curl look. Oh, uh, so what the hell are you talking about? about? <laughs> I'm oh, not 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 I like what you trying to talk about your hairdresser. Into the, I'm not into curls and all that type, of, you know. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute. Your um, that was a lot. Look at these a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Look like you got. Are you out of your motherfucking mind? Uh 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 uh. No, we don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it feels like you had Big Mama Rollers in your head now. Mama, it's like you got. I don't know why them niggas be fucking with me, bro. Y'all just leave me alone, bro. Y'all know I ain't got it all. Y'all know I'm told out, bro. Just leave me alone, man. For real, bro. Y'all know I'm throwed out. Now watch him. Now watch this here. Because <laughs> I thought there was curls. Why? Tell me this here. This is the killing point about it, right? Why this nigga finna let his hat on? He got so insecure about that. He let his hat on. Come on, Can I say it's something to you about, about what you're saying? I yeah. think I think you hear it the wrong way, and it's because a lot of people want it in that like Kevin Samuels. Look, y'all, right? What your height, what your dress size? He taking his well, hat well, out. Yeah, it's the, same, yeah. it's the same message. He taking it's his the hat same out. Message of saying women are not in the proper place. Modern women oh, are not cold. in the proper place that they used to it's be, cold. and they oh, used he did to be take in another out, position. Man. And we need to teach the women what they used to be, so they can be in their position again. It's just some people know how to catch. <laughs> you catch more bees with honey than vinegar. So really? some men want to be like angry with it and bitter with it, and other men are just saying, "Hey, we need to get you back into the matriarch position." They're not saying get you in the patriarch position. Man, the brother frustrated. Time, he man. tired of having to pay for it. Okay. <laughs> so look, he, he, he want to know who's gonna save us. I already said saving you saving yourself is your own self-responsibility. Right. That don't fall on no woman or no man. That fall on you as a save our women and our children. Hold, hold on, let me finish. Everybody save that woman and children. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. You can't do nothing for nobody if you don't do something for yourself first. Right. You got to raise yourself up to the position where you are in the best position to help the most people if you want to help people. The best position is the natural structure of the human family. Matriarchy is our natural structure. They named it matriarchy because when Rome came to power, the homosexual sex cults took over and pushed a more masculine undercover. Don't help him protect. He answer question. Oh, yeah, he gonna try to fight me after that. Yeah, he mad. He took his plant down. I done pissed him off. He gonna try to fight me. 
you know, because it's getting late. He wasn't. Hey, hey, can I go? I cannot say something just to talk at it, then I'm go sis real quick. Please. <laughs> What's up, big Pern? I mean, big worm. Hey, top cat. Hey, man. I had a lot of respect for you, boy, but man, you came at me questioning uh -uh. my brand. <laughs> What's up, Big Pern? I mean, Big Worm. Uh, yeah, I got, I give me some chili cheese Fritos. Yeah, <laughs> say, say, give me some chili cheese Fritos, nigga. He talking about it. he mad. No, no, uh -uh. no, no, no. You came in me questioning my manhood. Nigga, the let his hat on and everything. He mad. Oh, no, hey, that's, that's you misunderstood. Man, stop it, man. Come on, you man. Have a good no, night no, tonight, no, no, man. Come on, no. Uh, 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 you misunderstood. You like that, man. Right. Uh, bro. I you saw you let your hat on, bro. Okay. You ain't got to play with me like that, Tom. Man, man. Come on, man. I'm sorry, man. You ain't like that. You ain't like that. Jesus loves you, man. Jesus loves you. Oh, yeah, he's James Brown. Yeah. All right, like I told him, Jesus loves you, James Brown. Mm -hmm. Jesus loves you, brother. Okay, listen. Thank All you. Right. Oh, All right. Hello, All right. hello. All right. Yo, I'm just, Jesus, I'm Jesus loves you, young man. It's okay, brother. Jesus loves you. Let me tell you something, man. You can't do that to me, man. He mad, boy. He angry. He peeled a pace the house. He ain't go to sleep last night. This top cat guy, man. I, you you really the ticket there. You the, I mean, that nigga like you got a curl, a kid on your shit, nigga. Look like that's a kid, nigga. It's curl or some shit, nigga. I ain't know what you had going on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Steve was like, he gonna stab you. Yeah, that's that's his choice of whip it up. Say home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that nigga that's stuck in the past, man. Nigga, you don't get uh 10 years for murder no more, nigga. This ain't the old day, nigga. Just cause you dress like them time, nigga. Uh yeah, murder hole a different um, yeah, nigga. They gonna give you life, nigga. Uh, you ain't get 10 years doing eight years good behavior, nigga, coming home, nigga. Uh, you better not come fucking with me, nigga. Nah. <laughs> Say, man, you let me tell you, that nigga let his hat on. I saw you let your hat on, man. But anyway, man, appreciate y'all coming to pull up, man. It was a live show. Uh, let me see if some people support it. Okay, okay. All right. Um, we're gonna get up out of here, man. I love y'all. As long as we got each other, we don't need no motherfucking body else, man. Hold the line, man. July, Mexico 2024 is up there in the stuck there. That's my time. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all chose to be here with me. So I appreciate y'all, man, in a real, real Indian way, man. That's my motherfucking time. D legendary big chief motherfucking top cat yeah 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 let go done No, 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 no. Hold on. Dosey, Dosey, you didn't explain that leather suit you had on the other day, that black on black with the six inch heels, the cleavage out, and you was holding on to a Carmen Electra stripper pole. You did not explain that. Junior, uh, Junior said, uh, wait a minute before we leave. We did not get an explanation. I ain't got it. I've been skinny and it. I show bodies. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't want nobody just with you right now. But the truth, I look better under the bottom. Just say it was a poll party. And them niggas out there talking about source up. Now, Dosey, you a scholar now. So you got, they said source up. You a scholar, Dosey. You know the rules. The rules are the rules, Dosey. You're a scholar. I mean, the rules are the rules. You don't want to be called a pseudo. Sources, sources. I don't want nobody just with you right now. Yeah, the truth, I, I live better under you. Right here, no. yeah. 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 Yeah.
Gigi say, source that shit up. You just too. Sis. <laughs> nobody, nobody like yeah, yeah, yeah. Sis. Like you, you can cut it out, Drill, because I didn't know you was from Texas. I didn't know you was from East Texas. I hope we ain't cousins. Oh, uh, but uh, you can't miss no more me. Yeah, you gotta pop out. You gotta come outside. Freedom, don't spill no scotch on the dance floor. Talking about that's her jam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm let go. You just want to be yo. Let go. Uh huh. How you baby to be it out of pay? What? Let go. Let's scramble mine. Let me see you, Bessie Coach 22. I'm still losing this to moment. Let's go. 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 Let's go.